Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. I'm Claire. That's Ted over there. It's many a true nerd, and welcome back to. A, get, I will hold this to the day I die. Welcome back to Rome Total War Remastered. All right. I, right now, Creative Assembly is sending the SWAT team to many a true nerd headquarters to kick in the door and, and, and put us under arrest for not calling it Total War Rome Remastered. Not having it. Not having it. This game was Rome Total War, so if you remaster it, it's Rome Total War. Okay, that's it. it's Rome Total War Remastered. And it should, should have stayed this way, alright? It was Medieval Total War, it was Rome Total War, it was Empire Total War, it was Napoleon Total War. You they should have thought about the alphabet before they named it Rome Total War in the first place. They only changed it because they moved all the games to Steam and they wanted them to all be next to each other. So they wanted them to all begin with a T. And I'm not having it. I'm not having it. It's not okay. This is Rome Total War Remastered. In fact, you know what? We should we should do that. Next time we do a Rome Total War video, I need you to actually take the logo and put the robe on top and move the Total War below. So it actually what reads top to, to bottom. Oh, we don't mess with logos, Claire. Normally, our position is you don't mess with logos because that's a legal, like, trademark thing. But in this case, they're wrong and we're right. So we're just going to mess with that. And if they complain, we'll, we'll, we'll apologize and change it back. But, like, I, next time next time we do a Rome Total War, we're 100% just going to change it around. It's just gonna, it's, we're just going to move the change of the logos or order around. So it's going to say Rome Total War Remastered. In that order, it's not Total War Rome. Not having it. No, welcome back to Rome Total War. Because, yes, we're going to be doing the, continuing the Barbarian Invasion Romano-British campaign. Which is absolute insanity. This caused some confusion, by the way. So I just want to be very clear on this. So, in the original Road Total War, right, what you could do was you could play as a handful of factions, and then when you beat other factions, you unlock them to play as, but not all of them. Okay, not all of them. Like, so you could unlock, say, Gaul, you couldn't unlock, say, Spain. But in, and in Barbarian Invasion, I think actually that wasn't true in Barbarian Invasion. I think in Barbarian Invasion, you just got all the factions that were playable right off the get-go. But the thing was, because games were better back in those days, and they were basically just made out of notepad files, you just go into the notepad file and change a couple of, you know, zeros to ones, and you could just enable all the factions to be playable. So if you wanted to play Spain, they didn't have any, like, text associated with them, so there wasn't, like, a proper intro or anything. But, like, you know, you could play as them. It was fine. The problem was, and the, re the reason why the Romano-British campaign is so cool, is because it was always broken. Because it was a weird campaign that had, like, you know, the trigger it only activates when you, you like, you know, there's no Romans in Britain, if you just put a one next to it in the file and you tried to play the Romano-British campaign, it bugged the cock out and it just didn't really work properly. So you couldn't really do it. It, it was way more complicated to make it work. So th th this is actually kind of new and exciting that we could do this now, which is which is delightful. And by accident, it's the dumbest, stupid campaign imaginable. And I kind of love it. <laughs> it's it's just it's just the best thing. It's it's so dumb. And we'll, we'll, we'll get into why. Why do? You, why are you laughing at me? Uh, shout out to Fixa, Fixato who says War Rome Total Remaster. <laughs> Something of that nature, sure. We'll just we'll just change it all round and round as we want to. So okay, just see your. By the way, this is this is going to be fascinating. Except well, I'm going to. There's about to be a black screen. Don't panic. It's because this game's really weird, and if when you try and run it in a window, it, it, it gets fussy. It's one of those really old school fussy games. It's like, excuse me, you're not making me the dedicated full screen application like how dare you how how dare you? you you're not allowed to tab out of this tab piss off so if you want to try and get out of this game to like go over to like you know the control for the stream the game's like no you need to literally go to the control panel to do that screw you so we're just going to get that was the wrong window that was also the wrong window but okay, like that's not the game's fault that that that, 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 that was that, you ah, there we go that's fine we're 100 we're, we're fine so we're back in we're back here, just as a reminder, with the Romano British, f for now, uh, because we're about to lose Britain to the Celts, who have a much better claim on it, because they immediately backstabbed us. They've got a ma they actually they don't have a huge army here, which is fascinating because it can one hundred percent an army, uh, even infantry can make it with these paths, these roads already in place. They could have made it from here to here in one turn, which suggests they've retreated up north. Which is interesting. That means I just get to keep London a tiny bit longer, which is good because it's it's worth money. It's worth a lot of money. So the longer we can hold that, the better. Quite frankly, we've 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 smashed into uh, yeah, we smashed into Belgium. We've smashed into Avaricum. What modern is, is Avaricum a modern city? Is that is that a modern city? I don't know my I don't know what's no my Claire. Check that out. Is Avaricum a modern French city? Where would that be? Is that about um? Oh, well, what is it? Uh, the city, the, the French city I always, I always forget the name of. Uh, the one that begins with an A. 
It looks like it's about to say, Ali on it. have a bunch that begin with an A. The, it's, it's the dumb one. It looks like it might not exist anymore, potentially. Maybe we, maybe it just doesn't exist. It should exist. It was pretty big in the Roman period. It's straight, it would be strange that there would be... Borges. It's Borges, is it? That's yeah. not the one I thought well, it was going to be. Well, near what is now the city of Borges, apparently. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. So we've taken we've taken Borge, we've knocked out we've 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 kicked Belgium in the arse. We're gonna go over to what I assume is Bordeaux, given that's uh Bertigala. That seems about mm. Bordeauxish yeah. right there. And uh, basically Now that I know because that's an asterisk. Yeah. And the, the hilarious thing is we just can't we just can't put together an army. I've got like one half stack army and we're barely making any money and we're we're basically surviving by just burning cities to the ground. It's cocking hilarious. And we're gonna lose these at some point because you know, think, things, th things that are, they have is just keep zooming out a little bit. There we go. Somewhere in the world are the Huns. And somewhere in the world are the Vandals. And somewhere in the world are the Sarmatians. And they're all barreling this direction. And th that was what was like. This is why I think Barbarian Invasion is the, is the better collapse of the Western Empire game than Attila. Love Attila. Attila's great. Attila's got its own thing going on. But, um... The, uh, the, the fun thing was, like, Attila just sort of generated armies out of midair to just be a dick to you. Whereas uh, Barbarian Invasion just said, no, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do instead is we're just going to say, here's a giant pile of Huns, and here's a giant pile of Vandals. They will probably, but not always, trigger the Sarmatians to become a Horde faction. They probably won't, but could trigger the Roxolani to become a Horde faction. And they'll just sort of go in sort of this direction. And sometimes they'll attack the Eastern Empire and they won't bother the West at all. And sometimes they'll crash straight to the West and the Western Empire. And that's that. And sometimes they'll hit the other barbarian factions. And they'll trigger even more like massive breakout hordes to kick off. And you just don't know which it's going to be. Which is what was great about this game. It was actually really wildly unpredictable because you simply didn't know. You knew a storm was coming. You didn't know whether it was going to hit you or, like, indirectly hit you by triggering something that was going to hit you. Or whether it might just go somewhere else and you might just get lucky. Like, it, it's really kind of cool that it was it was like that. So we're in a world where, basically, we've got this one tiny 10-unit army of not particularly good units being desperately kept afloat by a handful of Grail Knights that are rapidly running out of speed. Rapidly running out of steam. I've only got two and they're both down to about half health at this point, which is delightful. And they're going to keep getting worn down because they're my only good unit. And at some point, the Western Empire might come and attack us in return. And at some point, the Huns might show up. Like, and at some point, you know, other barbarians might say, well, your cities look vulnerable. We're just going to attack you, just like the Celts said. And I've no idea what's going to attack me next or how long we're going to be able to, like, keep this going. It's beautiful. So basically, like, now that we've finally got at least some money after burning of Arakum to the ground, basically, yeah, we just need to be building units everywhere because we're going to need them. So I just get some basic units set up like all over the place and I don't think London could hold against the Celts. Unless they said like a really small army, it's hard to say. So yeah, we're just in... It's a fascinating, fascinating campaign. A, a really interesting campaign. So we've n I've no idea what eventually... Eventually someone's going to show up to stop me. And like... Because now we've basically abandoned Britain. We're the Romano British and we've abandoned Britain. We're just burning down the Roman Empire because we, we need the money to survive until our economy stabilizes. Like, what do we do next? Like, there are arguments, okay? We could say, hey, Spain. Spain's relatively vulnerable. Take Spain and that's going to be our starting point. We could say, hey, just immediately break east and head straight south and try and lock down Italy. Okay, if we literally took Rome and, like, Sicily and whatnot, that would be a good, like, you know, starting off point to rebuild afterwards. Uh, we could do the same thing, but looping the longer way around the south coast of France, burning down Claire's hometown and whatnot on the way, to make sure, you know, we burn Claire's people and change history so Claire's never born in the future. Um, or, like, gets born better because she'll be, like, British culture, not French. Because, you know, she, she, her ancestors will now be Romano-British, which would be way cooler. Um, you know. You say that, but you were sappy as anything after you recorded in an edited Florence. I was sappy as anything after I recorded Florence. That made me sad. I needed to come, a, and, needed to come and give you a hug because I was sad. Because it was all about... It was, it was sad and whatnot. It was Woof. sad. It was sad, damn it. So, yes, we've just got to... So, there's also there's so many things we could do. But probably for the time being, yeah, we're just desperately trying to come up with enough units. And I, I don't know about barbarians, man. Those barbarians are ex expensive bastards actually you know what the the mercenary cavalry are only 700 like for a decent cavalry unit that's uh yeah these are like yeah 
My units, are, my most expensive units are the British Legionaries at uh, at 200. Actually, you know, I should probably get some of them in production. And I'm also getting a marked in production because I desperately want to get spies out so I can start figuring out what the cock is going on to the east of me. I want spies out. I mean, I could just get, I mean, cavalry will be able to catch up better. But I feel like I need some infantry. Like, some spe some basic spearmen would be solid. I wouldn't mind getting uh, archers. I'm pretty sure I can train. No, I can't train archers here. I'm working on training archers here. I think, no, I was training, I was doing farmland here. You're doing a market. There'll be, there'll be an archery range we can intercept and just take over somewhere yeah, around here. Yeah. It's all going to be fine. So, yes, basically, that's the situation. I'm just going to keep burning down the Roman Empire and... Eventually, someone's going to come and stop me. But I've no idea who or when. It's going to be delightful. So, all right. Just move you in this direction. I'm pretty sure I saw this place had... Uh, yeah, this place has got a governor. Meaning, uh, there's one unit here. And it's going to be those guys. You are just... Actually, you know what? That's not a proper wall. That's really good. Because, yeah, that means we can just knock down the walls with battering rams. Which is really, really good. So, Yeah. You know what? I'll take that. That's that's solid. That's solid right there. I'm not seeing any sign of encroaching Romans yet. Big, big focus on the yet. So, alright, we're just going to keep going and we're going to see what happens. Probably the economy is going to collapse because in a second, the Celts will eventually take London. Absolutely. That's going to be it. That's going to be a third of my economy gone. And I'm training more troops as we go, which is delightful too. But honestly, if I don't see anyone moving in this direction, I'm going to call it a huge web. Like, that, that is inherently a huge win. Oh, fun thing, but I was wondering if this was going to happen. So, really fun thing. You remember I was mentioning how this campaign was bu was buggy as cock in the original game? And said, oh, but they moved it forward and they, they fixed it so it actually works. No, they didn't. So, no. you want to know a really, 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 really fun thing? Uh, about about this game, which is they added a new bug in by, by trying to fix it, which is if you save I, I saw this, if you save and load, if you save and load this campaign which unless you're doing it all in one sitting, you've got to obviously I had to, uh, basically the trigger for the game giving you your starting army triggers again so it just gives you a second army and it will keep doing that over and over again so, and the problem is, the moment it spawns in, it charges you for it. So what we need to yeah, do... Yeah, but, I mean, did it give you extra Grail Knights? No, but we don't... That's cheating. We're not having this. This is These are glitch units. We're not... I'm not having them. So what we need to do... I mean, they glitch Grail Knights, John. No, we're not having them. That, and this... The Fine. problem is... I, the problem is, while I was halfway... I knew this was going to happen, because halfway recording the video, I went and had lunch and walked the dog and came back and recorded the second half. So it started happening during the video. So what I had to do was every time it happened, I had to delete the units... Kill the character and then use console commands to give myself the amount of money that the game had just stolen for me by giving me a fake army that doesn't exist in order to that you wouldn't notice. It was all editing shenanigans. So we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do this one. We're gonna have to get, but the problem is you can't you can't disband a general. No one is out to the open field. So I've got to kill him. And I've got to remember, and I've got to remember the console commands because I can't, now I can't remember the console commands. Uh, well, while you're working on that, uh, shout out to Chupa Thingy who gave us five dollars uh, and says, "Hey, John, Claire, and Ted, I can't stay for this stream, but after watching uh, the Resident Evil Seven live stream twice this week, I feel the need to contribute to the Jaffa Cake Fund." Oh, that was a nasty one. I need you to look this up, by the way, because it's very difficult for me to tab out oh, of this sorry. game. Just, just look up uh, Rome Total War console commands. I'm pretty sure one of them is just the add money command, isn't it? I think it's just add, add underscore money, and then you just type in a certain amount. Uh, but the, the kill characters, I... Uh, do, do you have, like, a preference of where we look at this? Uh, if it's a full one, that should be absolutely fine. Uh, literally just, uh, control F for kill. Uh, I know it's, it's, it's something like kill character, then you enter the name of the character in... That, kill yes. specific character. Kill, kill underscore, underscore character, character and then and it's then the character. Space and the character And name. then the money is... Is that add underscore money? If you just type in money, I think it's add underscore money. Uh, just keep cycling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, add underscore money. Add underscore money, Wait, yeah. Yeah, gives or removes up to 40,000 denarii. Yeah. All right, so we'll just do that. Oh, blimey, hang up. Hang, hang, hang up. Let me just check I can let's just check we can make this work here but without crashing the game ideally. 
Is that absolutely fine? Yes, that should be absolutely fine. Oh yeah, it's just using old Rome shell. It's just using no, it does it does do that. So okay, that's that's fine. Get back into No. No, 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 no. Just 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 give me give me a sec. We can Excellent. we can we can fix this. Uh Eric in chat wants to know if you could create like a hundred glitched armies, then dismiss the units and create an overpopulation and rebellion crisis in enemy territory. Theoretically, I don't even know whether. Yeah, theoretically, I suppose this is. I'm still getting the benefit of extra population, and I'm pretty sure he's got to go in characters. So he's he's a did jot Arus. You better get this right. If it's not exactly right, it'll object. It'll object to you. You can't click on him, unfortunately. Uh, Britannicus. He's very British. That should kill him. There we go. He's gone. And his hey, army. Smith's in chat. And his army cost me about. Uh, his army cost me. Don't worry, I, I know the um, the console commands can be a little bit janky. But he cost me about three grand, so I'm gonna give myself three grand. So there we go. That's that's that sort of stuff, and that's just gonna happen occasionally. And by the way, there's the Celts. Unfortunately, may have got slightly distracted. Hello, so they've got a bigger army. Than me. Hello, Spiff. Lovely to see you there. So yes, they've got a bigger army than me. We'll have to see what we could uh, what we could do about them. <laughs> but this is just a bug that, that yeah, they basically clearly this campaign was this campaign, of course, in the original was never meant to be played. It's unplayable because it's it's a spawn campaign. But the the emergent factions are buggy as shit. Uh, and that's it. Either you just accept, hey, I'm just going to be given free armies, which feels Feels cheating, damn it. Or you've got to basically do what I just did. And this happened during the video and I just had to cover for it. Did you train? You didn't train anyone, you stupid bastard. Uh, everything's going to be fine. We'll just go over to here. That'll give us two rams. We'll be absolutely fine. You're doing okay. Deploy additional troops to back us up. Everything's going to be fine. Ish. We've almost got farmland and we've almost got a market. At that point, I can start spamming spies. And uh, even though they cost money, hell yeah, I'm spamming spies. Also, yeah, remember how my economy was in the green a second ago? Lol, I trained units, so fuck you, economy. Uh, economy, uh, shim economy. Pretty much, yes. Uh, also, we have a donation from Jesus Christ. Nice. It's always good to know that you have friends in high places. Uh, anyway, Jesus Christ gave us five quid and says, let's go, John. Convert all those settlements to follow me, my child. No, no. Okay, we can't. I know this is... <laughs> I know. I'm aware that the Romano-British are a Christian faction and my faction is a Christian. And therefore, us ruling pagan societies causes a slight happiness debuff. But if we basically say to them, hey, lol, you're going to be... You're good to be Christian now. It's like a while that could slowly converting. It's like a minus ninety five percent. Now, in the event I'm about to lose a settlement, at that point I should. In fact, you know what? Ah, you know what? In Britain it won't work. Like because the problem is London's only got one, only got one neighbour, so it would it, the conversion would be very slow. Now, in the event I have reason to believe I'm about to lose Belgium or uh, Borgia over here. I could just basically say, fuck it, flip them to Christianity, because the AI is not smart enough, or rather doesn't know how, to, when it moves into a settlement, delete the existing religion and build a building of its religion in the thing. It won't do it. I don't think it ever, I don't think it can. I don't think the AI knows how to do that. It will just accept that, you know, it is what it is. Um, so, like, as a result of that, yeah, in the event that I believe there's a faction that's two turns away from attacking me, because it can't be one turn, because if, if these guys are about to come in, and take me out here. The building won't. Uh, buildings don't construct during uh, sieges, so that wouldn't work. Uh, so yeah, this is all good to be fine for a given volume of fine. We're about to burn down Bordeaux. It's only a minor city, so it's not going to be worth it too much. I just need to keep an eye on the the mercenaries. Honestly, I think uh, I, I can't. Uh, I I can't have. I can't have too much of that. Too much of what? At? Too many mercenaries. They're too expensive. Ah, yes, of They're course. They're good. That's a good way of, of of manning up in a hurry. But you just can't. I can't. They they cost like twice as much as usual unit. Like the better option is just to, just to start using normal units. I get. Let's get some more British legionaries out. They're a bit expensive, but they're you know they're oh, they're units. Royal Bandit says, I didn't even realize that this was a glitch in my campaign. I thought it was like a reinforcement or something. I mean, I guess you could argue that, but like, if so, it never, it never happened in the, you know, it, well, technically there was no original campaign. Like, you'd think if it was, 
then there would be an alert that comes. I say, hey, reinforcements have arrived. Like, you know, oh, more more troops have come to reinforce you. But there's no text associated with it. So I'm not sure, like, either Creative Assembly or Feral have ever commented on this. But, like, it's mostly regarded as a bug. Mostly it's thought of as a bug. So, you know, question mark, question mark, question mark, I guess. I, I think it's a bug. I, I think it's probably a bug. Uh, so that's, that's, that just is as it is. We're just gonna have to deal with it. So you're training British legionaries. Do I want you to train anything at all? <laughs> or is this, uh, would that be a bad, I mean, training, uh, uh actually, you, you're one of mine, right? Yeah, you're one of mine. I should just send you south. This will be a varicum over here. We'll it, yes? Uh, librarian Seth is in the chat. Yes. And says, uh, hey, John, don't look a glitch hoard in the mouse. <laughs> Well, actually, it says gift hoard, to be honest. Yeah, but I said glitch because I thought it was funnier. I don't know. I, th I think you've I, I think you've taken it too far there. I oh, think my God, you're so you, annoying. You can't, approve, you can't improve on Librarian Seth. Just don't even try. Okay. <laughs> right, I've got one, one diplomat you're round. you supposed to be reading chat? <laughs> yes, why, why not? There's no spoilers in Rogue Total War. It's been out for like two decades. This is definitely not spoiler territory. It's fine. So okay, are you now in a position to attack this turn? No, you're still you're still building you're still building that. So that's next turn that we've got that. Do we have the yeah the market still one turn away? Farming was an ambitious thing for me to take. That that was a silly decision. The Celts are about to come in. What the only thing of interesting is the only thing of note is they are um they are it's a captain. There's, they haven't sent a, an actual general. I don't have a general here either. Like, ugh. These, these, uh, yeah, the Foiderati will have to absolutely hold, like, absolute badasses for this to be worth anything. But, like, I don't know. Archers can do good work. Uh, if I had heavy cavalry here, there'd be a chance. I don't think there's a chance. I don't know what's in this army. They've probably got chariots, and chariots are a nasty, vicious bastards. Mm. I don't think we can hold London. So we're about to lose London. But, we, you know, we've got a good, solid amount of money. Now we just hold and see whether we immediately... No, on this occasion, we have not just gained a free extra... They've not attacked us. Oh, they're sending reinforcements, lol. Okay, we've got a candidate for adoption. This is this is questionable because uh, family members cost like 700 gold each. But is he good? He's okay. He's fine. Uh, Christian is just like a default. Yeah. He's a good ambusher, which you don't do much of in this game, to be honest. He's confident commander, which is fine. He could be better, to be perfectly honest. I'm going to say no to him for now. I'm going to wait for a better one to show up. I mean, up. the he's, game he's not, clearly has been offering you He's not wounds. that great. Uh, Lombardian Sax, uh, uh, Lombardian uh, Saxons Ooh. allies, Alemannian Saxons allies, Franks and Western Roman Empire allies. Peaceful, peaceful bit of the world over here today. Yes, Claire. A uh, few things. Um, Star Commander Vong gave us uh, five dollars and says, "Spoilers for John. Rome wins." <laughs> Several other people, including Alana. Hey, Alana. Uh, say spoiler alert for John. The Roman Empire is false. <laughs> Uh, Mary Jin asks, uh, should we crank up taxes in London before the Celts take it anyway? You know what? That's not a bad idea. We may as well, yeah, make a little bit more money out of them. So we'll just whack that up a little bit there. So they're unhappy, but it doesn't matter. We're not going to be able to hold it anyway. And I've got a couple of messages from people who say they can't stay for long. So uh, before you have to go, shout out to Sag, who's been a member for 44 months. Uh, and says, too bad I can't stay long for this lovely stream, but please give Ted a hug and tell him he's a good boy. He is a good boy. He is asleep, so I don't know if he's heard, but we'll give him pets later. And uh, sadly, Bitter Magic, who gave us £10, says, I can't stay for the stream because of COVID. Oh, no. Uh, but I wanted to say that the Florence video was beautiful and very emotionally effective. It made me want to get a cat. Aww. Get a cat, get a cat, get a cat, get a cat and send us pictures. Some people are saying sell all the buildings in, in London. Here's the thing. I, I might want to get London back later. So while I can see the advantage of that... Uh, I mean, you're right. I'm not gonna. I'm. Gonna, it's gonna take. It's gonna be so long till I get London back. I may as well just destroy everything, destroy all the things. This. Uh, this. This was probably one of the more sensible changes they made. That you couldn't do this in future Total Wars, uh, because they simply said no. You and you. You. Oh, you can destroy ports. 
I swear you didn't used to be able to destroy ports. Uh, but yeah, you couldn't do this in future wars. Like, if you started demolishing something, it needed a turn to finish demolishing. So you couldn't just demolish everything when the enemy started rolling up. So basically, yeah, you want London? Fine. You, can, you can't... Okay, you can't demolish roads. Roads can't be demolished. Farming can't be demolished. Traders can be demolished. Walls can't be demolished. And obviously the government building can't be demolished. So yeah, that, that's got that's got us like a little bit. That's got a handful of extra cash, uh, right there. Though now our only boat is a bit uh, a bit you know exposed. To be honest, you can't sell the walls hilariously, and that's not a thing that's allowed. So all right. <laughs> Here's one for you, NKY in chat says, Florence made me want to pursue a career in spreadsheets. Yeah. Fuck art. Do you want do you want to know a really do you want to know a channel secret, by the way? Mm -hmm. Do you want to know a channel secret, Jeff? Don't you're not allowed to tell anyone. This is a secret. Um Florence was not originally going to be the oh, you're telling I them, am. are you? I oh. am. Florence was not originally going to be the Valentine's Day special this year. I recorded a different Valentine's Day special, but it was longer than I expected, and I simply didn't have time to edit it. It wouldn't have fit in the week. So I literally put it on one side, and it's going to be next year's Valentine's special. So when I said at the end of Florence, oh, I'm sure next year we'll be back to some ludicrous horny nonsense. Yeah, I know we're going to be back to ludicrous horny nonsense, because it's already been recorded. Yeah, but there was... We simply was, would not have had time to so put in the hedgehogs. Long. It was so long, and there were so many hedgehogs. It was the horniest one we've ever done. It was wild. Uh, that would be so. You got to wait a year for that now. Uh, I'm not losing the fleet because I might want to be able to ferry my troops around. Uh, having a fleet to retreat onto can be useful on occasion, uh, and, and it just let it potentially lets you move around. I'm, I'm going to keep the fleet for the time being, and ideally, I might want to try and get a. I might even actually be willing to buy a basic port here. Uh, just for the sake of having somewhere to hide that fleet. Uh, I think that would not be a terrible idea. Uh, so yeah, you're making good money here. <laughs> It'll be vintage horny nonsense by next year. <laughs> it's, it's. I mean, hopefully the game will still exist next year. Otherwise, that'll, that'll be a difficult... I'll have to add a new... Uh, I'll have to add a new intro. I'll have to add a new intro to that one. The thing is, up to this point, I very much... You know, it's very much been somewhat horny weird visual novels this time we went into full-on sex game this was this was into full-on sex game territory it was it was something else let me tell you uh so that's that's something to look forward to what anyway tease you are we can now actually get a spy out so yeah now i i can just send a spy over here and we can try and figure out what the cock's going on with the uh the huns keeping on diplomatic information yeah chill chill western europe for now Alemanni, I think, made peace with the Western Roman Empire already, uh, in fact. So that's that's kind of good. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty uh, peaceful era. Actually, it's not that good. It just means that eventually the Western Roman Empire will be able to focus their attention on me, which is, like, less good. But all right, we're going to go into Bordeaux and just burn it down. This should be relatively... It's literally just this guy. It's just going to ice Flavius. Uh, so we just move in. Unfortunately, I don't have any way to pep in with fire, aside from, like, British legionaries. So, we'll go in, and we'll see what happens. We'll just see if we can, like, you know, how... As best we can, we'll just try and lure him off the plaza. We'll just try and find a way to surround him, basically. Though, <laughs> thing number two, I, sh I should have... I should have... This is... This is my own fault. We're playing on extreme unit scale. Okay. Now, extreme unit scale is hilarious because it means, literally, you just get way more troops. Um, however, the downside is... Pathfinding was not designed for it. And Pathfinding just goes absolutely cocky bananas. And I really should have... Before I started... You can't change it once the campaign started. So I really should have turned it down to, like, you know, huge as opposed to extreme. Extreme is literally when you turn the game to extreme units together. The game's like, you sure? This is an experiment and it might not work and it might completely break. And it does. It's not joking. Um, Warball gave us two pounds and says, uh... That, that video for next year, you should upload it as a bonus video to the second channel. Oh, yeah, we'll just put it on the second channel. Just In fact, yeah, it'll be on the second channel later tonight. Just uh, go and check it out there. Mm -hmm. That's many a true nerd, too. Uh, just go and find that. It's fine. Surely it would be many a two nerd. You know what? That would be better, yes. Sorry, we should just be able to approach this wall at this angle without any trouble whatsoever. And yeah, he's just going to be up on the plaza over here. We've got a fairly nice, simple approach. All I need to do is, yeah, use some of my cavalry to try and pull him off. I can use the, the mercenary Sarmatians 
to do that. We'll just try and pull him off the plaza. Then we just need to surround him with the existing cavalry. And that should be fine. Just having a look around here at the city. Another thing that, you know, back in these days we did in Rome that, you know, future Total War games don't do. You can actually, you know, look in the city to find things. And I'm pretty sure there's like... There's like nothing in the city. There's a temple... But, like, that's that's where the um, the the trade building should be. There isn't one. Uh, I'm pretty sure this should be the stables over here, and there isn't one. Um, oh, this, 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 right, there's, if, apparently there's cocking nothing in Bordeaux. There's cocking nothing here. It's just a very basic, crappy little city. So, all right, we just need to gently push forward and try and take this guy out, taking minimal casualties if at all possible, especially because apparently... I won't be able to retrain anything in this city. So I need to be very careful on uh, on that front. Clap! Well, while we're just moving our troops forward into position. Yeah, shout out to the book 778 who uh, gave us five pounds. Uh, and let us know that Simba and Star got a new toy today. A small green thing that is filled with cat mint. Cat mint. They went crazy with it for an hour. Also, John, I love the Lethal Company live stream that you were part of. That was good fun. If you missed that, that was uh, me, Matt, Dan, and Up Is Not Jump. Other Matt. Uh, which was somewhat confusing. Uh, we, we did that. I think he's... he. That, you can find the full thing on his channel. I think he said he was going to be... Uh, uh, turning that into like a proper little kind of edited 15 minute highlights video. So if you want to wait for that, that's absolutely fine uh, too. Uh, so yeah, that's all coming in right now. Uh, what we probably want to do is, uh, yeah, just get you guys over to the just the gates. So the gates will fall into our possession. Then we'll just get the cavalry in that way. Just try and be a little bit on the careful side. I, in fact, I'll keep the Grail Knights out of this. There's no reason for the Grail Knights to risk taking damage. On this occasion. So they can just go over there. That's all absolutely fine. You guys just get over in this direction. And yeah, we'll probably send the heavy cavalry here. We'll use the horse archers to try and pull the heavy cavalry into this little choke point here. Mm -hmm. Then we'll just slam the door shut with the heavy cavalry from the left. And we'll try and break them there. Shouldn't be too bad. But I really do need to get some archers in this army just so I've got light peppering fire in the event that the enemy decides to try and hold out on plazas. It's just a handful of units like that are so useful. Uh, but yes, unfortunately, that's going to be uh, potentially a bit tricky. There we go. Walls have fallen to us. Though, unfortunately, yes, the downside of small towns is obviously in anything where you've got stone walls upwards, you can actually, you know, just take, uh, you can take control of the towers. Uh, small towns, you just can't. There's, there's no way to do that. They just, uh, they just stay, they stay loyal. They stay loyal, damn it. So, right. I'm a bit scared of sending forward the... You know what? We'll send forward the... Um, yeah, we'll send forward the coastal... We'll send forward the coastal levies right there. We'll bring you guys in as well. We'll send the Sarmatians in to go in that route. My general can go in, though I'm a little bit worried about him going in. I don't really want him to go in to be honest. And we'll keep the British legionaries at the back. They may as well be there to assist. Oh, there's the... Sorry, I forgot I had, I had a second Foiderati. Right, well, you should definitely go in then. Off the ram, you get over there. The Foiderati are going to be the main killers. Because these guys, these guys are solid. They don't do much damage. But they're tough. They've got pretty damn good morale, all things considered. They are very strong defensively. They can hold the line, and they're spearmen. So they work well against cavalry. And unlike the coastal levies, who are technically spearmen, but do not gain any bonus against cavalry, uh, uh, they actually do. So that, that makes life, you know, much, much, much better. So you guys just basically, yeah, get over here and do what you can do. They fit in about... No, no, that's not what I told you to do. That's... But just get over here and figure it out. You, you, they, they don't fit. They, the game was not made for units of this scale. And as a result, they just sort of... They just bumble a bit. They just bumble around. Just just so many people just try to bumble around the corner. Try to figure out how to, how to fit. There you go. I tell them to go there. They don't. No, seriously, just go here. Go here. Just go go there. There we go. They decided they were happy with that on this occasion. They could just they could just settle down there. It's all going to be fine. Send forward the spearmen into a pretty a pretty strong position here. You guys haven't got a you haven't got no, you haven't got any um uh formations or stances or anything. But you know what? You'll you'll get the job done. Luckily these guys are packed so close together, they're actually not terrible. Uh, you know, just, uh, they're actually okay at squeezing into these narrow streets, which the cavalry just aren't so much. So it's all going to be fine-ish for a certain volume of fine. Clap! Dear, oh dear, uh, sorry. 
Uh, sorry, shout out to uh, Mooing Bastard, who's been a member for 20 months. Uh, and says, John, fuck, Mary, kill. Oh, dear. Socrates, Plato, Aristotle. <sighs> Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. Uh, definitely marry Plato. I like Plato. Plato's very readable. It's very, very accessible. Like, even for someone who's, like, you know, new to Greek, Plato's quite understandable. It's quite good. Um... Probably fuck Socrates and kill Aristotle. I've never been super into reading and reading Aristotle. I don't find it that interesting, to be honest. Plato, I find very reading and Plato can be quite funny. Plato, Plato is quite entertaining. Uh, Plato, Plato is generally quite a good time to read, and is also, I'd say, very, a very good introduction to Greek. I, I read, um, I read Plato when I was about 16, 17, and was still learning like GCSE or early A level Greek. It, you can absolutely 100% just read Plato at that level. It's it's not a problem at all. So like you know that's that's kind of the level you're uh, you're potentially dealing with there, which I find quite which I find quite useful. Just put you guys in here, and you guys basically do the same thing around the back if you'd be so kind. And then you guys are fire at will off for now, but start going in this direction. But yeah, this is this is kind of what I want to I want to see. I want to try and use the archers to lead these guys off the plaza, and then we just shut the door with the cavalry. Uh, with the Sarmatians up front, we're leaving the Grail Knights out of it. My general can be at the very rear, because uh, I want him to be involved, but not proper involved, if you see what to be. So yeah, I definitely married Plato. Plato's very readable, even for people who are like still learning Greek, which is quite quite delightful. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed, and just uh, if uh, anybody's uh, anybody's new to our streams, the way we do super chats is I have a big list, so yours has not been missed. It's just that. Uh, if somebody says they're leaving, yes. you know, I'll try to get to it uh, very, very soon. Uh, but uh, in any case, related to the previous one, shout out to Eric, who gave us five dollars uh, and says, first live stream, let's go from one classics boy to another. I nice. adore your content. Oh, hope you're having a nice time with your first ever stream. Yes, indeed. Uh, shout out also to Lone Wolf, who gave us two um two pounds and says hello john i love the live stream i love them too yes okay so here's what we're going to do brother if you're not familiar with this what we're going to do is we're basically just going to these guys are standing on the plaza in rome total war and all of its uh all of its uh dlc etc a unit that is on the plaza cannot break it will fight to the last man so therefore there's a huge defensive advantage to being on the plaza however obviously when they were programming how the ai ought to behave that this led to a situation where in the the, uh, the the defensive AI has a strong incentive to stay on the plaza and fight there because it will fight to the last man. It will do. It will just fight way more effectively. However, in the event that it is being fired upon by units not on the plaza, well, obviously you could if it just stood there and tried to hold its position on the plaza. Therefore, you could slowly take it apart piece by piece. So the AI doesn't want to leave the plaza, but if you keep firing on it, eventually it will. Because it's literally being fired upon and it can't get to the unit that's firing on it from the plaza. So I'm trying to bait him off the plaza so that then I can attack him with my spearman and my cavalry. With my cavalry, ideally, like, you know, he'll push the spearman back because he's stronger than the spearman. Simply, he's a better unit. But then as he pushes this way, the cavalry come in and slam into his rear, which will panic him. Ideally, break him because he's the only unit on the field. Therefore, every unit, enemy unit on the field will be broken and I will win the battle by default. So what I'm trying to do right now is use my horse archers to just lay down fire on him. That's what we're doing. But until he actually takes some casualties, he won't really acknowledge it. So we're just going to basically keep firing on these guys. But like, he might not take the bait first time. He might like respond a little bit. But then as time goes by, he might like, you know, uh, he might kind of like go a little bit this way, but then also pull back. You've got to, got to leave the unit that's firing a tiny bit exposed because the game does also calculate... Okay, I see units firing at me, but can I actually get to that unit, yes or no? So, like, the, it was quite sophisticated, like, you know, and there we go. He's, 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 he's not happy. He's not happy chappy, so I'm going to try and move back a little bit now. But, you know, because he's a horse arch, I can keep firing from the rear. I just have to make sure he's properly taken the bait. And it looks to me like he might... No, you see, he's, he's pulled back. He's easy, he can't get to the unit that's firing on him anymore. But now I can just sort of keep firing on him, and that's going to do the job just fine. And now, you guys are going to stand right here. His leader is right at the front. Now I'm going to send my own spearman forward. You're just going to pull back. You guys are going to try... No, no. 
you guys need to stay there. Just just the spearman, please. Just the spearman. And he's trying. He's trying. He doesn't know. He doesn't know whether he wants to fight or not. I've got my spearmen on some of them right here. And my spearmen are going to do a good job uh, taking these guys out. So now he's he's like, oh, this is a weird one. Yeah, he's, he's sort of, he's trying to pull back onto the plaza. And now I don't want my units to go on the plaza. I don't want the fight to be on the plaza. But one of my units has stepped onto the plaza for a split second. Which he might decide is sufficiently offensive to his Roman, like, not British Roman, sensibilities he will try and follow. So... Uh, Okay, he took the bait for a minute, and we, we killed, like, seven of his units right there. That's a significant part of his forces. So now we're just going to basically try and repeat the trick again. But you can see, like, there was quite sophisticated thinking going on here. Like, he doesn't want... He really doesn't want to leave the plaza. Why would he fight on off the plaza if he, do, if he doesn't have to? So we've just got to basically, yeah, just do what we can to bait him off. But now he's taken a few stabs on his way out. It should be easier for us to uh, basically, yeah, bait him... Uh, bait him off a little bit. So we'll see. We'll see if we can, like, you know, get the attention of him. Also, you guys should turn around. Please turn around and reform in that direction. Clap! While we just continue to try and do the trap. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Narcomanic, who uh, gave us five euros and says, in the two weeks since the last stream, I have moved jobs, flats, and cities. Thank you for being a familiar voice amid all the change. Oh, well, thank you. I hope you're enjoying your new, well, I assume your new place. Maybe you're temporarily living somewhere. But if you've got a new place that's going to be your new base in that city, I hope you're having a lovely time there. Yes, indeed. And uh, glad to, to uh, I mean, presumably hang out with you while you're unpacking or something like yeah. that. Look at this. I've lost like three spearmen and they are just like, yeah, just... These are tough spearmen, and they're kind of not properly engaging with me at the moment. So we're just kind of chunking through of that. This is this is a weird one. This might just be a, a slight movement bug attached to the extreme unit scale, which is he's simultaneously on, but also not on the plaza. Meaning he's sort of like he doesn't really know whether he's fighting right. Like slightly nervous horses being like, oh, dude, those spearmen. I'm not sure we want to engage with them. Right, but now some of my troops have ended up on the plaza, but that's fine because okay. This isn't exactly what I originally intended to happen. But now some of my units have stepped on the plaza. Now he's actually fighting properly. And now we're taking way more casualties. Which is fine. How are you doing on that? Yeah, you're steady. Because these are, you know, cavalry. This is literally what you want to fight. Now I'm just going to bring my troops onto the plaza. I'm going to try and push him off. Because if I just ram into the back of him with all my cavalry that's now just running onto the plaza. If he just gets pushed off the plaza, then he, he can break. So that's fine. So everybody just into the back of him. Plus, you know, generally charge bonus, hitting people in the back bonus. Just whack into him and all of a sudden that is going to do some lovely, lovely work. I might want to try and pull these guys back a little bit if I want to do that. I mean, bare minimum. He's actually down to, you know what? I think we're just going to beat him in a straight up struggle. We're not even going to do that. We're not even going to break him. He's just, he's down to seven. I think he is being pushed in this direction, but I think he's going to die before he, nope, there we go. We actually, I think we ju ju they actually, they broke and then immediately died. So honestly, what did we actually lose there? Two cavalry, fine, and like a third of a unit of infantry, and we'll get some of them back. Like, that's kind of a textbook how to deal with an entrenched general in Rome Total War. This is on the highest difficulty, by the way, very hard, very hard. So, you know, he's he's getting um, bonuses, but that's, that's how you, that's the kind of a classic bait and trap that you would do in Rome to the War. That's kind of how you do it. And that's kind of why I was approaching that fight in that particular way. So yeah, this is, this is the very hardest difficulty. Um, so there we go. That's him taken care of for like half a unit of infantry. Obviously, we're going to be exterminating Bordeaux because they make red wine. And I don't like red wine. It gives me a headache. I prefer white. Um, so exterminate. You know, hopefully the people who survive will learn to make better wine. <laughs> um... There we go. And as suspected, he's got literally no military buildings in in this uh, in this in this entire thing. I Meaning I can't retrain any of my troops. Lol. Uh, but that's fine for a given volume of fine. The spy's almost done. You are now trading a port, so my my boat's got somewhere safe to hide. You're <laughs> trading with someone. Who are you trading with? I don't know who you're trading with. You're trading with someone. Hang on, check check the check check the tabs here. You're trading with a Varicum. Oh, you're you're actually okay. Even though they don't have a port, you're allowed to trade with Belgium because they are on the sea. Even though they haven't built a port yet, so your trade fleet's going 
to Belgium, even though they don't have a port to receive it. I didn't know you could do that. I thought there needed to be a port on both ends for a, a naval trade route to exist, but apparently not. So that's fine. We literally can't build any troops here apart from peasants, which is what we're going to do because we'll the, the peasants will be the unit we leave behind. You're going to start coming in this direction too. Uh, although, yeah, the next unit I should train, therefore, here ought to be uh, more spearmen to replace the spearmen who just took a knock. Uh, you guys recovered a handful of your strength afterwards. I should have actually sent these ones up first. These guys actually had the improved weapons from the blacksmith. Yeah, Bordeaux's got, like, nothing in it. Wow, that's, like, nothing here. Uh, but bare minimum, yeah, we can whack up the tax rate while all my troops are here to suppress, uh, suppress any public order issues. So, okay, London's probably about to fall. Whatever, nothing we can do about that. Um, but yeah, if we're lucky, we might be... A yeah, we're about to get a spy out. We might be able to start seeing what's going on elsewhere in the Roman Empire. And yeah, we need to start making a decision as to whether we're going to... I think we should swing east and go for Italy. Uh, yeah. I feel like, yeah, Spain is not that... Some of the territories are not that valuable. Like, and, and also they're hard to hold. Like, uh, the one down over here, I can't remember the name of it, is, is incredibly, incredibly hard to hold. So, we'll do that. And then, yeah, I think we'll, we'll swing here. We'll kind of... We'll, we'll do the Hannibal. We'll go this way. We'll cross the Alps. And then we'll take out Ravenna up here. And then go down to Rome. So there's actually only, there's only like three cities in all of... um In Italy. In, in Barbarian Invasion. There's not many. So, I think we'll probably... Swing via the coast, uh, past Arles and Marseille. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Are those the only cities in, uh, like in the south of France, or is there a? I think so. Yes. Uh, there were more in the original Rome to yeah, the yeah, war, yeah, but they like just... they kind of simplified it down to a smaller number of bigger cities. Sometimes it's funny, like what makes it or not makes it. Or... I and think on this also... occasion it, it wasn't so much about like you know which cities were or weren't important. It was just a case of because the Western campaign is, hey, you've got to defend the entire Western Empire. Mm. If it was like made up of every single significant Roman city, it would be like micromanaging for you know 40 yeah, 50 yeah, settlements yeah. so they had to kind of slim the number down so it was still manageable as a mm. campaign so you end up in like you know it's like, like okay yeah obviously there was nothing of any note in this entire bit of france <laughs> obviously like you know france is just basically a dead cold wasteland with like three towns in it Lol. yeah um well five yeah there's Arles and Massilia really close to each other well that's not france that's occitania better Oh, you see, I, I know how to sweet talk Claire. I know how to sweet talk Claire and her mum. I mean, I, I mean <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure Massilia is a different part of, you know, Provence or whatever. But, you know, you get points for trying. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. You need, you need to actually build any units on this occasion. I feel like you've got, you know what, as we've got a little bit of money coming in right now, and we've just taken Bordeaux, which bare minimum is at least generating money. You're training, yeah, troops there, and you're training a spy. You're not training it. You're, you're just training that. Uh, resistance is futile. Yep, we knew about that. That's absolutely fine. And uh, we knew about you too. So still no sign of any reinforcements or anything. Uh, but yeah, and we've got more troops piling in. Given I literally can't train any in a Bordeaux. So hang on. You are... That's just a large town. Ours is pretty tiny. And um, Marseille's a minor city too. So these are going to be small cities we can't do much in. I managed to train more troops in Avaricum and just send them over like this bit of land. Though there's not much. It looks to me like, yeah, there might be some river crossings here. But it's going to be slow going to get those troops to this bit of the world. I think possibly, yeah, if I train in Avaricum and just send them over open ground here. Like they can basically rendezvous with our main army here. It's all gonna work out, and we're about to get a spy. There, here we go. Here, here comes, here comes, uh, here come the Celts. So, okay, the Celts are gonna attack us. I don't think we can reasonably hold off against the Celts. Here is right. We've got another commander coming in. This one's untouched by fear, so I will take him because plus one morale is anything that boosts morale is really good. So, so you wait, get to who's stay. This guy? Oh, uh, where did you just show up? Are you in Avaricum? No, you're... Ah, you're right here, in fact. You actually joined up with that. So, Motius Vledic. I think he's Welsh. I think we have... I think we have... I think, I, th I, think we've, I think we've got a Roman... I think we've got... We are now the Romano-Welsh Empire. Also, nice. who just flipped? Someone just... Who just cocking flipped? Someone just... Right... I think one of our uh, so, someone just uh, someone just basically flipped. Captain Asparagus flipped. Yeah, Cap 
That's not even close to asparagus. Well, the, when pricks. you were over it, it said asparagus. There you asparagus, go. yeah. Asparagus is close to asparagus. The Roman, you have to basically, give me that. yeah. The Western Empire does not have any armies it can send my way, but it does have diplomats who have just bribed my reinforcements. And Lol. also, I think, sent some more reinforcements to assist. We've got rioting in London, but they're also under attack. So it kind of doesn't matter. Pictish spearmen are actually not even terrible, to be honest, how cheap they are. We've got a new son adopted, Motius Wledic. If you're Welsh, tell us how I ought to be pronouncing that, by the way. Uh, and yeah, by the looks of it, no major... Hang on, diplomatic information... Alemannian Saxons break that. Wow, Roman Empire immediately broke its uh, alliance with the Franks. Then the Berbers in the Western Roman Empire. Alemanni and Franks. Saxons, okay. There's a whole bunch of crazy stuff. And Berbers in the Western Roman Empire. Client kingdoms, that never lasts. Don't even worry about that. That's fine. Uh, and also you're a confident commander. Okay. So we need to take out these idiots who just got in our way. You are a dick and I don't like you. But bare minimum. We've now got a spy. Are you a good spy? No, you're quite a bad spy. But, like, you're better than no spy. Like, let's put it that way. This is going to give us a lot of visibility over the world. And I'm pretty sure there are no Roman cities in this entire area apart from... No, there is Mediolanum. I'd forgotten Mediolanum exists. Okay. So Mediolanum is there. And Ravenna's just around the corner too. Now, you have got a proper militia barracks... Level 2. Okay, fine. And yeah, Ravenna is very big and round the corner. Ravenna is huge and would make a very, very good candidate. But yeah, this is another peril of basically me just invading this gigantic empire. They've got cocking diplomats everywhere. And those cocking diplomats are going to be bribing my small reinforcing armies. And there's nothing I could do to, do to stop that. Aside from eventually, like, you know, assassinating all of them. So you guys are just doing your own thing. Hey, guys. You're a dick, and you shouldn't have attacked me. And now they've retreated from us. They've got proper Salmatia Auxilia there as well. I don't really want to have to fight. Where did you even get archers from? Did they just get sent up from Arl? Possibly. This is this is going to be slow, difficult going. This is slow, difficult going right here. Because these are not particularly valuable cities where I will not be able to do much retraining. And this cocking diplomat's going to pick off my reinforcements because this campaign is insane. Uh, okay. We've got no choice but to basically go over here and try and finish these guys off. Cavern needs to wipe out the archers. Irritatingly, yeah, the Sarmatia Auxilia are just going to take a bit of chunking. We're just going to have to... We're just going to have to do what we could do with them. Uh, but they've got to be got out the way because otherwise they could comfortably take out one... Actually... Yes, because the archers could push around and they could comfortably take out, like, you know, just a handful of units of basic uh, garrison and take back Bordeaux. And I kind of need Bordeaux uh, for its taxes, at least for the time Today being. A pretty flat up. battlefield here. Basically, yeah, just to keep the, uh, keep the Grail Knights off to one side. Mainly, we're going to be wanting to use, yeah, my heavy cavalry on the left. My general can just be in the center. And we've also got the Sarmatian Auxilia just to kind of fire on these guys. You guys, what, why on earth are you in the back? That's a weird position for you. You know what? The coastal levies can just be, like, up front here. They can just accept the, the crash. And that's absolutely fine. Um, so... Uh, they can just accept, like, the initial impact and that'll be absolutely fine. Let's just see what they choose to do here. Let's just get my cavalry moving off to one side. There we go. And you guys just sort of just sort of charging. I'm okay with that. You guys be on fire at will. If that's what you want. It's just my Sarmatian Auxilia would be the best candidates for taking out uh, any of that. You guys just be ready to go wherever. Watch the grow nuts. The grow nuts are slower. They're a little bit slower than some of the other units, so we don't want to, like, you know, expose them too much, because the Auxilia could ride them down. And the Grail Knights would theoretically win, but, like, they would also take some damage doing it, and we don't want them to take damage. Watch out also, the archers can outrange. Archers are very good counter to horse archers if it's this, if it's comparable numbers, simply because, you know, they've they've got more. They've, they've got more, and they're cheaper, so they can exchange quite effectively. So, yeah, we've just got to be a little bit careful here. If we can just bait you guys forward a little bit. If you guys just all want to basically move forward to about... 
Yeah, honestly, just 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 move forward in that position. Just move forward. Let's just see if we can just draw your attention. You just start moving too. Are you guys all running? Yeah, you guys are all running. Surround, slam. Let's just see if we can get a big break. Basically, we're just gonna. I'm just gonna basically just move these guys forward, and everyone. They're just gonna. We're just gonna try and see if we can just confuse them. Because if units are moving all around them, they'll try and reposition to face. And while they're repositioning to face, they can't fire, uh, which is useful. You guys just get over here. You guys just start getting over to here. You guys just start getting over to here. Where is my other general? That's my other general, isn't he? Yeah, that, that's Motius Ledic. She's just getting over to here. And now we just basically, yeah. Surround. And slam. And slam. And slam. And slam. And hit you. You've broken immediately. So that's their leader who's about to be completely cocking, surrounded on all sides. The Grail Knights are about to slam into the archers, which should absolutely destroy them. You, fire into the row of these guys. You, fire into them. There we go. Their leader's now, their leader's broken immediately, which is good, because he, he would have been the toughest proposition by far. And now, and there we go, they've broken. Right, and now we just ride them down. Don't let them get away. And I will take that. You guys can now stop firing. Because you're probably going to do more damage to your own troops than anyone else. And there we go. Their leader who's only captain is dead anyway. But continue. I want them to not get away, please. And we've got the cavalry advantage. So, uh, in which case, don't let the archers get away. You're supposed to not be firing anymore, thank you. Just make sure they don't get away. Yeah, we've basically lost the unit of coastal levies. They just basically took the impact of the Sarmatians. But beyond that, I think we've not really taken any damage at all. Which I think is a solid result. Because these guys are basic trash. Like, they're only here to push siege equipment. And they still can. So, I'm fine with that. I'm absolutely fine with that as a victory. Let's just uh, have a little bit of a look here. Casualties sustained. Yeah. Like, one, one and three and three in the British Legionaries. But basically, it was the Coastal Levies. And they are the most absolutely... Like, if we replace them with a unit of peasants, fine. That there is, you know, your flipping... That, you know, that's that's your fault. You shouldn't have betrayed me and accepted the British the Western Empire bribe. Okay, that's on you. That's on you, not on me. So, yeah, this road leads down into Spain. And this road leads towards uh, Italy, which I think is the direction we ought to go. Just keep an eye out for... Hello there, who are you? You are... Right, you're another rebel empire. Fine. If you just like, If you just like to get out of my way, I'd appreciate that, by the way. I'd, I'd hugely appreciate Did we lose sight of the rebel who's right? <laughs> God, how? How, Rogue Tell the War Remastered, have we lost visibility of this man? All right, fine. We've lost visibility of this man. L somehow. And at this point, yeah, I think we've got to send our reinforcements down here, not via the road, because otherwise the cocky diplomat's going to snipe them off, which is cocking hilarious. And we do have some, you know what? I think we should just start sending these two these two spearmen down here. It's going to take them about five turns to get there direct. Yeah, they're going to do it. I'm just going to send them down, and they're just going to... They're technically within my te my territory for a certain volume of mine. Um, should you actually abandon this city and go and just deal with the Varicum? To be honest, it doesn't matter because you are... You've got plus one morale. Plus bonus to farming output. There is good farms here. Then you get... Uh, what are the farms here? What are the farms in this territory? That's only level 2 farming. There's actually level 3 farming. Uh, is it? No, it's actually, no, that's level 2 as well. You should probably be going to Avaricum. Because it's the only city that actually kind of matters. In a way. Uh, but actually, your management is so poor, you'd probably hurt Avaricum. <laughs> so that's fine. It's all absolutely fine. These these guys are going to come and attack us. I, I, I will give a spirited defense, but it's not going to work. It's not going to work. This, this guy's just hiding behind a mountain. It's great. It's going to be two turns before we get there. Uh, you basically... We can't trade anything here. Honestly, you know... If I trained a diplomat... I'm going to train one more diplomat. You can just basically be like a kind of spy inside Spain. We've got one diplomat here who's going to keep an eye on Italy. We've got one spy who's going to basically try and figure out what the hell's going on with the Huns. And just figure out what the cock is going on. Speaking of which, actually... Uh, bu 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 not lists, not that. Where's, where's the cocky? Where's the cocky diplomatic screen? They've moved. Why have they moved? Over? Diplomatic standing. There we go. Huns. 
currently only at war with the Sarmatians and the Vandals. Okay, they did attack the Sarmatians, which means the Sarmatians are probably currently a horde, but we don't know. Um, the Vandals will be ahead of the Huns. They're at war with the Goths and Eastern Empire. So they've kind of drifted southwards by Luke's of it. And the Sarmatians are at war with East and West uh, Rome and also the Huns and the Vandals. So it's hard to say where the Sarmatians, who are probably a horde. Actually, based on the strength comparison, I would suggest they're not a horde. Because if they were a horde, they'd have way more strength than that. Like, you know, it would look more like this. And I'm not sure there's a way to tell for certain. I think possibly the Sarmatians may have not been attacked and may not be hoarding. It's hard to say uh, for certain. I think they just might start at war. Maybe they just start at war with a large number of people. So it's... It's <laughs> it's, it's hard to say what the cock's going to happen at this point. Uh, or possibly the Sarmatians are just went to war and actually are going toe-to-toe -to -toe with another horde. Which would be good. If the two hordes were going to war with each other, that would be good too. So it's, 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 it's hard to say. Uh, we've got, anyway, we've got the spies moving. We need to take out this, yet another cocking rebel here. I've got yet more spearmen. Honestly, the Foiderati are doing good jobs. I need to get a cocking. Are we even building anything right now? We should probably build something here. Like, okay, also we should repair the walls. Repairing the walls would be good. That's, that's certainly true. Shipwright probably doesn't do me much good. A basic barracks would let me... That's just coastal levies. I mean, having the ability to just spam more cavalry probably isn't terrible. Having... Oh, that's highways. Highways are expensive. There's Sol Invictus, which would at least help with the... Oh, blimey. Okay, we've also got to lower the tax rate here. That's... We, we, can't, we can't afford to... They, they don't like that. They didn't like that one little bit. No, no, no. Uh, Practice range. Is that really worth it? Maybe, yeah, just focus on it. Farming in, like, when you're a small empire, farming generates is, is quite sexy. It generates quite a bit of money, actually. That's that's okay. That's okay. So, yeah, I'll, t I'll take that, and we'll just... If we're lucky, maybe the Western Roman Empire will come out, attack that rebel, and that will be fine. They haven't come in. We've also got a candidate for adoption. He's got literally no traits aside from being Christian. No. Uh, settlement besieged is still Londinium. That's absolutely fine. The richest faction is us. What? Uh, just by virtue of the fact we keep burning down cities. Oh, fair enough. We, we, I mean, technically we're sitting on a giant stockpile of money that we're going to start losing at some point. Uh, yet more cocking nonsense here. Roman Empire. Yeah, Sarmatians attacking Goths. Roman em Eastern Empire and Huns. Uh, though, interestingly, the, the Eastern Empire started that one. <laughs> so, God only knows what's happening uh, over there. Right. That would suggest the Huns are also heading southwards and not westwards, which is good. If that's what's happening, I'm just going to send my spy over in this direction just to go and have a bit of a loopsy as to what's going on. So, that is... Yeah, that's, how, that's the Alemanni. Oh, shit. Here we go. The Roman Empire has started to respond to my, you know me attacking their settlements and uh that means it's time for me to cocking uh leave uh because i could well, actually could i resist against that it's a captain Ooh, six units i think i could right that means unfortunately the reinforcements need to go back to this city and we need to train more uh yeah literally nothing but spearmings that's all i can train unfortunately uh you know what if we're gonna genuinely try and hold the city get a practice range and play it's not great but it will do uh we do also have you know i've got units here i could send south you could go this way that keeps you away from away from the uh that guy get out of my way mr merchant get out of the way pursue right that gets me over to there there is, there's, there's a guy here. There's, there's a guy just around the corner. There he is! Hi, we found him! We found Posthumous Paul! <laughs> Good old Posthumous Paul. Everyone loves Posthumous Paul. Right, Posthumous Paul. I'm going to suggest you get the cock out of my way. Oh good, Posthumous Paul's decided he wants to go. He's, he said he doesn't want to be here today. 
Good, good job, posthumous Paul. I have decided I'm going to kindly let you live. Posthumous Paul. I love you, posthumous Paul. Right, agents. Go down over to here. Uh, and just basically have a bit of a look-see. There's, there's a... Okay, fine. You're just a gothic, uh, gothic merchant over here in Spain. For reasons best known to yourself. And yeah, the number of troops here is two. I'm just going to do this very slowly. And I'm just going to drop a save. You can mess up your movement in this game very easily. I just want to see what's going on. That's silver. That's just a resource. And I figured there might be something around. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Well, that's the end of the campaign. Good night, everybody. The rest of the Empire decided they, 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 they've got sick of me. And, and want to... I've decided they want to... Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to... We're going to buy some mercenaries. I know I said we absolutely definitely shouldn't buy mercenaries. But we're going to buy mercenaries now because the Western Roman Empire decided I, that they got sick of me burning down their entire empire. Damn it, chat. Why didn't you tell me to go to Spain? Um... Okay. Oh, brown knight. John's about to become posthumous Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's why we saved before moving. John. I'm not reloading just for that. That would be very cheaty of me. Mm -hmm. But we have learned a valuable. We have learned a valuable lesson about how we absolutely cooking shouldn't move anywhere unless we've scouted ahead. Okay, I'm gonna buy. Uh, did, have you learned a lesson about how it's not actually that easy to be Hannibal? I'm just going to buy some merc. I'm just going to buy literally every mercenary. The economy is going to collapse in a second, but that's fine. Okay, hey, look, now I now I too have a, a good army, and my army's got more cavalry. This army's got a lot of trash in it. This army is a lot of trash. There's peasants, there's uh, limitane, there's there's a lot of stuff that's not very good. And it does not have a commander. It's it's a captain. I think we can beat it. Especially, look look where we are. Because this was Rome Total War, the best generation of Total War. If these guys come and attack me, thinking, hey, we've got more men than you. We've got 3,500 men to this guy's 2,200. They can attack me. Look what I've got. Look where I'm standing, Claire. Look what I'm standing next to. Uh, to a valley. Two mountains. The mountains, yes. Well, because yeah, a valley between two mountains. So this being Rome do... to the wall, that means there will be cocking steep terrain I can stand on top of, and they're going to have to watch against me, and I can charge my cavalry down a steep slope into them. And they're not going to enjoy it. I think I can salvage that. I on think the plus I... side, you won't be paying those mercenaries for very long. They'll be on the front lines. You're not wrong. They mm -hmm. they will they will be on they'll be on the front lines. Uh, you're not you're not wrong in the slightest. So okay, the Western Roman Empire has decided it's had enough of my bullshit. And is now deploying troops to come and stop me. I think we can hold Belgium. Uh, we need to start training troops here now. Um, yeah, let's get a practice range out right here. Uh, we need we need troops. This this territory simply can't build anything. You know, maybe scrap, scrap the farmland and instead build like you know something stables. Stables are solid because they mean you can trade Sarmatian auxilia from tier one, which is you know from the basic level of, of stables, which is pretty good. Uh, my diplomat is also around two. Ravenna should be somewhere. There it is. It's not Venice. It's not where Venice is. It's further south. There we go. Ravenna, barely cocking, guarded, huge city. This is going to be this this is going to be interesting. By the, oh god, uh, this is going to be an interesting one. This this is this is going to be an interesting fight. I mean, we've got new ground knights. We just hired them, and they're going to be. They were available to hire. Yep, they were they were they were mercenaries. They're mercenary ground knights. So we we were able to hire them. We've got. I'm hoping they come and attack me. I'm hoping they come and attack me. If they do. Hashtag quick. Just going to drop a little save here. Just drop a little coward save. But we're going to see what happens next. Saxons. There's the Alemanni. There's, yeah, Alemanni on the move. Celts coming. Okay. Which, first things first, we're going to lose against the Celts. Um, is there any way this could possibly be won? Here's the thing. Even basic picture spearmen are actually solid. And there's, there's they've got 5,000 men against my 1,000. And some of my men are... 
they've got the clowns of uh, the hounds of uh, Kaloon. That they they can win this fight by themselves. We can't win that. Never mind. Don't even worry about that one. Yet yeah, we lose. Uh, honestly, well done. That's probably more casualties than I would have got. Mm. Well done. So we've lost London. It's fine. London's gone. Yeah. We knew that. Yeah, London's gone. Oh, they've just they've just sent in way more reinforcements Lol. to back up the Belgium fight. Also, um, pirates are taking out our one fleet. That's sunk. We no longer have boats. The Eastern Roman rebels are dead. Oh, and the Western Roman Empire decided, oh yeah, you know what? One army wasn't enough. Here's, here's a second. Also, I think they just purchased Bordeaux. Lol. I think the I think the Western Empire just straight up bought Bordeaux. Weren't your people in Bordeaux like two of your heirs? No, no, I moved them out. They're there with the army. Okay. Uh, Sorry, I was fixing up a night bar. I'm pretty sure that what just happened was yes. Uh, there's been there's been some. I think they they just straight up bought. They just straight up bought Bordeaux. They bribed Bordeaux. Bordeaux's gone back over here. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to fall back into the mountain range because we're losing four grand a turn. Lol, that'll be the grill night mercenaries. <laughs> mercenaries in general, yes. And the fact we don't have Bordeaux or London anymore, and also multiple things really. Some things have gone a bit wrong here. Some things have gone a bit wrong. Just a tad. In theory, we can hold. Uh, bet we can hold Belgium, depending on what's in this army. Avaricum is not immediately under threat, but the Western Roman ah. Empire might just buy it with this cocking diplomat. That's a very good point from Nightcat. Yes. Because they bought Bordeaux, that means you can burn it down again. Technically, that is true. Um, I think we need to... We've got one unit of reinforcements here. Who we can get to this mountain range here. I think we might want to... Oh, God. Um... Okay. What can we see? That's... It's just a giant pile of infantry. All of it's a giant pile of infantry. We simply cannot afford to wait too long until we make our next move. We we can't because we're going to go bankrupt uh, imminently. You, Belgium can afford to have its... No, Belgium's taxes are already maxed out. Your taxes can afford to go up a little bit, which maybe buys us like three turns till we hit bankruptcy. I believe if we fell back into the mountains, thus preventing them from surrounding us, we could take them out one by one. But if I do that, then yeah, uh, it's gonna, you know, it's it, it's me playing defensively. I cannot play defensively right now. In theory, what I could do is loop around the top of Arl and then basically put them under siege from the north. Which might force one of them to come and attack me. Which would force an open field battle with me pressed up against the mountain. In that case, I could play I could play from the high ground. It's not great, but it's, it's something. I can't just fall back into a fort. Because then, I, if they just choose to starve me out, they win. Because I'll go bankrupt and lose. If this army dies, then bare minimum I could try and I could build up again in Avaricum. I I think we might have to I think we we might just have to work under the assumption that Avaricum's the new capital. I like I don't even know whether we can hold Belgium. Like there's there's a part of me that says abandon Belgium, bring all the troops down to Avaricum and just prepare to hold out in Avaricum and just basically restart in Avaricum and we're, we're now the Avarico British army. Uh, or, or the Roman Var the, the, the Romano Avaricum army. And we'll, we'll just be the mighty, mighty empire of Borge. The, the glory, glory to Borge. 
we're we're the bougie empire. Are we the bougie empire? Yeah, that's that's Apparently possible. We are. Yeah, that that's theoretically possible. My options are yeah, like either I think we're just gonna have to go for an absolute hail mary attack on Arl. And see if I... Because, yeah, there's there's not much in Arl right now. And hope that the mountains being in the way screw up the reinforcements. Just, I'm just going to drop a save in case we, we mess up the movement points. Because I think if we're attacking Arl from the north, it's going to force them to come and attack us. And at least then we've got the, the high ground. So I can move out here. Attack Arl from the north. Begin building siege equipment. You fall back to Avaricum because you're not going to be able to make it there. That's going to help us put the taxes up. Uh, not much. The question is, do you think it's even worth us attempting to hold? <sighs> Can I beat that army? 15 units. I don't know what's there. I know there's not a commander, but I know there's something. The alternative is... Be quick. Our patience is limited. Okay. What do you have to offer the Western Roman Empire? I'm very good at groveling. Are you though? <laughs> do you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I will offer you <laughs> map information about where the Celts are. Oh, good wow. sir. Okay, that's not gonna work. That's that's not that's not gonna work. Uh, how dare you besmirch my groveling abilities? There's Rome, by the way. I mean, you're so. It's true. You're so good at groveling. You've never once needed to practice it with me. Do I have anything else I can buy? There's no more. I've literally bought every mercenary who's around here. I think basically, yeah. If this, okay. This goes either two ways. Either we manage, they come and attack us and we fight an open field battle where I've got the advantage of the mountains and then I, I win a, a, a huge grand victory. We take all, etc, etc. Or they just die. In the event they, oh shit, hang on. In the event they die, then one, we don't have to pay them anymore so the economy will sort itself out. But this will leave this guy as literally the only member of the faction. Meaning he can't be under siege in Belgium. He's got to cocky go, actually. Oh, so he's just going to be on the road much safer. He's safer than being in Belgium right now. Fair okay. The he he's got he's got to go and hang out in Arl where it's safe. But if he's leaving, I don't think we can hold Belgium anymore. Right, we're abandoning Belgium. Uh, but Belgium is being abandoned. He's he's just taking. He's just going. He's he's leaving Belgium. Uh, because yeah, Belgium. Yeah, I don't think we can reasonably hold that, unfortunately. So he's just going to Avaricum. Belgium's going to be angry, but that's, that's you know, is what it is. We're going to train more troops here. We're going to get some archers in play. We're going to, as we've now established, we're not holding Belgium. We're just going to burn Belgium down. Um, just make sure they can't get anything good out of Belgium. That will buy us a little bit of time. Let me just cocky bought this port. Uh, burn down the arena. Yep, no, none of that for you. There's another 500 gold. Burn down your religion. Screw your stupid religion. Uh, if we can, set up Christianity. That'll fuck them up. Uh, oh, yes. Cancel, cancel the cancel that. We can, get them, we can get the cash back from that too. Right. Burn down literally everything. Right. Belgium's been burnt down, just like London before it. Good. Good, good, good. In which case, um, you know what? The coastal levies are, they're not good, but not terrible either. Uh, the, the peasants can just hold the city. Good job. Uh, right. We're fleeing to Avaricum. That's going to be our new headquarters. So either we have to rebuild everything from Avaricum, which does at least have, you know, some decent military infrastructure in play, which is good. You know, that's, that's positive. Um, or alternatively, you know, just, just in general, we'll need to figure some other stuff out. It's all going to be fine. Me and my son, my spy over here. Like, bare minimum, we can figure out what's going on. Um... Yeah, into into Frankish territory right there. There's the Alemanni territory. But we think the Huns are probably heading south along with the Vandals. We simply don't know for the time being. Um, all right, let's figure out what the fuck's about to happen. 
Well, and uh, while we do that, shout out to Paul uh, Wilson, who's been a member for 75 months. Nice. Uh, and says, even Hannibal couldn't be Hannibal, and he was Hannibal. That's true. Uh, and Felix uh, gave us five pounds and says, I've got to pause this in 10 minutes because my girlfriend wants to watch the England, the England exchange video after watching Florence. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> nice. Oh, dear. We've got slight. Okay, an even bigger. Oh, no, obviously, they didn't attack. Wait, what the fuck? Where the fuck are the gigantic armies of Rome? They're... That's like when you see a massive spider in your room and then you take your eyes off it to get like a glass and an envelope for putting it outside and then you can't see it anymore. Okay, it worries me that I'm now having my troops unescorted by this leader, but this leader needs to be in the city, because if the leader's in the city, it will make it way harder for them to just bribe it. So, okay. Obviously, they sent a second air army to take Belgium, so we made the right choice of evacuating Belgium. We cannot hold it. Um, with an extra unit here, we might be able to... No, we can't quite afford that. Please don't bribe these troops, you absolute fuckers. Bafflingly, I don't know where their armies have gone. Um, then again, if they're waiting for me to just move into this city, in theory, like, the moment I take this city, I'm trapped in this city. One could argue the more sensible move is to completely ignore Al, even though we could move in now. Because once you've moved in, you, that ends your turn. You can't move that army out straight afterwards. Marseille is further away. Hang on, where's that diplomat? You're gonna be my you're gonna be my eyes on the ground. What the fuck happened to those armies? Where the fuck did they just go? They could be they could be anywhere. Fuck <laughs> The safer option might be to not take the city, but take Marseille instead. Though Marseille has got more defences to it. It's got more defences. Ah. People you can saying, apparently, yeah. People are saying I can take the city and move. Are you sure? I'm not sure. I'm going to save just in case. I feel like that's not true. All right. We'll give it a go. Although, wait. Oh, this. Oh, I thought they had proper walls here. They've only got. They've only got crappy walls. Okay. Let's go in. Bear and we. Okay. Even if this does trap us here, we need the cocking money to not die. Right. This is. Opius Flavius, who's not very good, and two units of archers. We might take some damage, but we'll put the mercenaries up front. That way, if they take the damage, we don't have to pay them anymore. Dead mercenaries don't need paying. It's all fine. I do not know where the fuck those armies are gone, but there are now two full stack armies somewhere. Somewhere. Uh... Oh, no. Oh, no. I think if we just cross the Alps, and then if we were able to smash our way into Ravenna or Mediolanum, that would be a decent starting point. So, okay, which angle are we approaching from on this occasion? That's that's an okay angle right there. Uh, you guys are fine. We're going to win this. The question is, yeah, we just need to avoid casualties. Or rather, if there have to be casualties, they should be casualties that are, you know, the type of casualties I want to take. Uh, which would be, yeah, there's some archers. We might be able to do some damage. Some of the archers are back here, which is good. If I can just catch the archers unawares, I can... Yeah, if I just have my cavalry ready to move in. So, you know, just in particular, yeah. The the cav the units we probably realistically can't afford, they should just be here. So we'll just have them here. We're we'll probably going to take some damage to these units. So that's what I've said too, just in case they use flaming arrows and set one of the uh, things on fire. But they appear... To be good. Their, their best chance to do damage was ah, but then again, if they're if they have all their archers on the plaza, that's kind of annoying. We might be able to uh where are you guys? <laughs> now they're sort of coming forward a little bit. Which is fine. I still don't have any archers, hilariously. These archers are now still trying to get into a position to fire. These archers will do good damage because these guys are really tightly packed together. 
which is good. They do have shields, and they're holding the shields on their left-hand side, which mattered back in Road to the War. Like, where the shield was literally being held was factored into the chance of the shield, be the arrow being neg negated or not. Like, it was only, it only became, like, a flat thing applied to the whole unit in, in, in later. Much worse Total War games. Uh, but these guys appear to be attempting to hold the breach, which is, I mean, well done. You cocking geniuses, well done for sending the archers forward to hold in a melee. So you just put the ram down, charge forward, straight in. Right, you guys just getting over here and just basically take them out. If they want to send this guy to try and deal with that, I have got spearmen for you, buddy. I've got spearmen all day, every day. Uh, so there we go. We've taken the enemy walls. Is he going to try and respond to that or is he going to fall back to... The, uh, is he going to fall back to the plaza? Looks like he's not responding, which is good. Um, and now we've got more cavalry coming in. They're going to, yeah, look at them, look at them be poked away. Yeah, that's right. That's cocking right. Down you go. Down you go, you stupid loser. Now ride him down, ride him down, ride him down. Because this was back in the good days of Total War when, when a unit was fleeing and you had cavalry, that meant you could just cock and slaughter the bastards. It was great fun. Right. Get over here. And there's uh, breach number two. So, okay. Now we need to, yeah, basically lure this guy away. This is not a terrible position for this sort of thing. Basically, yeah, just line up all my cavalry around here. You guys, the, uh, yeah, all of the strong cavalry. Get over here. Get around over to here. That's absolutely fine. And then bring up the, the Sarmatian mercenaries. The only mercenaries who I originally hired who are still part of the army. Because they have just been... They're the only cocking long range I've got. It's not that long range. But it will cocking do. So, okay. Get over to... Guys, is this really the formation? The, the best formation you could come up with? Alright. My horse have just decided they're going to be big, long, stringy boys today. And... Guys. Come, guys, come on. Guys, come on, please. Oh, there's more. No, no, no. This is good. This is good. My... Their archers have decided that what they're going to do is very slowly move forward. And... Are they going to try and send... I might... This is going to... This isn't ideal. Because their cavalry is doing the same thing. And they're probably, therefore, going to... Actually, you know what? Me, if we're lucky... If we're lucky, is this going to pull them into? Yeah, this is going to pull them into, unfortunately. This isn't great because these units are going to take a cocktail of damage. Uh, deploy all spearmen. This isn't really what I want to happen, to be honest. These guys. Then again, the Grail Knights will just chunk and chunk and chunk and chunk and chunk and chunk and chunk. And chunk. All day, every day. But cavalry versus very hard Imperial German bodyguard. Do you want that? No, no, you don't. You're going to take damage. Unnecessary damage. I'd like the archers to break. And they're kind of... Never mind. I think we just got really lucky and took out their general. Like, very early on. Which is very good. In fact, how on earth... How on earth are you guys, like, steady? Or whatever. Focus your attention here. Everybody get on here. Apart from you guys. You guys you guys are doing a good job. In fact, this is going surprisingly smoothly. Like, normally, like, you know, very hard bodyguards will just stand and fight all day, every day. But I think possibly we might want to. You guys are being very slow and, and struggling to get up to the city, aren't you? They're still at 52, but we've taken out their leader. This is... I don't want my cavalry here. No, I don't want my cavalry here. I'm going to pull them out. I'm going to pull them out. Guys, get out of that. Infantry move it. This is kind of your job. And now we just want to... It's going to be very difficult to force them to back out, unfortunately. They're being pulled back in. But I'm... Ah, fuck it. Fine. Fine. We're just going to have to... We're just going to have to do a gigantic... Fine! Everybody just pile in, you stupid fuckers. Just get over there and just everybody pile in. Why the cock not? Claire, while we just, while the meat grinder grinds away, yum yum sausages. Hey, shout out to Moken who gave us 15 Norwegian krona and says, uh, hello, uh, Master Ted, Lady Claire and John. I missed the stream. So here is stream one again of asking Master Ted to ask servant John to play Dream Park Story. Dream Park Story. If they say, keep saying over and over again, eventually it's going to get in my head. They're, they're, they'll, they'll get their wishes eventually. 
well, I mean, it's only stream one. Mm -hmm. uh, Gretchman gave us $10. Uh, dollars and for Star Control, date 0027, halfway to 52. And that's another number in the chain. As always, I submit my outrageously and superlatively humble request for John to play Star Control 2. Uh, thank you very much. Thank and you. And goodbye. Thank you. Ooh. I was doing the thing. Okay, we just happened to win because they their archers just broke before that. We lost a lot of mercenaries. Good. That means we don't have to pay the fuckers. Uh, so, right. That turned into an absolute silly meat grinder. But we, um, you know, we didn't have to kill them down to the last man. It was weird how long those archers held, given their general was dead. And we just got really lucky with the, the general kill. But, yeah, that was just a really awkward position. So, okay. We get in. There's just... Wait. For some reason, these guys just naffed off. Exterminate. That gets us enough money to not die. And now... Okay, it turns out everybody was right. This doesn't end my turn. Though, where the cock of the Roman Empire? <laughs> okay, forget Arles. We're going straight on to Marseille. Which has got more troops in it, unfortunately. But what we can do is... Yeah, if I'm going to send the cavalry up front because they've got more movement points. So the cavalry is going to go up front, right? And we've just... Dead mercenaries don't need paying, which is really useful. Yeah, I'm just going to drop a save in case the movement points fuck up. They're going to go this way, which is going to put this city under siege. Uh, it's a basic city, so yeah, basic uh, ladders will do the job. Maintain the siege. And now everybody else gets to come along. Leaving behind the coastal levees. And yeah, it's the safest way to move infantry maybe a tiny bit further than they might not be able to move. Because you simply move in and you just uh, use that. So okay. You go over to a low tax rate. That's fine. I know we're losing money. But at least now we've got like four or five turns before it goes to hell. You, if you're lucky, can make it to a Varicum next turn. We're losing Belgium, which is fine. God only knows where the, um, the giant Roman armies have gone. Yeah, yes. people in chat have suggested that those armies might have gone to hold the city that they bought. It's possible. They might have gone to hold Bordeaux. Also, we're going to build archers to finally get those archers I wanted. Uh, and here, bare minimum, there's some stuff. You know what? A spy. Get, get, you know what? A spy. Before anything else, I, I want a spy. I want to know what the cock's going on here. Uh, I, I would love to have a spy. Uh, so we'll get a spy trained before we do anything else. But the rest of the city, I think we can, we can burn a fair whack of this down. Like, do we need some of this? Do we need the Temple of Mithras? Really? Uh, that one's alright, actually. Uh, you know what? Burn the sewers. Yeah, we don't need those. We'll sell, this, we'll sell them. Um, we'll also repair the wall defences just to slow down the Roman encroachment. We reasonably are not going to be able to, to hold this territory for long, so don't worry about mines or anything. Librarian Seth would like to know if you've uh, thought about uh, using the head of Zarklan. <laughs> would be a good idea. All oh, Ted's very sleepy and snorry behind us. If you hear gentle snoring in the background, that's Ted. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go give him a kiss on his. Go and give him a little cuddle. That makes sense to me. Okay. Where's my? I know I've got a. I've got. I've got a spider somewhere. Is that my spy? That's my spy. Right, just deploy my spy in this direction. Basically, I just, I just want my spy to go and find the hordes. I just want my spy to find the hordes, wherever the hordes are. Oh, the Lombardi are doing well today by the looks of it. Lombardi looks like they've taken a huge amount of territory, actually. Yeah, they're Saxon territory. Uh, Franks don't own much at the moment. And... Yeah, then the Alemanni generally don't do that much, especially if they're chill with the Western Empire, which unfortunately they are being. Seriously, guys... Other barbarian factions, please attack Rome. Please distract them for me. I've no idea how we're even still cooking alive at this point. But... Okay, we'll take Marseille. That might be a, a decent place to try and hold, potentially. There's yet more cooking Western Imperial diplomats around here. We've got... Oh, there's there's a big-ass army. There's more... Oh, Justinianus. It's not quite Julianus, but it's close. There's more cocking giant armies around. Keep an eye out for them, but okay. You know, but in, in my head, my plan for this stream was, I know, we'll just walk into Italy and we'll take Rome and we'll rebuild from Rome. It's not working out. It's not. 
it's not been going quite that way, to be honest. It's It's been trickier. I might just want to maybe play a bit more defensively until the hordes show up. Ideally, the hordes are going to show up at some point or another. That would be great. That'd be, that'd be really, 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 really good. Oh. It's all going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. Um, yeah. They've got, yeah, the Cassius the Lily Livered. So, yeah, bare minimum, yeah, his troops aren't going to be strong at fighting. Uh, Foidratic Cavalry, not that good. I don't know what the other units are. Hopefully, hopefully he's got no uh, common tense as here. But, like, I've, I've no idea what's happening anymore. Um, okay. Please don't go and bribe these units. All right. They're, they're, they're quite good units. Just, just, just like, like, don't. Frank's just moving north. Yeah. You're moving in that direction. That's fine. I do not know where the hordes are. You'll go in that direction too. Just keep an eye on everything for the time being. Nothing from the Huns. Western Roman Empire. Yep, they've got diplomats everywhere. Uh, there are no Western Roman... Oh, they're, 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 they're going to Avaricum. They're pissed off. I've, I've proper pissed off the Romans. And... Oh, well, we found one of them. R right, they've come to Avaricum. That's good. We can hold Avaricum better than we could hold anything else. Right. So one of them is at Avaricum. And we found the other one. He's right there. He's possibly coming to retake Arles. Okay, they've split up. At least they're not together anymore. Uh, okay. In which case, uh, basically, yeah, train train some more cavalry. We've we've got three turns till bankruptcy. But if we can knock out these guys, that will be useful. That's actually a fair amount of uh, Forderati infantry, and those guys are not bad. The, the, the only advantage we've got here, though, is, yes, in this city, we have actually got, you know, very solid walls. We've got tier four walls, which are pretty good. Um, uh, that uh, archer range doesn't really do me any good. To be honest, just makes the archers a tiny bit better. Uh, is any of this paved? Apparently, there's no paved roads here. Lol. Um, <laughs> Mithras would give me a tiny experience bonus. Is that really worth anything? Uh, is a blacksmith? I'm not sure if any of this is really worthwhile. To be honest, I think we should save the money. You're gonna retake Carl, and I can't stop you. You are going to now take Marseille, and that is fine. The problem I've got here is, yeah, there are large Roman armies around, and we don't really know, like, where. So, bare minimum, we know you're there. You're there. That's fine. Great. Cool. Love it. Do I want to deploy my spy around the corner? Yeah, I think I... Uh, you know what? We should keep an eye on. You know what? I need more spies. I'm going to send my spy around the corner in this direction. Just to see. Okay, bare minimum. Hey, Ted. Hi, baby. Hi, honey bum. What you doing? Oh, just lying down on the floor. Just want some floor time. What's in Mediolanum? Nothing. Okay. If we could just basically leave these idiots behind and just break our way into Italy... And then ideally take Medjilam and, and Ravenna. Those are valuable, very, very valuable cities. Get over to here. As we were saying, lots of stuff going on with there. And I think we should start our spy heading south. Because, yeah. The Alemanni are expanding to the east. That is... Hang on. Is that broken territory? Is that uh, rebel territory? No, no, just, just tell me, tell me who that belongs to. I don't know, but it looks like it's been burnt down, which suggests to me this. I think this might have been Gothic territory that's been burnt down by an incoming horde. The problem is we just don't know what the hordes are doing. I think they're around here somewhere. I think they're somewhere in this bit of the world, but it's really hard to tell. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move in, and we're gonna take yeah, with five ladders. I'm going to move in. Oh, there's literally nothing but cavalry here. And most of it's kind of trash cavalry. That's kind of good. Uh, Cash is delivery. Are you the faction air, buddy? Are you the cooking Caesar? I think you might be, you know. Uh, wait, how do we how do we check your McGibbly Jibble? Can we, can we not see your, your description? Maybe not. Uh, okay. Right, well, he's... Anyway, he's he's got Lily Livered. So his troops aren't going to fight as well. And they literally can't defend their own walls. Because they've got no infantry. Which works for me. Because that means if they do anything to try and hold their gates. I can use their own walls against them. 
And I have a plenty of spearmen, including spearmen I'm happy to toss away because they're mercenary spearmen. I don't really want to be paying for too much longer. Yeah, you know what? That That's fine. And because they're going to have to take Arl because of its zone of control before they even get to me, that will buy me a bit of time to regroup. So everything's everything. Everything's fine. Someone has just pointed out there is there is questionable tactics in me really wanting to, you know, more than anything else, go into Italy and take Rome. And while well, someone says to me, man, I sure hope the Vandals don't call. I wonder where the Vandals are. <laughs> I wonder if they historically did anything of note. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> dear, oh dear. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Shout out to Oshin, who uh, has been a member for 35 months and says, hey, John and Claire, uh, glad to catch the start of the stream. If John loses London, I think it's only fair that Claire be put in charge. Oh. I mean, I'm not a Celt. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Indeed, she is not. Uh, right, this is a small, This is probably the most awkward angle to actually approach this city from because there's, it's otherwise, if you approach this angle, you've got to go around here, then in here, then loop around the temple to get to a very narrow entry point to the plaza. But probably, yeah, the best of a slightly difficult bunch will be, yeah, just setting the, whatever the most, uh, the least important unit is. Hang on. Where's me guys who are, wait, the Coastal Levy still present? Did they, did they end up joining this army? I can't remember if they did. You guys, just get to here. And then, yeah, from there, we'll just send you at a slight angle to this wall. And are they going to do anything to attempt to hold? Well, these guys are here. If we're lucky, these guys will hold. Obviously, yeah, these being ladders, they can't be burnt down. And these guys being so tightly bunched together, I'm hoping they won't, like, many of them will be picked off by the tires while they, they have the towers while they're uh, putting the ladders in place. They'll take, like, a few. They'll be fine. Yeah, like, maybe five or six. Now you guys all move forward. Now lost a handful of people. Nothing too dramatic, really. Then you guys just basically, yeah, just start moving in this direction. They literally can't, uh, can't do much to me. Come on, guys. Guys. Ahem. Pathfinding. Run to the war remastered. Keep, 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 keep trying, guys. Come on. John, they're not Ted. Come on, guys. Guys, come. <laughs> You're giving come, come. them Ted commands. Come. There we go. Good, good for Dorati infantry. Good job, guys. Good job, good job, good job, good job, good job. Right. Sometimes when Ted pretends not to hear or understand what we say to him, we give him a little ahem, uh, and he he knows that that's the, all right, you have to stop fucking around now noise. Yeah. Now I'm just going to basically go and take all the towers, and if they do anything to try and, you know, uh, stop me there. There we go. We've 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 taken a fair. We've ta we've knocked out a few of them already, just because they're running past towers over and over and over again. Uh, so what I want to do now is I want to try and bait them back into these towers. But uh, what I also want to not do, however, under any circumstances, is go down onto the street. Because if I go down onto the street, they'll think, oh shit, the street has been taken. We had better fall back to the plaza. Uh, so that's the last thing I want. What I want is, yes, them to... I want these guys to just step on the wall. Um, so these guys think, oh, we've, we've still occupy the street. So, you know, we've still got a chance. And then all I want to do is I just want to have these guys around here. And just basically have them walk all the way around. And ideally just take these towers one by one. And just do more and more damage to these uh, cavalry as they go by. And yeah, I think that the, the pathfinding is at least smart enough to know if you're on the wall and you click another point of the wall, even if theoretically there would be a shorter route to go by going down the wall and through the city, you stay on the wall unless specifically told otherwise. Stay on the wall. Like, do not come off the wall until you're given specific orders to not be on the wall. And there you go. They're just taking more and more damage. They're falling down more and more here. As soon as we take this tower, it's going to happen again. They're going to come immediately under fire. And... <laughs> Oh, they rather... Pew, ancient machine guns. There we go. That's 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 a fair few dead. Did you have fun. I like saying pew, pew, pew. It's great fun. Right. And uh, if they want to make it back to the plaza, by the way, they're going to have to walk past uh, more towers. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, they're doing another tour. They're doing another circle yet. They're not done yet. Oh, no. They're doing another tour. Pew, pew, pew. 
It's great fun watching towers at high speed because they don't look like gag hours anymore. It's like she's firing a big old machine gun at them. It's great fun. Uh, okay. So, you guys just taking more and more damage. These guys are kind of fucked. This is this is delightful. Even their, their, their leader is now going to walk straight past some tower fire. He's not going to take much from that, unfortunately. <laughs> so he's just going to take... If we're lucky, maybe he'll decide to go all the long way around. That would that would be hilarious. Come on, keep firing. Keep firing him. Yeah, just keep doing circuits, you stupid fucker. Ah, that's <laughs> right. That's right. Just keep, do just keep doing the circuits, lol. Uh, a shout out to Chris, who says the, the wall thing is kind of like the Flora's Lava Siege Edition. <laughs> Something of that nature, certainly. Uh, librarian Seth, as well as a bunch of other people in chat, pointed out that if you need to run, uh, how about uh, flaunt history and go to sub-Saharan Africa? Like, True. Use the Mediterranean and establish a base. Yep, it's not, yeah. it's, it could work in theory. It could work in theory. Okay, now here's actually the toughest one. So, okay, the leaders retreated to the plaza. The other person on the plaza is the Foiderati cavalry, who are pretty flimsy. The other unit here is the Sarmatian Auxilia. Now, I would love those guys to potentially, yeah, start running around. So, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bring my Sarmatians forward. I'm gonna see if I can just fire over the walls at them, and basically just lay down a bit of fire just to trigger them to move. Uh, that would be fine if we could just kind of, you know, bring you guys here. Have you guys got a shot there? You guys got a shot? Or is it a bit of a weird angle? Uh, games that seem to think I've got, unfortunately, doesn't think it's got an, it got, hasn't got a good angle. Uh, and I still don't have any cocking archers, because why would I have archers, dear oh flipping dear? Right. In which case, deploy my infantry, uh, where are the guys? Oh, you guys go. Oh, no, 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 don't come to that. You, you should stay on the walls, actually. Stay on the walls. Stay on the walls. Don't, don't do the thing I just told you to do. You guys come here. Now that we're on the floor, these guys might think, oh, shit, we've lost the streets. We should retreat to the plaza. If so, I would like to engage them about here, where the tower can back them up. But so far, they're not doing anything, which is interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, right now, these guys are not interested in pushing forward any further. They're just going to hold here. Okay. In which case, uh, what would be the range on these things? In theory, if I could get... if I could, ah, I don't think my British Legionaries on the walls would be able to hit these guys with uh, Pila. I mean, that would be too far, unfortunately. So... I'd rather pull them towards these towers into this kind of kill zone right here. In which case, right, you guys. Just walk this way. And we're just gonna we're gonna walk you around this side. Cause I think Foiderati taking on Sarmatian Auxilia can win, even on very hard, especially if they've got tower support. Which these guys are going to. We're gonna try and basically pull them into the towers. That's basically the plan. Uh, oh, yeah. Elias was saying that corner tower does not shoot, does not shoot inwards anyway. This one apparently. Uh, yeah, but you can kind of shoot from these at a bit of an angle. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I, think, I think you could get like a little bit of an angle there. So, all right, you guys, just start moving in this direction. Just a little bit. These towers will do quite a bit, I think. So we're just going to bring you guys here. You guys are, yeah, you guys are eager, you're fresh, you're a tiny bit winded, which works against you, I'll admit. And then, yeah, the other guys are the other side. I wouldn't mind having, like, you know, some cavalry just nearby to back you up. In fact, I'll have you guys move over to here. I'll just, I'll just move a whole bunch of cavalry here. When the fight begins proper, at that point, they're just going to come and slam into the rear of the Salmation Auxilia. So they're going to be, oh, hello. There's movement. Uh, that's interesting. There's some very interesting movement here. Okay. This is not the movement I was expecting, to be honest. You guys, get down. Yeah, that's fine. I think they're going to try and get to the, the plaza. It's okay. Guys, chase them. Spear them. Get on them. Other in other cavalry. Go for them too. Don't just let them run past. I think we'll be able to catch them as they as they go to the side. And there's a bit of a it's it's yeah, I think they kind of fluff the charge. And I've got my own cavalry coming in 
to. Unfortunately, we're in a position now where I'm not going to have much in the way of tower support. Because, yeah, this is a bad angle for tower support. I've got reinforcements coming in from this side. They're sending in... They're sending in everything. Well, okay. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I didn't realize we were going to do a fuck it, send in all the things thing. If we're going to do a fuck it, send in all the things thing, fuck it, send in all the things. I, I, I could, we, we could play that game too. Mother flipper. Right, get it. Send in all the things. Send in all the things. Right, let's go. All the things. Let's cock and go. For some reason, they've decided they don't want to fight on the plaza today. Great. Let's cock and go. You guys are you steady for the time being. These guys are shaken. We've got more spears coming up the arse. Why have they sent everything? I don't know why they've sent everything. They're going to take a few more pot shots from these towers on the way past. I mean, you guys, those guys are broken. Don't actually pursue, not properly. This is fall back to a position where we can do a better job. What are you guys even doing at this point? Okay, fascinatingly, their leader's fallen back. But the Foiderata Cavalry have decided they want in on this. And they're idiots because they're now actually in range of DC this here. Even though this, this corner tower doesn't fire inwards. It fires like a, a, just a gentle enough angle. You can still get some fire on these guys. So you've now got routing friends nearby and you're trash like cavalry anyway. And you've got heavy cavalry and spearmen piling in on you. Screw you. Uh, so okay. That's that's going to be you collapsing in a second. And just the tower is just going to keep doing its job as well. So that's just uh, finishing off you stupid losers. So, well, okay. Surely now you're close enough to her do peel from the walls. Uh, yes. If I had the British Legion ah. in position, it would take them a long time to get into position fair enough, fair enough. at this point. So you guys are basically right. There's like five of you, and you're in trouble. There's also yeah. That's just the that's just the general. And these guys are Lily. The guy's Lily Lifford as well. So he's going to he's going to give up no trouble. The only advantage to the Foyderati cavalry is because they're light cavalry. They'll be able to escape from my cavalry. So basically, just send, uh, get everyone and just loop them in this direction. Everyone can now just get over to here. We just need to get, get all the troops together, get all the troops together, including the Sarmatians. The Sarmatians will be useful for ultimately baiting, uh, these guys. Are you genuinely going to try and do this again? Like, you know, I guess I can't stop you if you're really, really, really cocky determined to do this. There you go. Ha have fun. Have fun taking the literally everything. If you, if you really desperately want to do this with your like no troops and shaken and the fact that you have a leader who's a cocky coward. But sure, let's let's cocky go. Why not? And if we're lucky, is that also the Foiderati? I think that'll be the Foiderati too, given there's two banners. So those guys are kind of just piling in. So we might be able to kind of pin these in a corner and finish them off uh, before the actual yeah uh, bodyguard decides to get involved. Because obviously we'd rather be dealing with you with an actual uh with spearmen so okay now it's just a question of just slowly bring up the infantry for the actual hard task which is dealing with their general clap uh yes indeed shout out um shout out to smelly feet who gave us two quid and says hi to all hi Thank hi you. Hello, use the word quid like use the word quid there hello smelly feet um <laughs> I just like the username. Anyway, Anthony uh, has been a member for 44 months and says hello. Oh, hang up, hang up, hang up. We've got, we've got, we've got a problem here. We've got a problem here, which is the general's decided to expose himself, which is uh, we were not ready for him to do that. I mean, he's been very ballsy. Everyone just fall back for a second. Just fall back. Don't engage. I think you're about to immediately break or something, aren't you? Yeah, you're too, you're too late. You've, you've. You're going to engage and then you're going to break immediately because you're already wavering. I mean, if you're lucky, you'll just go. And nope, you were lucky enough to just about get away. He's being... For, for Cassius the Lily Livered, he's being a ballsy motherfucker. He's he's probably like, you know, saying, yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll send my own bodyguard forward charging off the plaza to try and save my men. He's being... He's, 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 uh, he's playing against type today. Sorry, you were saying. Yeah, I was saying Anthony... Um had an important question to ask dog cam when oh it would be quite a boring dog cam ted's just to sleep most of the streams i'm afraid it would also be sort of like you know we have our pride yeah and you need to understand that there's only so much that we can do in terms of being entertaining yes. like we would we would not last 
you know, I mean, we would be overshadowed instantly by that dog. He is so cute. Exactly. So that would be a bit of a, that would be a bit of a distraction. Also, this is adorable. Alex in chat uh, pointed out that uh, the Geek Cupboard is doing a Universum live, uh, a series, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, and he gave, he gave some of the people the surname MATN and now they are everywhere doing all the jobs. Nice. <laughs> Love it. Uh, and the Geek Cupboard points out, uh, yeah, there are so many MATN people on the planet. It might be, uh, it might be them's and the geeks who will rule everything. Nice. Once again, Cassius the Lulivet has just come out to basically engage in a massive scrap versus. Oh, and he's he's triggered. Oh, this could be really bad. He's triggered a route of one of the units of infantry, and if he if that triggers a chain route. This could actually be devastating for... Oh, shit. I think Cassius the Lily Livered may have just de may have just delivered a ridiculous... Oh, dear. Uh, we, we may have a problem, Wait, actually. did your troops rout yes. at Cassius the Lily Livered? Cassius the Lily Livered just got out and is causing a lot of trouble. And um, I mean, if he's the faction he head, like you were thinking... He's the faction heir. Uh, okay. I mean, bare minimum. I think he's not. He's hopefully not pursuing. So they, many of them, will survive. I'm sending in some mercenary Grail Knights to relieve them. But that's the entire infantry line has just broken. Uh, Cassius the Lily Livered is in fact the greatest hero who ever lived, and is just continually just popping out in order to cocking. Yeah, you guys, you guys, that was shambolic. Everybody back in position, please. Back in position. Cassius the Lily Livered is being surprisingly ballsy. He's, he's causing trouble. We, get, we need to use our, 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 cat, our catastrophic, our catastrophic uh, uh, cavalry advantage here. Come on, guys. We need, we need, to, we need to do this. So he's, ca he's coming out again. He's coming out again. This time deploy the Grail Knights will do a good job. Deploy the Grail Knights forward to finish off the Foiderati cavalry. I just need to basically bait him. Um, uh, uh, now what I want is yeah, him to do that one more time. I just want him to do one more silly charge. And he might be about to. Alright. There we go. I'm sending the Grow Knights forward as bait. We're taking a hell of a batter in this fight, to be honest. Like, this is... Turns out Cassius the Lily Livered was an ironic nickname. Apparently so. The lad has done very well today. And we just need to... Yeah, we need something. We just need the Sarmatians to basically come in and... You guys just forward a bit, forward a bit, forward a bit. Oh, hang on. Yeah, there we go. The Grail Knights. I think he's coming in now. He's coming in. Yeah, okay. Guys. Getting here. No, no, just, just follow a little, fall back a little bit. Grail Knights, fall back. You guys. Getting here. And now, one of his units is immediately broken. All the cavalry now charges in. So that should prevent these guys from breaking because now they're going to have a good reinforcement and Cassius Delivered is immediately trying to fall back the absolute fuck up, guys. And the Cassius Delivered is being a proper penis right now. <laughs> I just need to bring him into... I just need to bring him into the scrum here. I just need to bring him into the scrum. But he's, he's done a huge amount of damage to my cavalry. Come on. Out you come, please. Out you come. Please. Yeah, Jim points out that uh, that Cassius the Lily Livered has like a minus seven morale debuff. It's honestly impressive that he got John's troops to flee like that. Very much so. I just need mm. him to, to charge in this direction. Pick a direction. I don't care which. Okay. Go. Now he can't retreat off the plaza. Deploy all cavalry straight into the front of him. Deploy all spearmen straight up the back of him. He's currently eager to fight. Cassius the Lily Livered is... He's, he, he wants to do this. He's, he's ready for this. Cassius the Lily Livered is just... He's, he's the greatest Roman who ever lived. Right here. And now he's trying to flee. He's steady. He's shaken. He's wavering. And Cassius the Lily Livered has finally been defeated. Cock me. I mean, bare minimum. At least we got some of our, tro some of our troops recovered. The spear, some of the spearmen recover, but that was that was that was a knock. That was that was a knock. Cassius the Lily Livered is truly the greatest of all Romans. Clearly, he just kind of you know heard the Huns come and said, "I'm just gonna I'm just gonna circulate rumors I'm a coward and go and hide in Marseille till this all blows over." But in fact, he is a superman among men. 
He is the most godly of all Romans. Cassius the Lily Livered is in fight the new Julianus Vatinius. Cassius the Killy Livered, says Artorius. Um, Cassius the proper penis doesn't have quite the same ring to it. Oh, uh, dear, dear. One advantage we do have here is we can retrain some of our cavalry. And we can train new strong cavalry too. Which we're going to do. The downside we've got here is this place does not even have a barracks. And even if I train a Hippodrome, I don't need a Hippodrome. I need a Circus Maximus to retrain my Grail Knights. So I think we should just work on some... <sighs> I don't want Coastal levies. I'm going to go for a Practice Range. And yeah, we've already got the Temple of... This is the large Temple of Mithra. So yeah, that's Experience Bonus and Lore. Sol Invictus would have been better. But it's not terrible. Get a practice range in production. The, the economy's it's it's somewhat stabilized at least, which is good. Uh, we need Cassius the Lily Liver should lead the next space Roman faction in Stellaris. Oh, what I'm more dear. scared of is this army that's coming in to attack Avaricum, which has got some good infantry to defend it, but no archers, no solid cavalry. Uh, I'm going to regret thinking even thinking about this, but are there any mercenaries? There are no mercenaries. We've already bought them. Avaricum is defended. Not well defended, but a little bit defended. We're about to lose Belgium. Nothing we can do about that. There's one unit of damaged peasants in there. You're probably about to attack artifacts. Ro Roman full stack. Roman full stack. Roman full... Most, okay, mostly Roman full stack. Split up. We're probably about to lose... We could lose Avaricum. I don't know if we can even hold Avaricum right now. Um, that's that's good. Everything's 100% fine. Uh, Roxolani and Eastern Empire are allied. Franks and Western Roman Empire, but they just keep breaking that. So who knows whether that's going to last or not. At least we've got some money in play and we can charge some more taxes out of Marseille for the time being. Get the practice range in play. Just train more and more cavalry. Cavalry will keep me going, bare minimum. We've got... We've got some spies, which is good. Speak. Which where's my spy here? Which ones? Oh, there you are. You're hiding beneath the beneath the label. We need to go in this direction to figure out what the state, current state of the Gauls is. Uh, rebellion or worst Eastern? That's just Eastern Roman rebels. Oh, the Sarmatians have settled. Okay. So right. So, the, the Sarmatians have settled in... Oh, Flint. Uh, campus. Uh, let's see, guess. Where's, where is that? Fuck, I can't remember. Campus right, the, what? Uh, yeah, let's guess. Uh, or let's see, guess. Um, they're not... It's not necessarily a real place. Uh, yeah, the, but I was going to look up RTW. No, that's cheating. How dare you? Okay. Wow, Clad, Cheating here. We, if we can't remember where something is, then we're going to have to send spies to find it. Oh. Claire does not understand the, the spirit of the thing here. Shame on you. Okay, you always ask me to Google things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stuff like how many penises does a duck have? Not things like what's the answer to this game. And I'm Dutch because I enjoy like messing with your search history. <laughs> okay. We've got Marseille coming in. I want to send my spy for... pet the dog. <laughs> Now what the cock's about to happen. So yeah, that's the Goths. The Sarmatians have settled. Um, that's the Alemanni. The Celts hopefully are not going to expand to Europe. Though if they do want to see that, it might distract everyone else. There's a little bit of merchant fighting going on. Because merchants exist in this game. Sassanids probably attacking the Eastern Empire. And here comes the Western Assault. Now this is going to be... Uh, I don't know whether we can even hold a Varicum. You meanwhile are... Right, you're attacking those rebels, which you've won, but it'll have damaged you. And then I don't know where you're planning to go next. Hopefully to go and reinforce Bordeaux. Right, so... You're here now. You're coming in and you will attack us at some point. You've still not attacked uh, Belgium for reasons best known to yourself. I'm going to send my spy forward a little bit. Just to figure out what the cock is going on. So there's Mediolanium. What happened to that large Roman army? That's always oh, inside this boat. It is not inside this boat. Good. Good, good, good. That boat's just coming to deal with that. 
Mediolanium is a large city, which has actually got barracks and archery range. Which would be pretty good. Large Temple of Mithras isn't ideal. But Ravenna, I think, has got like a large temple, uh, the better temple for retraining. And it's also a huge city. This would bring us towards my goal of... Oh, yes, also, yes, presumably Posthumous Paul just died. Poor Posthumous Paul. Posthumous Paul is, is probably gone. Post Posthumous Paul. Indeed, poor Posthumous Paul. Um, okay. We're losing money, but at least we've actually got some... A little bit of spare stuff here. Should anyone be left here to reinforce this city? I mean, there's basically nothing there. Uh, you need to come... You step up here. And I need you guys to... No, all of you. All of you go and join him. Thank you. Now, there are... Oh, there's new mercenaries. Yay, mercenaries. Also, build a tower. Cock me, build a tower. So, we've got visibility is what the cock's going on. Are any of these mercenaries any good? Because I think we've now reached the Italian sector. Oh, mercenary veterinary are, like, notoriously, fiercely expensive. That all, there are more horse archers here. Crossbowmen are terrify, uh, terrible. Not terrifying, they're terrible. Uh, because their line of sight issues were, were dreadful. Um, Alan horse archers. I mean, horse archers are great. Just a general horse archers are good. Yeah, done. I, I, just, I just want to have an army. Just just for once, I'd like to have an army. Uh, you guys can be merged together, by the way. No, you don't do that to that way anymore. Now you've got to do it all properly. Merge selected units. Thank you. Right. You can be just tossed away at some point or another. We can't replay, uh, repair our own cocking battered spearmen. Irritatingly. I've got no way of cocking buying more. In fact, you know what? Uh, you. Congratulations. Uh, you, you own Marseille now. Uh, you, you, you just you just keep track of Marseille for me. Thank you. Uh, meaning you can just move over here. And you can hold on this bridge. Bridges. Bridges are a nice place to hold. I like bridges. Bridges are good. And yeah, we won't we won't do anything else. So, okay. Mediolanium has... Oh, that's one unit of Foiderati Cavalry. Good. That's really nice. That's so nice. Just keep your eyes open. I saw a large Roman army somewhere around here. And then it pissed off. I, I don't know where it went. It could have gone south. I'm just going to send my own diplomat maybe a little bit further north. Just if you can, like, see them. There's... Okay, there, there's theirs. There's, there's Captain Justinianus. It's... Yeah, it's got common tenses in it. It's not nothing. You would, you would not want to... You, you, yeah, I'll make it be worrying. If he wants to hold Ravenna, I might be willing to hold a Mediolanium against him. Because, yeah, thanks to the fact you guys have got this, it's it's a long way for Rome to reinforce from the north. Because after you leave, after you leave, like, this territory, like, it's a long way till you get to much up here. Much of any note, anyway. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know whether we can hold a Varicum. We definitely can't hold Belgium. Mysteriously, no one's attacking Marseille, and I don't even know why. They, they really, really should be. But they're just sort of not, so whatever. I think we need to try and make a play for Mediolanum. But I'm scared of this army. Because this army is like a little bit more hardcore than some of the other stuff we've seen. If they, if they start coming in this direction, if they look like they're going to front up to us, we might want to buy those mercenary veterinarii just so we've got some veterinarii on our side. But basically, I need to take Mediolanum just so I've got a military training center of any description. But this is all, oh, this is, this is all going brilliantly well so far. Uh, give me new diplomatic information. The Lombardi have attacked the Huns. Okay. Now that gives me a bit of a hint as to where the Huns might be. Because I know where the Cock in Lombardi are. Uh, I'm literally... I've got a spy in this territory right now. It's okay. Hey buddy. Where are you? Here, Hun, 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 Huns. Come on. Good Huns. Where are you? Where are you, Huns? And yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Right, we'll just loop down south. I don't know whether the Huns are maybe now swinging in this direction. But if the Huns are declaring war on these guys, that means they're further north than I thought they were. Interesting. Uh, what about the... Yes, the Vandals. What are you guys doing right now? 
The Vandals are still at war with the Goths in the Eastern. They must have gone south in that case. The Sarmatians are now just chilling. That's fine. The Goths have not spawned the Ostrogoths or anything and are allies with the Alemanni at this point. Uh, Franks are just being pretty chill. Saxons are just being chill. Alemanni are actually being chill. Celts are being dicks. Hate the Celts. Roxolani just doing their own thing, allied with the Eastern Empires. This exists, so that's nice for them. Yeah. You've gone up there and attacked those guys, which the Vandals haven't bothered. Suggesting the Huns are heading north. Which is good. That could... If I want the Huns to trigger a chain reaction, because that would maybe buy me... That would smash into the Western Empire and might, you know, buy some distraction for me. And, you know, ideally maybe pull some armies off to the east to deal with them. Then I wouldn't have to deal with them. So I'll take that. I'll take that. This is all going to work. Just keep an eye on this army around here that we should now have visibility of. So you're just moving around. No trouble. Celts aren't doing anything. God knows where the Huns are right now. Eastern Empire, Western Empire. Don't worry about you. Oh, there we go. They're finally moving against... Oh, we knew that was going to happen. We know we can't take him. One large army's moving down south. Hang on. What army was that? Is, is, is there an extra army I didn't know about there? I think there's an extra full stack army I didn't know about. Right, so we've got a full stack army here. Full stack army. Basically, they've got a full stack army for every one of my settlements right now. That's no. that's the current sitch. But here's the sitch on my side. I could get to Mediolanum this turn. And they can't reinforce it within the next turn. And if I can get inside Mediolanum, then okay. How they get it's, it's so ridiculous because when you're playing as the Western Roman Empire, you cannot afford anything. But they are when you when you know the game cheats. The game the game is the game always cheats, and that's fine. You understand that's true. But like you re when you're taking when you're fighting the West Roman Empire, all of a sudden like yeah, hey, hey baby, is this guy bothering you? Let me just send six armies your way to reinforce. I was like, oh how how I, I you know. When I was playing the Western Empire, we couldn't afford this many cocking armies, all right? We could afford, like, one good army. One. One good army. Avaricum's going to be fine, probably. Um, yes, what we're going to do is just to make sure, just in case we fuck up the movement, we're going to deploy all the cavalry, which is most of the army, in fact. Wow, that is so much of the army, in fact. It's going to be deployed to this corner. Then we put Mediolanium under siege. Because the whole army can make it there. But it's possible, just possible, the game would be like, Oh no, you've run out of movement points, lol. So we're just going to actually start the siege with all the cavalry. Right, we're going to move them to here. Put the town under siege. Right. Just continue the siege. And then we're going to merge the infantry into the army. Then the then it's guaranteed the, the siege still happens. So, Okay. Yeah, three, uh, three things, uh, three things is fine. We do not need a battering ram. Maintain the siege there, and yeah, at this point there is not going to be much Rome can do. These guys are probably going to come and try and stop us, but they can't make it. They cannot make it. So we've got proper visibility here. If we can take Mediolanium and Ravenna, we can actually train some troops. No, that, that sounds like a crazy concept. We might actually be able to have like an army. We might be able to have an army. So, uh, yeah, speaking of which, just keep you moving in this direction. Hello, Mr. Spy. There is a small, potentially battered force of you guys. Hang on. That is... Oh, just, can you undo the... I guess maybe they removed the old trick where you were used to just, uh, yeah, hover your mouse over a particular area and it just told you who the current owners were and if you hadn't actually seen the city. But I guess maybe that's kind of been moved out at this point uh which which is fair it was always a bit of a, 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 a an exploit i suppose okay some shit's been burnt down over here i think we need to get my spy moving south and just check what's going on in this in the world of the goths because i suspect it's not good news but yeah more importantly we can take mediolanium next turn that's going to be a valuable city that's going to work worth a lot of money uh where are you buddy oh yes you, you're just keeping an eye on this territory just fine. You can just, you can just keep an eye on all of this. Actually, the offense, the watchtower can keep an eye on you. You're coming down here to take on uh, Marseille, because of course you are, and we we do not have the money to garrison any city, so fuck it. Uh, that's fine. We don't we don't need we don't need. Oh, here it comes! Here it comes. This one is difficult, but theoretically winnable. 
I'm going to drop a little coward save here. Just in case I decide it's so close, I want to redo it. I, I don't want to do that, though. Okay. They're coming in. They've got trash in their army. A lot of trash. And their captain is Foyderati Cavalry. If we can kill him, that's going to be a huge, huge benefit. Right there. And then we've got the, the, the Welshest Roman who ever Welshed right here. Uh, Enemog Enemnomagus Abpadan Berud. Or Beruf, I think. I think he's from Wales. Yeah. I think he's I think he's Welsh. So we've got we've got a Welsh Roman taking on this. Now the danger's gonna be he's got a fuck ton of Forgerati. Uh and he's also got one to comment to ten says. They're the dangerous ones, they're the killers. But my cavalry is superior to his. We're gonna see what he does. The cavalry uh, the walls will be able to do some good work. Though we've got to be a little bit careful of his siege towers, which will do some good work to us too. Uh, so we'll just have to look what, what position, how much he chooses to spread out his troops. All right. And, uh, while we wait for that to load, shout out to Jacob, who gave us 45 Danish krona and says it's been too long since I caught a live stream. I'm going to chill on the couch and watch my favorite YouTuber tonight. Love you all. Love you too. Uh, Sweet Nerevar has been a member for 26 months, um, and sent a Latin message. Nice. Woot. Uh, <clears throat> uh, it says ex nihilo nihil fit nisi ex deo et ikea. Oh, for fuck's sake! Uh, nothing comes. Nothing comes out of nothing. Ikea comes out of uh, except out. Wait, comes out of nothing out of God. It, well, unless out of God and Ikea. Nothing comes out of nothing except for God and I, except for God and Ikea. Yeah, that's what Google Translate said. That's what I would have gone for. Yeah. But it's, it's, it, it, could be, it could be an idiomatic variant. Okay, now. Uh, and they also say, as usual, thanks for the content and glory to not quite Rome. I think we've got a chance of stopping this. Ro oh, shit. Hang on. Okay, we've got we've got some small problems here, which is I think they've they've possibly got a um a spy inside our settlement who's forced the gates open. I was about to say, haha, the fools, they've brought only one siege tower. I'm not sure it matters because they've um they've got the yeah you um, can't close the door I can't again, close can the can gate you? and also they've got they've got a sap set up so they can demolish one of my walls and I've got nothing I can toss at them from oh the okay I thought we had a chance but with no way of holding the gate okay. That, the fact that I can't hold the gate is obviously a huge advantage to a numerically superior army. However, the one advantage that we do have is that means they're just going to charge the gate. If they all charge the gate, then that means I, if I can just trigger a route, I might be able to trigger a mass route. Just like, you know, Cassius, the almighty god king, mm -hmm. did to my infantry. And they, they were Foiderati. I might be able to trigger a mass route off the back of the Limitane with his army. If he just basically says, aha, the gate's open, charge forward, lads, then potentially we might be able to do a gigantic kill box. Now, some people are saying plaza fight. And I can see the sense in that. I can see the sense in the plaza fight. But equally, I can see how going for it, basically trying to bottleneck him on siege four towers and then going for a mass break, I think... Go, I don't think, no, I don't think we win. A if it, people are saying, oh, you'll win a straight up fight on the plaza, I don't think we will. Because we've got Foiderati, but he's got just as many Foiderati. And he's also got Comet Tensas. I think we need a giant kill box. I know, I, I think it's kill box on the, I think it's a kill box at the gate. I think that's our only chance. I think in a straight up fight on the plaza, I don't think we're going to be able to do much. I think we're just going to have to do a classic Total War kill box right here and hope. That they basically go for a ridiculous mega charge. Uh, we don't need to try and hold the walls because if they charge the gate, then it won't matter. Okay, I've only got yeah four or five units of solid infantry, so they're going to have to basically be arranged very carefully here, and then the cavalry, which I do have, is just going to have to come in for a gigantic slam in the side. Uh... I mean, you're right, Ash. Okay. 
Someone's brought up one small point, which is they will very slowly walk past the towers if they have to go to the plaza. And that's true, but the downside is it's not that many because it's only all of... Uh, you know what? But can't they just climb in the walls and take the towers? If the gates are open, they won't bother. Ah. You know what? There is an argument for saying that, yeah, that if we can basically... I mean, actually, because of this angle, this is quite a nice kill box too. This is a nice kill box and the towers will soften them up. You know what? Fair enough. Just based on the amount of damage the towers would be able to do, I think that's sensible. But I might leave one unit here just basically to bottleneck the gate so the towers can do some work. I think that's I think that's reasonable. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring all our good infantry right over here. You guys just fall back for a second. You guys are going to be right here. Right about here. You guys are going to be right about here too. Right about there. That's fine. Uh, maybe fall back a little bit further than that. The cavalry is going to be right over here. Coming in for a giant ass attack. Up the side, you guys are gonna be the front line. Uh maybe more like yeah, you more like about there-ish. You more like about here-ish. Just to give the cavalry a little bit more space. And then that leaves at the front door. Yeah, these useless guys who will do more harm than who aren't gonna do. Then again, you guys actually hit pretty hard, but your your morale's terrible. So you you'd do the best you'd do the best work on the plaza. Best work on the plaza. So you can just get there. And you can basically just stand right here, Mr. Coastal Levy. And congratulations, your job is just basically try and stop them getting in for as long as possible. Fuck it, let's see what happens. And let's see if they immediately charge because they'll say, oh shit, the gate's open. Guys, guys, the gate's open. Yeah, they're just going to charge the gate. They're just going to charge, or are they? What are you going to try and do, guys? Come on. What's your plan? What's your plan here? And... Okay, well, they are sending the tower forward. You're going in this direction. This is... Ah, is that because the, all the... Yeah, the other gates are open too. Okay, so they're just looping around to the other gates. But that's fine. That'll just bring them around the corner. If they just want to do that, then that will eventually... Yeah, just damage them. This is... Some fascinating movements here. It's fascinating movements. I just feel like I'm watching like a some form of like interpretive dance contest. They're going to loop around this side. But that's going to bring them straight by another set. Though unfortunately that's going to mean some of them are going to be approaching from this angle. Which is kind of what I didn't want. But if they do we'll have plenty of time to reposition accordingly. They're still going to walk past a giant part of trouble. Because in a minute you guys are now going to be here. And these are tier 4 towers. Now, unfortunately, tier 4 towers used to be absolute ungodly machine gun killers. They were toned down a bit in the remaster. If this were if this were the Kokiga original, this would be vastly more vicious at this point. But they're still going to do some damn good work. So that's going to do some good work. That's limit uh, yeah, uh, the Limitane, which is going to do some nice little work to you. You're going to take some more damage there. Are you the... Right, that's the Foiderati Cavalry. Which is not particularly interesting one way or another. These guys obviously are not going to climb the walls because they don't know how. So that's fine. You guys meanwhile, yeah, some units have just diverged over to this side. And are now just going to take a giant pile of damage as they're trying to make it into the town plaza. Which is fine, I guess. You guys just get over here. I'm going to send one unit of, yeah, my spearmen to basically block them up. Because by the time they get here, they're going to have taken a fair few whacks. And they are light cavalry. So that's, uh, yeah, they're going to they're gonna have taken a fair few knocks. They're eager, officially. You guys are going this way too. That's more Limitane. Where's the good shit? Right, they're sending the peasants to do this. They're not actually attempting to take the... Okay, that's the Comet's Tensors. The Comet's Tensors are going for the wall. I'd love it if we could set this on fire. Probably we won't. But it would, I'd love it if we just got lucky and this thing caught fire. That would be really good. Uh, but the chance of that happening is very low. So they're not rushing this gate, but they are rushing the other gates. And unfortunately, yes, if they do get onto the tower, I should probably just pull these guys back. Because at that point, there's not really much point being here anymore. Uh, because, yeah, they'll just take the, the, the whole tower situation, yeah. The tower situation means there's now no benefit to me even attempting to hold the uh, hold the walls here. These guys are going to lose to come into tensors, so you honestly may as well fall back. 
Uh, meanwhile, what's going on over here? The wait, where'd the cavalry go? Oh, there they are. There they are. There they are. They're losing. They're losing troops in a hurry. Losing troops in a hurry. That's fine. You guys will be losing troops in a hurry too. So these these small handful of units are going to get towards uh, first. You guys need to. You guys need to hurry the cock up with your movement. When the comet's tent says get up top. Uh, there we go. They're finally climbing up. They might bug out. Sometimes you just will just bug out on the thing, but it looks to me like they won't. Bare minimum, at least the Comet Tensors will take a bit of light fire. It's not going to do much to them. They are, you know, the hardcore lads. And the peasants are just going into the tiny little tunnel underneath. I'm going to bring down these walls in a second. Uh, but that's all absolutely fine. Right. Keep an eye on this. Where's the cavalry? You guys are now down to... You've lost about half your strength. You have lost probably uh, about, the, about the same. And you're going to take more yet. No, we're not done. Then I'm going to take those walls. And the Comet's Tent says, if we're lucky, we'll just basically... They'll take this gate that's already open and then just be like, haha, And then everyone will charge forward. But unfortunately, at that point, because the gate will belong to them, there's no point in us trying to hold it. So, okay. I was hoping more damage will be taken. But bare minimum, they'll probably still all walk past this, which the Comet's Tent says probably won't take. Eh hard to say. Uh, hasn't really gone yet exactly as I was hoping for there in that regard. I would have maybe preferred to, yeah, have uh, have them just rush the gate. But they didn't. They did send in the siege tower anyway. So that's unfortunate. You guys are coming in nice and slow to reinforce the walls that are not being held, but whatever. Alright. You guys will have climbed up the top of your tower in a moment. Was that the hatch? No. Nope. There it is. Yep, that was the hatch. I thought I saw something. Right, they're going to get here. And if we're lucky, yeah, which side are you going to go now? A bit, a bit of damage to these Foiderati. They're going to take a fair few casualties uh, before these guys make their way. I like their, their dinky little flags. Oh, it was fun. Warfare was more fun back in the days when people, like, you know, carried little flags and banners into battle. It was more fun. We should bring that back. You shouldn't be allowed to go to war unless you've got one guy whose job is to wave your little flag. It's so naff and delightful. It just makes war a bit more fun, I think. Oh, there goes the walls, by the way. The walls have successfully been sapped. They're going to collapse momentarily. And it doesn't really matter that it's going to take... They're going to take some damage because, uh, yes, they did indeed, uh, as we were saying, just... Uh, they sent peasants down there. So it doesn't really matter. Right. Deploy my own cavalry, ready to intercept these guys who are going... Yeah, they're winded, they're at half strength, so we can finish those guys off without too much trouble. You're not really moving. The There's the wall. The now, are you guys going to just therefore think, Oh, shit, the walls are down, are we going to rush forward? They're being very patient, which is annoying. I don't want them to be patient. And we're over here. All right, let's see what you've got at this point. I don't really want to send in my own cavalry until we're absolutely necessary. So you guys, pro these guys are going to struggle with the charge because charging like off a road onto the plaza is kind of tricky and they, they struggle with that a little bit. So they're going to like not get a proper charge off. They're going to kind of go over to here and they're going to like vaguely try and charge, but it's not really going to work. So you guys get to here. They're already shaken. Now we just hit them in the side and they'll break immediately. Just sent in the cavalry. So we've got spearmen on them. We've taken like four or five casualties. And that unit is broken. Good. Unit number one goes down. Next up, we have got very tired uh, Limitane coming in from that direction too. They have still not really done anything. The gateway still belongs to us. Wait, what? How did you guys get down from the walls? Wait. Someone explain to me how that's possible. The Comet's Tensors were here, right? They came in via the tower. They're now down on the street, meaning they came down through... They, they, they must have come down through a tower. But both towers still belong to me. Skills. Okay. Mad skills. I genuinely don't know how they did that. I I'm actually confused. I I I how? Th there's no way for them to have actually done that. And also, where are you guys going? Oh, oh, you're chasing those guys down. Okay, there's some Limitane. You guys just basically be ready to slam into them. I I genuinely don't know how they did that. I mean. Yeah, the only possible solution is they decided to climb back down the siege tower and then walk to in through the gate. 
I, I, they are good at jumping. I guess. That's really, really weird. I, I do not know. Well, at least that gives me a chance, because now that means when they, the troops start moving forward, they are still going to take a ton of damage from there the towers. There is a known glitch state that can happen when the gates are forced open. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Hey, guys, just be ready to do a little charge here. I think we might just be able to do one cavalry charge and knock out these exhausted Limitane. Uh, which I think would be good. You are... Oh, you're a completely different group of Limitane. Oh, that's interesting. Right, you guys fall back over here. Right. I need, I need one of the units of cavalry to fall back. I don't know who the hell you guys are exactly. I'm just going to send my general in just to basically slam into these guys to see if I can just trigger an instant route. Is that a, probably a bad idea? Um, Because you guys have actually... You guys have got throwing spears, right? Well, we'll see. Here we cocky go. Just see if we can just basically cause trigger an instant break here. They're all they're exhausted and shaken. That was a terrible, terrible charge. They're wavering. Come on, come on, come on. Just break, 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 break. Broken, good. Right. That's one unit broken right there. You guys. Get over here. Right. That's another unit that's just been bait. That's another unit that's dead. So that's more of their infantry now finished off. The towers still somehow belong to me. Uh, which is good, because the combat sensors are now just taking damage. They're just being shot, uh, which is great. Um, and now, more units are moving forward. The peasants have abandoned their singing circle now that the sacking is done. They don't care about the wall they've knocked down. Instead, they're just going to walk straight through the front gate. Most of the armies just decided, ah, fuck it, whatever, we don't care. Um, and now, you guys are, yeah, wait for these guys. These guys are very tired and eager. Check on my guys here. Yeah, you need to just be mopped up. Just make sure my general doesn't get too exposed or anything. But yeah, they're going to be tied before they even make it to the plaza. The towers. Oh, someone's finally taken some of the walls. Someone finally took this tower, but the gateway is still mine. How? God only knows. Oh, well, they did a breach as well. Yeah, they did. They said the sa that was the sappers. Right. And now, you are steady. Now if I just hit you with a double. Yep, it's very kind of them to just feed you their units one by one. Yeah, that's the one advantage to being, I suppose that's the advantage to being very deep in the city, which is the AI is not going to be capable of necessarily coming up with a really fully synchronized attack. So there we go. That's Limitana unit that was trying to sneak in the sides number two. So that's the entirety of the units that came through this gateway mm. now eliminated. But the main army's not even moved in yet. The main army has not actually moved in at this point. They're coming in kind of step by step. They've taken one tower. Is that the... Oh, they've taken... I think possibly, yes, this gateway may have just bugged out. Because I swear I just saw them coming out of this gateway. But they've not taken it. Which worries me if they're going to potentially at some point... I think that, I don't know what, how they could plan to get into the city. In which case, they're just going to very slowly... Yeah, I think possibly this gateway is like the, the, the bug people mentioning. This, unfortunately, may be the uh, slightly bugged gateway. It's hard to say. Just check you're okay, by the way. Yeah, my general's now back on the plaza. Those Limitane are dead. Right. The Comet Tensors are coming up. They're being shot at the arse right now, which is really good. Oh, that's so much damage because, yeah, they've got their back to the fire. So their shields are useless. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice, you stupid heavy infantry bastard. You're the biggest killers on the field. We've got to isolate and kill you. And if we can do that before the rest of you make it in, all the better. Because I think you're... No, your leader is still out there. You do have your captain, the cavalry out there, which is good. But okay, at this point they're, yeah, very slowly advancing towards uh, the plaza. So I think we should be <laughs> okay for a minute. Clap! Antara says this is a siege tactic equivalent of martial arts movies where 12 people patiently wait one by one to fight the protagonist. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yes. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, shout out to um, shout out to music freak guy who gave us uh, thirty one Australian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and says catching a stream is such a rare occasion in Australia. Thank you for the years of amazing content. Oh, thank you very very much indeed. And uh, speaking of Australian dollar dues, yeah. shout out to Tor Granohell who gave us uh, twenty of them. And says, I can't stick around for this one, sadly. But instead of the view, here's some money. Nice. Thank you very, very much indeed. Thank you, thank you. 
Uh, speaking of the second channel, yes. we've got uh, somebody called Talk Nerdy to Me. Yeah. Uh, who's been a member for five months and says, I'll offer to sell you my channel. All I want is a 30 minute nap with Ted. Oh. We'll have to see what Ted says about it because bodily you're talking. Exactly. Me. Ted gets choice in that sort of thing. Yes. Okay, so the first group of Foiderati cavalry are now coming in. These guys have already been battered. The main army is just holding back. Possibly, I'm really worried that they might basically be saying, hey, we're not going to move in until the gate's been taken, but the gate can't be taken. So, in which case, yes, that might mean they really do very slowly slither in, unit by unit over the tower. Now, I do also have, yes, my British legionaries. I've just put them into fire at will mode. So, they're going to, yes, now do a proper full attack on these Foiderati. There we go. That should do. Now, don't do any more if you'd be so kind. That's immediately broken them. Lol. But I'm more interested in the Commander 10 says who are kind of just squatting around the corner. They're the uh, the bigger problem. So you guys are now just going to go back the way you came. You guys have still got half of your things. You've immediately reformed, which is, I mean, honestly, well done. Well done right there. That's uh, that's very impressive. So you guys are, yeah. Nope, broken right. They're, they're just too damaged and too tired. They're not going to be able to do much. And that's good. I want them to just keep kind of reforming and breaking over and over again on this plaza. Because that will provide morale debuffs to everyone else too. But there's more coming in yet. But the main mm. army is still just... Oh yeah, it's, the gateways definitely must be bugged on account of the... Uh, on account of it being spied open. So which is unfortunate. I didn't... That's not my fault. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't even know that was a bug in this particular version. But it would appear to be the case. And it's the best bet we've got... For dealing with these guys step by step as they try and come in. But yeah, at this point, they're going to take a lot of damage. Those peasants are here. Are you the Comet 10 says? Here come the Comet 10 says. Right, if the Comet 10 says are here, that means you can have your uh, fire at will mode on. They're just very, very slowly edging forward. Very slowly. Very slow, very careful, etc, etc. Now you're going to, yep, you're now going into throw mode. Bring a bit of cavalry forward. There we go. That is, they are shaken. They're tired. The Commodore 10 says are scary. So just be ready. They're probably going to... They're already wavering. I'd rather they didn't toss anything back at me, if at all possible. If they're wavering there. You got anything else to toss in? And I was hoping you'd run along the road, but... They're still wavering. Just give them a poke with the cavalry and see if that's enough to trigger the route by hitting them in the side. And still wavering. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Break, 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 break. That's down to... Yep, broken. Right, ride them down, ride them down, ride them down. Even if that means you take a couple of knocks from the Foiderati. Just anything that... Oh, comment to Ted says dead. Don't hit the... Don't hit the spearman, though. Don't hit the spearman if you can avoid it. Back away, back away. No, 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 no. Um... Uh, hum. Ted, you're fine, baby. Not you, Ted. The cavalry. The cavalry, Ted. There we go. Right. He was just like opening his eyes and paying attention. Oh, that's babe. all. Ted. He's such a good boy. boy. There we go. Everything's fine. And then we just, yeah, basically wait for these guys to charge a little bit far, further in. And we can hopefully do something very similar to them. We're now out of anything we can throw. And straight over to shake them. Straight over to them, and they're breaking, and we can ride them down too. Okay, the people who went for, yeah, Plaza Fight, you were the sensible ones, but... Yeah, they're finally sending a few more units forward, but they're now coming in, they're coming in, in such dribs and drabs, we should be able... It's just the exhaustion. Exhaustion was a big thing back in these days. So, because they have to walk all the way to the plaza, by the time they get here, they're exhausted. But yeah, I think we're, we're in pretty good shape here to just wear them down bit by bit. Clap! Uh, yeah, shout out to Gary, who's been a member for 14 months, and says, Hi, guys! Hello, Gary. Hello, Gary. Uh, Grey Morality has been a member for 76 months. Ooh. Uh, and says, I can't stick around, but I'm looking forward to watching this one later. Uh, we've got a message from Star Commander Vong, who gave us $5 uh, and says, Wait, were we talking about the books or the people when we did the Plato, Aristotle, and Socrates fuck, marry, kill? Oh, I was talking about the, the literature and the people and what, the literature, really. I was I, I, more than anything else, I'm afraid. Still Having never says, met the people. I feel like that would change the answer. Potentially, yes, but I don't actually know, uh, you know Aristotle or Plato or Socrates personally. So it's, it's, it's hard to say in that regard. Okay. 
This, I think, is going to be a bit more tricky. Because now, yeah, now there's some slightly tougher units coming in. And we're now out of any throwing spears or whatnot. So, all we want, really, is... Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to pull you guys back a little bit. Pull you guys back a little bit. Let's just bring you guys a little bit more onto the plaza. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Thunderdome. All right. And now... Hit them from every angle. Charge! More! And they're already broken because they're exhausted. Good. Western Roman troops are good when they all get together. But if you can isolate them, it's not too difficult to ride them down. All right. Just step by step. And yeah, the Rome AI absolutely at some point, if it realized the battle was going sufficiently badly, would at some point basically say, oh, fuck this. And they just retreat with their remaining troops. They won't just stand. They won't just send everything in. Eventually, they might well say, you know what? This is not going as well as I thought it was. How about we just uh, leave because we've lost? So uh, at some point, that moment might come. We'll have to say. Clap. Uh, yeah, shout out to 42 Mushrooms who gave us £10. And said, thank you for giving me a reason tonight to snuggle down and not move for several hours. Nice. My boiler is broken. Oh, and no. outside of my nest of electric blankets and duvets, it is 12.5 degrees C in my house. That is not good. That is too cold. Uh, and yeah, it's uh, 42 mushrooms. We've been there. Yeah. Broken boilers in the winter Not are fun. no fun. Not fun. Uh, although, I believe that was how we discovered that Tabby really loved the electric blanket. That's true, yes. And then we got her her, her own little electric She got pad. her own little, yeah, tiny little heating mat. Yeah. She liked that little mat. We tried to go, we tried to do an equivalent thing for Ted, and he didn't seem interested. Uh, Ted does not like anything that's going to be like a, a heated mat or a cooling mat or whatever. He, We bought a cooling mat for him when it got really cold, and I've been putting it on my desk chair, on yeah. the back of my desk chair. It's really awesome. Not really interested. Yeah, he's not interested. We gave it to him first, but now I'm using it because, you know. Okay, there's still 57 km 10 says here. Now, we've got probably the strongest unit that's made it through so far. 167 and they're steady. They're also winded and not exhausted. So what we're going to do is charge them. We're bringing the cavalry around the back here. And see if we can just hit them in the back. Come on, proper charge, proper charge, proper charge. And broken and nice. Okay, they just don't have the support at the moment. So, yeah, we're slowly wearing them down. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to uh, Lone Wolf, who gave us five pounds. Uh, and wants to know, John D. Sink, Medieval 2, Total War, will get a remaster. Uh, and what do you want to see improved in it? You know, I didn't really ever look up the um, the final like sales figures of uh, of Rome Remaster and like how well it did or how well they might have been expecting it to go. So uh, I'm I'm not necessarily in a position to uh, I don't really know actually. I hope so. It would be great if it did. Uh, I'm just I I don't know whether it's uh, how likely it is or not. Right. And just to very quickly redraw up the lines here. You just get over to here as well. We've now got... Right, we've got Commodus Senses, but they're already wavering. And then behind them, there's some Foiderati who are very tired. Let's just get the infantry, get the cavalry to position for the flank. And ideally, immediately broken. Good. And if you guys are immediately broken, then we should be in a position to maybe just hit... They've immediately... They've broken before they even got up to me. At this point, there's just... Uh, it doesn't have any effect on morale that they literally have to walk through, you know, a street covered in corpses. But I feel like it should do. Much of that's ever been a thing in Rome to the war. Walking over the corpses of your dead countrymen who have died just in the same in the same spot you're now walking on has never had an effect on morale, but I think it should. Yeah, I mean, I feel that that, that feels really, really, really fair. That feels legit to me. That, that should be a thing that should definitely impact morale, potentially. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Anyway, uh, shout out to Elana, uh, who has been a member for 46 months. Uh, and and uh, has been instrumental in uh, helping me fix uh, Nightbot for this stream because it wasn't working. Oh, nice. And uh, Alana, I mean, basically walked me through how to do it because as John knows very well, I'm sometimes very shit at certain specific, like, yeah. technology things. And it's completely random. Some things I can do very well. You can't do remote but, controls. Like remote control. You cannot no, operate no, 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 a no, no, basic no, 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 no. television remote control. It's wild. 
But anyway, thank you uh, to Alana for their service. And they say, how are you both? How is Ted? Will this run have elephants and or chariots? Much love and uh, happy Ace Arrow week. I'm not sure there are any chariot mercenaries in this game. And I can't remember whether there are elephant mercenaries in Barbarian Invasion. Obviously, they exist in... Okay, there's the, there's the, there's the giant fake elephant. There's... Yes, there are some... There's a very small number of mercenary elephants in the Far East in Rome 1. I don't think there are in Barbarian Invasion. I'm sure sure they exist. So we might we might have to fight them at some point. Oh, actually, you know what? We ought to resolve uh, a fight with the Celts. They definitely had some. But uh, yes, other than that, no. By the sounds of it, I do not believe so. Uh, yes, indeed. And, and uh, yeah, you can see that the gateway is definitely bugged. So that's, that's kind of been very helpful to me. But I feel like we would have won anyway, even if the gateway hadn't bugged. Mm. Uh, shout out also to Urban Cohort, who's been a member for 74 months. Uh, and says, sorry, I have been uh, absent lately, but I am back now with 50% more men. Nice. Where was the original 50% more men meme from? I'm trying to remember what that was from. I think that was from Rome. It could well be from Rome. Probably, could, yeah, unit scale. Could well have been unit scale uh, talk. I can't recall. Dear oh flippin' dear. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Warner Speck, who uh, gave us 10 Brazilian reais. Uh, and says, one must appreciate the discipline and patience of the Roman legions. Even when they are uh, at their lowest, waiting until the unit ahead has been massacred before making their own way to the central plaza. Bless them. Mm. I mean, as you have mentioned to me before when we were watching, like, historical videos and stuff, it's just not in the, the Roman mindset. They just do not have a, a give up option. Yes, it's it's very interesting. Not just in the sense that, like, you know, it's a fun thing about the martial culture or what have you. In the sense that literally it confuses other people they fight. Like, yeah. you know, it literally is confusing to fight ropes. I'm like, what the fuck? Why? What the fuck's happening here? You've lost. Give up. And Rope doesn't understand this conceptually. It's, it's fascinating. I, I, I find it very enlightening. So, okay, that's that's good. That's good. That unit over there has just been torn down. You. You're here. That's the Libertane. It, it's how, um, you know, people say, you know, I, I've definitely heard it before that, like, you know, modern American mindset is everyone thinks, oh, I'm a millionaire, in, but I haven't made it yet kind yeah. of thing. Like, I'm going to be rich. Temporarily emba embarrassed yeah, exactly. millionaire, I believe, is the expression that's often Right, utilized. and I mean, yes. I don't know how much that is true, because obviously that is ignoring, you know. Yeah. Uh, every place is very complex and whatever but mm -hmm. that that idea of like we're just temporarily embarrassed but we're gonna win this battle yeah you know to walk past a series of corpses and you're like oh well these guys weren't the winning you know I did see unit so yet I did see but... someone mention that yes apparently yes this is a thing this is partly a thing in, in rim world but doesn't work for the AI because it would be too easy to cheese yeah, but I feel like, you know, if you've gone to the effort of uh, gathering a bunch of corpses and then stringing them up as a warning to their allies, I feel like that should that should work. That should be cheesable. You should be able to just, you know, fuck with people like that. It should it should terrify them. Oh, I think we've got the one last grand charge coming in here. The enemy has, uh, has sent in everything I mean, all at once. Plus, didn't that used to be a legit tactic of war? That, like, you know, people with catapults or whatever would, like, pile corpses or whatnot and then send them back at the city so that people would see their dead friends or is that like a fantasy well i think you're thinking specifically of things. lord of the rings there but i think the equivalent i mean the equivalent... aren't i often specifically thinking about lord of the rings though what is the question you, why are you guys here i feel like you, you're not supposed to be here yet i feel like you've just got stretched out in a giant line and now we have to like you know just start attacking you there we go now now a lot of you are dead now a lot of you are dead. I think the rest of you are over here. You're, you're technically steady, which is delightful. You're actually going to do a tiny, tiny bit of damage to my cavalry as we try and ride you down. Don't know where the rest... Are. You know what? Fall back. Let, now that we've taken the ones that mysteriously got ahead of the others. If we're lucky... Then it, no. No, you just you just wait there. You just this. Go over here. Hi, Ted. Hello, Ted, Ted. Oh, oh, that, that was, was a Ted it. shake. A big shit. If you heard, if you heard a flop, 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 that was Ted doing his whipping his ears as he sometimes does. He's just lying down near our, nearby to us. Hey. What's that there? Ah, that is indeed the uh, the crossbowman. 
who are terrible, just absolutely terrible. They they just you 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 line them up and you'll think, oh yeah, they've got a good shot. I'll let them do their job, and then like you know they they don't fire and they keep not firing and they just never ever cocking fire. So all right, just hit them. Yeah, the Mongols did it at the siege of Kaffa, but which I... then belongs to Gen to Genoa. But didn't they do it with the aim of spreading disease? I believe yes, not the Black morale. Death, I apparently. believe it was yes. It was for the. It wasn't for the purpose of de of okay, demoralizing the enemy. Okay, but I'm gonna assume it did both. Yeah. I'm gonna assume it actually. Oh did Oh no, both. not the cocky Black Death again. <laughs> okay, there's the Forgerati cavalry. Fall back and yeah, let the spearmen be at the front for this one. Spearmen can uh, spearmen can just be at the front for that. Just make sure. Okay, you're correct. Anthony, uh, Anthony, uh, who um, you know, Annie and Leo's dad, yeah. who is also, I believe, a classicist. Do correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Um, says that uh, the throw them their friends by catapult strategy was actually a tactic used by the Ottoman Turks and yeah. the Knights of Saint John in the siege of Malta. Makes sense to me. Right, here comes their leader. And at this point, they're already wavering and their leader is already broken and going to try and turn around right. So the captain is now fleeing the field. And down! Oh, oh, that today was sent flying! He was sent flying, meaning I think there's now nothing left but this unit of Libertane, who are officially eager. That's that's the Roman spirit, lads. The bear in mind, of course, this is this is late Roman time. This is this is long beyond Rome as a ridiculous martial culture of insane. We never give up. This is the period of the Roman period where they literally couldn't find enough people to man their armies, and thus end up in a wild recruiting crisis that had all sorts of unfortunate side effects as time went on. Uh, so, yeah, you know. shout out to uh, Zecrio for recommending the oversimplified series on the Punic Wars. Yeah. I mean, we were partly talking about They those. were very fun. They were very uh, fun. Warner Spec gave us another 10 uh, Brazilian reais and uh, says uh, other cultures go all. We have slayed a settlement worth of your men. Surrender now, Romans. Nah. -ah. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Okay, we've just if we just break the Limitani, I think we've won. So there we go. We were able to win, and fascinated, really fascinated by what the uh, the end casualty numbers are going to be, because they're actually <laughs> going to be um, they're going to be quite low. And I also because oh shit, I'm just ran, I just ran that. Never mind. End the battle. End the battle. End the battle. Right. Cash is inflicted three thousand four hundred and fifty nine. Cash inflicted is twenty. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, Chris pointing out that the word eager here just uh, means. We just don't want to be the ones to explain this to HQ. Yeah. Pff, lol. Okay. So 3,500 casualties to 20. Pretty good victory. Mm. Pretty good victory. Anyway, shout out to Jessica who gave us 100 Swedish krona and says, I don't have time to stay, sadly, but I just wanted to ask if you've heard of Steam World Build. It's a wholesome and relaxing city builder from the land of the best krona, and it made me think of you. Oh, excellent. Oh, more coming in. And yep, yeah, this guy's desperately trying to get to Mediolanium to defend it, but thankfully they weren't able to. Right. Another army's now coming in to try and attack Avaricum, but it's an even smaller one. You're Captain Justinianus. We know about you. You're not attacking Ull for no well-explained reason. You absolutely should be. If we can, the problem is if they just keep attacking us over and over, we won't have a chance to heal up our troops, which is a shame. So we need uh, more troops and ideally, yeah, more cavalry. Get more cavalry down. That's great. What's what's going on at this point? War declared against the Goth. The Goths have attacked the Eastern Empire. Okay, that's good. That's interesting. Not very historical, guys, but whatever. Someone's had a baby. Uh, that's nice. That's lovely to hear. I can't believe they just bought Bordeaux. What a bunch of penises. Uh, right, we need... Hi, Ted. Hello. Hey, honey bum. Oh, he's coming in our feet. He's coming in. You want to settle down by our feet? I'm just going to move by our feet. Hello. We definitely... Oh, yeah, theoretically... It's a bit early for going outside. Yeah, it's a bit early for, for going out for your last week. That's normally close to 11. Hey, 
Ninja's come for a cuddle. Anyway, uh, thank you, Jessica, for recommending that Steam World build. I've noted it down yes. so we can look at it later. It does look very cute. Uh, also looking very cute. Uh, recommendation for from Dragon Gaming. Uh, who recommends Coral Island. It's a cross between Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, and David the Diver. A really nice. fun, chill game. That sounds cute. That sounds yeah, very and cute. I mean, I've looked at it on Steam. It does look very cute. Uh, so, yeah. I should, okay. I should think both of them deserve at least a little look. And the Steam reviews seem quite positive. Yes. So. Okay, next up, having done that, we now move into Mediolanium. And LOL! One unit of Foiderati Cavalry is standing between That's me and Mediolanium, which is super cute. So we literally just need to move in and take them out. So yeah, just get some infantry on top of them. And that's fine. Mm -hmm. Then we burn that city to the ground. We try and retrain our troops. And then we just have to beat off uh, Justinianus. And then, after having a chance to rebuild slightly, we can move in and take Ravenna. And then we'll have a really nice northern Italian empire, which will be a good base to hold them. We've got spies in the area, so we can keep a close eye on who's coming in but if we can just hold those two cities that's that's not a bad starting point for an empire right there so yeah and this guy's got proper walls too but thankfully yeah this is a way better developed city than what we've seen before with the exception of yeah that's a militia barracks which is it will do i'm pretty sure you had yeah you had a proper archery range did you have proper cavalry uh that's bad is cavalry over here is that cavalry? Maybe they don't have proper cavalry, but that's fine. That's a proper amphitheater, not a uh, not a small arena. So, okay. All we've got to do is, because it was nothing but cavalry, they literally can't hold the walls. So, uh, bu -bu 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 as we absolutely can take a... Yeah, we can do... Not you, though. You put the wall down. You, buddy. You get over to here. Get to here. And then take this wall and then just work around the walls and we'll go from there. So that should be, that should make, you should be pretty safe coming in at that angle. You might take a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of fire, but we'd be extraordinarily unlucky to lose the siege tower. You'll more likely lose a handful of men, uh, but that's fine. I don't think units, I'm not sure even like can break from that. Uh, taking a little bit of damage there, but that's fine. Up you go. Obviously we're not using... Uh, we worried you'd squish the dog there for a second. No, I just was wondering what, how he made that noise. Oh, Ted. And I think he pulled at the old computer with his, uh, yes. with his claws. I think. Which is fine, because he's not going to, like, damage it or whatever. Right. I'm just emailing you the Steam pages for those two games. Now, yep. put them in chat for people if they want to check them out. That seems reasonable, mm. so okay. Yeah, the Foiderati Cavalry are just holding on the plaza, which is fine. Just send these units round in order to take over the gates, etc, etc. But yeah, mainly um, all we want is a giant pile of... Yeah, we'll take a tiny bit of damage just going around the walls. That's why we just do that first. Then we just send our main units. There we go. As soon as we've taken these, now we should be golden. Take all of that out. You guys are badly wounded, which is a shame, but we can repair you with the militia barracks, which is really, really good. So yeah, now we just need to basically... Bring forward our horse archers into this plaza over here. And then, honestly, just bum-rushing these guys with heavy cavalry once we've uh, locked down everything is fine. Yeah, be very careful you don't squish that dog. Yeah, that's why Try not to squish I... that dog. That's why I was having a look. Don't worry. Ted, Ted, Ted just enjoys one lying down very close to us. And then immediately afterwards, spreading out in such a way as his poor tail or nose is right squeezed against the bottom of a wheelie chair. It's a very bad idea. He has poor survival instincts. He doesn't need them because he's so loved and so safe. Uh-huh. Which we have to tell him all the time because he, he does like bark at, you know, a loud car door shutting in the street at night. He gets worried by that sort of thing. Which is fair. He is a very good guard dog. All right. Now we just send forward the uh, the horse archers. We'll put them off skirmish mode because skirmish mode might actually mess them up a little bit. Bring them forward to about here. They can stay on fire at will. Just pull them forward. Yeah, we'll just try and basically pull these guys off the um, of the plaza, and then we'll just rush them with our cavalry. Some of the cavalry are just sort of start in a, in a, a little woof. <laughs> guys, <laughs> Whee! amazing. 
<laughs> Behold our ancient merry-go-round. Right, you guys might need to actually go onto the plaza to try and see if we can, like, bait them off a little bit. No, that's drawing their attention. Now just fall back. Fall back while firing at them. That's fine. Do not engage if you can avoid it. And, yeah, just basically straight through here. And they, unfortunately, might get a little bit... Some of them might be a little bit pulled back. You guys get grouped. All the rest of you. Charge. Okay. But, yeah, seriously. Group one. Keep falling back, please. No. Nope. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Guys, don't engage, you stupid bastards. Don't engage. Pull back. Thank you. Let the heavy cavalry come in and do the real work. Yeah, the actual heavy cavalry can come in and absolutely slaughter these guys. Eh, Could have used the spearmen, but to be honest, yeah, I think the only people who are going to take any serious casualties here are... Oh, they've literally already broken. I thought that's kind of what I figured was about to happen. So, right. That's one. They've done... They did, like, you know... 40 units of damage, but I think it's mostly going to be the Foiderati that we can now immediately repair. It's okay. <laughs> Try spinning. That's a neat trick, says Chris Whitmore. I love it. Uh, okay. Everything's fine. So we've taken that. We get, yep, yeah, we get 20,000 denarii for taking out Mediolanium. And because we're staying here for a minute, we can put the taxes right up. We do not need to repair the walls. We can repair our own units and train more cocking uh, infantry, which is great. They've even got cocking archers we could uh, finally cocking have here. But yes, by the Luke of it, hang about. What do you and you do not have? Yeah, you've got, you've not got stables. Okay. I think we'd like you to have stables. Uh, the alternative is, yeah, giving you British legionaries. But I think I'd rather you had uh, stables. And awesome temple of Mithras is... You've got the, you've got this temple of Mithras already. That's only plus one. I can get up to plus two. But I'm pretty sure you've got an awesome, awesome temple of Mithras over at Ravenna. So if we go and take that, we can give all of our units extra experience. Uh, so that's really good. That's worth a lot of cocking money. Right here. That's that's worth a lot of money. Ours is about to fall. We cannot hold on to Marseille. I think we're... We might be able to hold on to Avaricum against all comers. That That's kind of great. That we might be able to do that. Repair the wall, by the way. That's that's important. Repair, repair the damn wall. Do you want a port? Do you need a port? I'm not sure you need a port. To be perfectly honest. You can get an academy so the guy who's like here could get better. You know what? Have a blacksmith. Sure, why not? And you guys, yeah, take a stables. Uh, we'll just get some more infantry going on here. That's absolutely fine. And my spy is, yeah, these guys are. You're not that bad. You've you've got some decent units, but I think you know if we can just repair for one second. The more interesting trick is, yeah, Ravenna. You guys just yeah get up to Ravenna for a second. Have a bit of a look here, Ravenna. Okay. Sarmatian Auxilia, a governor who's might be a bit... Actually, a governor who's not so much on the command side, and Commodore 10 says, not nothing, and Rome has obviously got a pretty decent army guarding it, including some elite shit, like artillery and whatever. So we'll need to be careful before we make any sort of move against Rome itself. In fact, with the spy here, I'm willing to send my diplomat down to go and have a nice little look at Rome. Speaking of which, more units are just piling at north. Have a little look, see here. Oh, Rome. There it is. There's a Circus Maximus. Then, finally, we can cocking trade our own troops. And an Urban Barracks. We could get Preventores. Uh, no, we can't. That's their troops. We can't get Preventores. That's that's not what we're allowed. I'm not sure we're allowed anything that's better than, like, you know, uh, a fairly, fairly terrible... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yes, military uh, urban barracks here. Yeah, we don't get we don't get anything beyond the British legionaries. The Romano British infantry is poor. It's it's poor stuff, and we can never get anything better. Actually, we can get we can get good quality artillery. If we get artillery on the field, that would be fun. That would be fun. And our cavalry is kind of is pretty elite, thanks to the Grail Knights. But yeah, there's just so many Western so many Western armies everywhere. It is wild. Uh, but yeah, we've already seen we've already seen the news. 
That's fine. Everything's under under control. No more, more random armies have spawned, which is nice. They're probably going to take Belgium and Arles this turn. There's something, nothing we can do to stop them. We might be able to start, stop Ivaricum. My diplomat can keep an eye on this. Alamani merchant. Yep, fine. I think we've found the Sarmatian homeworld, by the way. I thought Campus uh, Lasigus was a little bit down in that direction. It's kind of where Dacia is in the base game. So I think we found that. Yep, you're attacking Arles. That's fine. I, I don't think there's not much we're going to be able to do with that. They're sending, in, they're sending in Catholic priests as well. We do a little kind of chanting dance. It's very cute. I, I think we're not going to win that one. But good attempt, lads. Good attempt. Also, my diplomat decided to retreat. That's cute. I don't know why you're involved, but fine. Uh, right, Arles is down. They've backed away from Avaricum, but I think more armies are coming in. Okay. They're preparing for a major assault on... Uh, uh, no, they've they've abandoned the Siege of Belgium. What? Oh, that's a problem. Um, I, 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 I... Okay, so I, I, I may have I may have slightly declared Belgium to be Christian a bit too early. Um, you're a confident commander. No, we 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 uh, no we, we don't need more people right now. We just need more troops. Uh, okay. This is everything's everything's fine. It's all it's all under control. Just oh dear. Uh, uh lots of settlements under siege. So many settlements under siege. Everything's okay. Avaricum is not under siege, which means Avaricum now has retrained troops in it. Okay, that's good. And we're working towards a blacksmith. Great. Um, there's an argument to say maybe one more unit of British Le British legionaries are actually quite expensive, to be honest. You know what? Archers. Let's get some cocking archers out. Yeah, flip me. Let's let's cock it go. Massilia is basically as good as gone. There's not much we can do about that. You have mysteriously decided not to attack, which is great because that means I've had a chance to retrain my troops. But that also worries me that that might mean you're waiting for reinforcements to show up or something. Like, where are reinforcements potentially coming from? Hi, Ted. Hello, Teddy Bear. Hi. Hi. Oh, you like hiding under the desk with us, don't you? Hello. Do you want to settle under feet? You want to settle down under the desk? You can settle yeah. by our feet. That's loud. Yes, I know. Yeah, hi, Ted. <laughs> cute little potato. He's so cute. Right, we're working on the stables here. We can get some archers in our army, which is kind of exciting. Oh, yes. So I'd like to actually have some archers. Yeah, finally, at long cock and last, we can have uh, some archers in our army. Mercenary for Dorati Cavalry. It's kind of trash. What's actually here? Oh, that's quite good. So I was like, can we send like a really light crappy force to go and like take Ravenna while they weren't paying attention? But no, that's not going to work. And oh yeah, there we go. Rome. Common Tent says. Common Tent says. Five units of Common Tent says. Catholic priests. Common Tent says. Including Common Tent says with, yes, yeah, silver weapons and armor. They've got a proper armorer here, which is kind of elite. Hey, Ted. Do you mind if I just rest my foot against you for warmth? Ooh, well, I that's... think he's... Busy cleaning nice. his paws or something. Oh, that's nice and toasty. That's nice and toasty right there. Thank you, Ted. Mwah. Yeah, Rome is going to be a tough one to crack. We're going to need to maybe try and siege Rome down or bait them out or something. So you've come here, but you've not attacked me. Which is fine, because that gives me time to, yeah, just put some more things together. Do I want to... I mean, the mercenary summations have served me so well. But, like, these guys are getting very badly wounded at this point they're filling spots you know what don't do it yet but like we're gonna have to we have to get rid of them at some point or another some point soon they're gonna have to go and we have to replace them the mercenary uh veterinarii are also actually not that expensive weirdly i don't know why though you guys are being so cheap at the minute but fine uh yeah we've got our empire is so dumb our empire is is is, is dumb the shape of our empire is ridiculous right now. We've we've got we've got Belgium and northern France. We've got Marseille. We've got a bit of northern Italy. That's it. I think our spy is about to discover the Yeah, there we go. There's the Sarmatians. Right, the Sarmatians have settled in Dacia. That's where the Sarmatians are. The problem is we don't know where anyone else is. And there's clearly a lot of rebel territory around here, which suggests that um yeah, some shit has been burnt down. 
in this bit of the world. But we don't know where the cocking Huns are. Speaking of which, just double check if there's any more information about uh, the Huns right now. Still at war with the Lombardi. But we know the Lombardi have got a fair whack of territory. So if they're attacking them... Ted, then... baby, my love, did you just settle under our feet so you could do a devastating fall? Oh, Ted, that's awful. <laughs> oh, oh, Ted. <laughs> Oh, oh no! He's come and sat under Baby. my desk next to both of us. He's just done the worst fart. Oh, Ted! Ted, why? <laughs> why would you do that to us? Ted, we love you, but Ted, that we love terrible. you, but that's no. <laughs> Ted. Like, what did I do? I good boy. <laughs> he's doing his good boy right oh. now. He's so confused. Oh. Oh, that's awful. Ted. I am. I have my nose in my shirt, oh. so it's all right. Ted, why? <laughs> we love you so much. Why would you do this to us? <laughs> Ted. Buddy, do you need outside? Do you need? Oh outside? God, you're a little outside. You can have another outside later. You can Come have. You can have a double break. If you, I think he'd look like a little change of scenery. Bless him. So would I. <laughs> um. Dear, oh dear, Ted. Not cool. Not cool, Ted. Uh, okay. So it looks to me like, yes, there's, the Romans have abandoned the siege of Belgium because they'd rather come and, yes, do a gigantic siege elsewhere. I now need to start basically retraining troops in a hurry in Belgium in case I can hold on to it a tiny bit longer, which is wild. We are just training archers here, which will give us more of an advantage going forward. So that's good. And a blacksmith will help us out, which is great. This territory is completely unguarded, so we can just go and burn it again. Arl has got a huge army in it. Is there any chance we could defend Massilia? Uh, Massilia was basic stone walls. Uh, you know what? Archers are cheap. Fuck it. We've got money for the time being. Let's let's see what we can do here. So yeah, we're just training archers basically. Every we're just but yeah, we're basically just training a very large number of archers all of a sudden. Training archers everywhere. Just nothing, nothing but archers. Nothing but archers. Uh, ceasefire between the Sarmatians. Right, the Sarmatians have made peace uh, there, which is fine. Mediolanium, yeah, we just destroyed them. That's absolutely fine. Don't worry about any of that. Okay. What else have we got? No need to worry about any of that. And yeah, my diplomat is. My diplomat's in here for some reason. Send him back out. Send her back out to go and have a bit of a look, see. If I could just take Ravenna. Problem's gonna be, yeah, I, I need to I need to just I can build up I need to take out this force. Am I strong enough to just take out this force right now? I mean I'd rather wait until the, the, the stables were done. I wanna see what this guy does. I'm curious what this guy's about to do. So there's the the Goths. There's yeah, the there's the Alemanni. Dear friend. Okay. The Alemanni want an alliance and trade rights. And they hate... They... Uh, actually, no, they don't really hate anyone. They're just going to chill with everybody. And they're trade partners with everyone. I'm not sure I'm really willing to give you money for an alliance. Hmm. I mean, technically, they're my neighbours, aren't they? I think they're my neighbours. I'm, oh, you, you know what? Sure. Welcome, Would you like to trade map information for map information? What do you consider? Eh, uh, they'll pay us a tiny bit of money oh, for thanks. map information, Welcome, but really, I wanted friend. that. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So yes, unfortunately, Belgium's now in the process of revolting. The Celts are coming in. Let they want peace now. The oh, the Celts want peace. Sure. Oh, thanks. Would you like to trade? Uh, I'd love to trade. A most generous nice, we're trading with the Celts. How would you like to trade map information for map information? A most generous nice, proposal. okay, I'll take map information in case they know something I don't. Okay, me and the Celts are now chill. Uh, we can now trade with them. That's good. The Romans are now, yep, sending bigger forces towards Avaricum. So this is now a bigger force. Uh, I'm not sure whether we can hold Belgium, given we kind of made it a bit. Okay, you need to naff off. I'm not having you just get, just hanging out here. So here's one force that's come to deal with Marseille. Arl's already fallen. You are 44%. Oh, I shouldn't have done the whole changing you over to the Christian religion thing, should I? No. 
no, that that didn't work out at all because because yes, just it, yes, religious unrest of paganism minus a hundred percent. Let's let's can we just reconvert it? Can we just reconvert? How about we just how about we just say, you know what? I was wrong. Paganism. There you go. Now you're pagan. You want to be pagan? You're pagan. No trouble, mate. No trouble. So okay. The problem is our economy is still in absolute cocking tatters. Absolute in tatters. So, you're coming in. This force can hold that city. Yeah, that's fine. We can't hold Massilia. Don't think so, no. And you are just causing trouble. Right. Everyone outside. Fuck that guy, basically. Get away. Go off. Off you go. Bad. Bad Roman. Naff off. He's willing to fight. Interesting. I'm just drop a save. Drop a coward save. No captain. Uh, rather, no, no leader. Just a captain. Lots of weak cavalry. The problem is he's got a hardcore center of Comet Tensors, which I can't take on directly. This is going to have to be a cavalry sweep. This is going to have to be a proper wrap-up. We can't really beat them in a straight-up infantry slogging match. They've got way more infantry than us. They've also got three units of archers, which I might be able to just pick off with cavalry. But basically, we're going to have to spread our infantry line very thin, move it forward, and then just slam into the side and roll them up. It's it's not great, but it's the best we've got. I need to get rid of them. And after it's done, I will have a chance to retrain. And toss the mercenaries towards the front because some of them are getting damaged and we need to we need to sell them. We need to sell them and get rid of them. I'm just worried he might be on some real high ground. Nope, nice and flat. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh is there any slope here? No, maybe the tiniest, tiniest slope right there but honestly not much there's our city in the background right so right i think the, the game's already got the memo which is yeah we need to have our troops very much on that why are you not part of the front line shuffle along a bit guys shuffle along a little bit make make room make room for your friends make room for your friends friends for everybody archers just at the back just to kind of draw a bit of attention i'm afraid we don't have the luxury of you not being involved uh you can be on this side so on this side, yeah, we're going to have... That's okay, That's going to be all of you. You're going to be group one. Okay, no, sorry. Group you. Yep, you're going to be group one. And you guys over here. You're going to be group two. And the infantry line is going to be group three. So basically, all we want to do is just move the line forward. Engage. Uh, anyone who's got throwing peeler is welcome to be in uh, fire at will mode. There you go. You can. You're in fire at will mode. And uh, flaming ammo. Uh, Silas damage. Uh, not so good against straight up damage, but does competent job when it comes to all of uh, when it comes to morale damage, which is the important bit. Right. Start the battle. Now let's see what you guys are planning to do. If anything, they're just going to start moving forward. Their line is pretty deep. That's good. That's actually fine. It's okay, we've just got, just got some birds passing overhead. I do enjoy the birds. Everyone enjoys the birds. Everyone loves a good little bird right there. Right. Their cavalry is mostly pretty flimsy. Cavalry on cavalry, we win. Absolutely no trouble whatsoever. So I'm going to say, uh, you guys just basically start just bringing her forward step by step. That's fine. Uh, you guys just start bringing her forward. Group two, start bringing her forward too. We'll just see what happens. We'll just basically start bringing her into a decent position right there. And if we can, just kind of mess them up a little bit. Group two, see if you can just, yeah, hit their infantry. Group one, just basically head around the outside. There's their, there's their leader who's walking straight into, okay, this is, this is interesting. If you guys want to take me on directly, you're welcome to try. We've got ourselves... Oh, there's the flaming ammunition. Group one. Just bring him in a little bit. 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 Yeah, we're just going to slam into that cavalry on this side. 
Then we just need to slam into... They've literally walked their leader into javelin fire. You are... Oh, I don't know. I don't want to... I don't want to charge you direct. Not, not straight up. Right. Right. Bring him forward here. Bring him forward. The enemy general is routing straight away because he, he made some catastrophic mistakes. If we can just bring him down... This is off to a very good start here. You guys can just hold your existing, your current positions. You guys start moving in and wrapping up. All right, this is this is looking promising here. You guys just get over onto this side. Their leader is now fleeing. You guys just get over to here. This is looking good. And now, you guys are no, don't don't engage directly with the Foiderati. Don't engage directly with the Foiderati. Uh, so group two, back away. Group one, hit their archers. This is going absolutely fine. Now it's time to get up on the back of them. Some of you get over to here. Some of you get over to here. Group, you guys get over to here. Who are you? Hang on. Who is that? Check who that is. Grail Knights! No! Not Grail Knights! Not my Grail Knights. You guys get over here. You guys might be able to do more in a second. You get over to here. You guys get forward. You guys go into melee mode and get forward. You fire here. Some of you get over onto this side. Uh, yeah, group one. General hits this. Actually, you know what? General hits this side. Everyone else, a few other people in group one. Hit here. You guys hit here. We're, sp we're splitting group one a little bit here. We're splitting group one a little bit. You guys just get in. Now these guys are engaged in actual fighting. Oh, the Grail Knights are broken on this side, but that's fine. You get in over to here. You guys are broken. Get over here. There's too much UI. I can't even cocking see, but I think we're with them broken. We're now getting here. The enemy general is routing once again. We've got a good solid route on this side. We've got a good solid route on this side, and I think that's a pretty overwhelming victory for me there. There we go. The flaming ammo and the charge coming in. That did a good job. They've now decided, you know what? We don't want to be here after all. These archers are now making a cocking run for it. Back over to group one. No, no. You ain't going anywhere, lads. Sorry. You decided you wanted to stand and fight? Well, that's a shame. Now you got to stand and fight. Have fun. Uh, so, all right. There we go. That was a pretty solid overall victory, I would say. That's, you know, that, that works. That works. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Yeah, Shout out to Urban fine. Cohort, who that gave us $6.66. Nice. Uh, aptly, and says, thanks for coming to my Ted Toot. Oh, Ted. Why did you betray Ted? <sighs> Anyway, shout out to Nick's Harpinger who gave us five euros uh, to relay the message from chat from CLO who says, uh, well, John says wars used to be more fun. Someone should remind him that war, war never changes. Lol. I'm just saying war should be, I mean, maybe fun's not the right term. I just feel like there yeah, should I be mean, more uh, flags. Certain, so maybe there should just be more flags. I think some people uh, objected to that in chat, lol. Uh, Kerry Han uh, has been a member for three months and wants to know how many war crimes John will commit today after his comment about war being fun before. <laughs> also, Ted Potato, or the best potato, M-A-T-N, boop. No, Ted. Uh, which, like, yes, I mean, he's generally a very good potato. He's just, you know, a bit noxious. Yes. The the farts, no, he's perfect. Yes. Okay. But smelly. I think it's time for, yeah, the mercenary Foiderati cavalry to be broken down. Then again, now we've got the, the Allen Horse archers. The Sarmatians are sufficiently damaged, and you guys are sufficiently damaged too. You guys can both go. We're about to gain more archers. Go back over to the retraining. Yeah, don't do that. Retrain those guys at first. Get me archers as well. So we're going to have two units of archers going forward. And then we will need... Yeah, then we can slowly start replacing our infantry with better bits and pieces too. Also, I think it's time for these Grail Knights to be merged into one Grail Knight. Because now there's so little left that I think it's, it's time... So there we go. That's now one unit of much better, better Grail Knights, which is nice. Um, yeah, we've got the Spy over here. 
Ravenna has still got what it was. Rome's got what it was. So yeah, the army that was defending Italy is now gone, which is nice. That's that's very useful indeed. Uh, you may also go here and set up a watchtower. And that is no, no none of these units. Watchtower, please. Uh, yes. There we go. That lets us see the next Roman town up the road. But that's a really uninteresting town. We could probably just get there with our troops and, like, trash that uh, at our convenience. There's one governor there and something else unknown, question mark. Uh, you, meanwhile, get to here. Build another tower. I want visibility of the surrounding area, please. I'd like to be able to see... Uh, I want to be able to see the path down towards Rome, but I don't need to expose yourself, actually. So you go over to there. That's absolutely fine. So... Right, 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 right. Now we're training more units. We're training more archers. We're training more everything. This army is going to start recovering. We're going to be able to repair the cavalry next turn. Uh, next turn, we probably want to attack Ravenna. While we've got a moment's grace, while these guys are going for Marseille. And we'll also want to keep an eye on where you go. If hey, you said go to... Oh. Buddy, all done. Hey, Ted, you're fine. We just heard the warning signs of a Ted about to go woof, 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 woof. Ted, come here, Bob. It's okay, Ted, you're fine. Yes, okay. I'm going to go give him a cuddle because he stopped cuddle. himself from woofing. You give him a little cuddle and maybe it might maybe a tiny treat if he's very lucky. Yes. And then, yeah, round to you. So that's still owned by the right people. You go in this direction. There's Colonia Dacia right there. So that's been that's been trashed by someone. Officially the Ostrogoths, who therefore might spawn in the event that, you know, the Goths keep taking damage. So right, one of the hordes has been through this way at some point. I think we're on their tail. We found the Sarmatians at least, so it's nice to know where the Sarmatians are. Uh nothing too much more. Here, yeah, Alamani are now allies with a whole bunch of people, which is fine. Nothing dramatic there at all. So, right. I mean, while we could go and just destroy this town here, I feel like there's not much point, to be honest. That is, well, then there's the Vix. If we destroy this, then at that point, yeah, we significantly damage the ability of Rome. Then again, what are they going to do with this town? This town's not going to do much at all. Oh! That's, that's the sound of a treat being retrieved. A treat being retrieved there. Yeah, I know yeah. my chat. They're going to riot if I don't give him a treat, so... Yeah, I think Ravenna is probably a sensible pick at this point. We probably, next turn, we probably want to go and attack Ravenna with most of our army. So we'll see what happens next. There's just a Sassanid merchant. Nothing dramatic there. There's the Eastern Empire trying to reclaim territory that's been lost to, yeah, ransacking and whatnot. There are no Western Roman Empire. There we go. There's those guys. Right. Whether we can do much of them, big question mark. Whether we can do anything to save Marseille. Um, I don't see any signs of any more armies floating around. Check Rome. Yeah, the armies of Rome have not left Rome. Now that means, broadly, we're actually in a position now to yeah we can even retrain our cavalry in a second so what we're going to do instead is we're going to merge these cavalry uh creating two full units of cavalry and one damaged one so that's the one we can therefore retrain so we'll just do that and then we'll uh bring you there though to be honest actually oh do we want to do that yeah maybe uh we've also got a new alliance the sassanids with the eastern roman rebels lol Sassanid Mastums, no trouble there whatsoever. Nothing we didn't know about. Uh, oh, by the way, he's that. right behind the wheel of your chair. Do not roll backwards, I'll destroy Ted. Okay, if you hear a squish, I've just killed the dog. Okay, just calm down. Mm hmm. Jesus. And then, yeah, we've got, wow, two archers and, and, and a handful of mercenaries guarding Marseille. That, that we cannot hold. We cannot hold that. Uh, absolutely not. No way we can do anything with that. So, in which case, uh, burn Marseille to the ground. Uh, yeah, there we go. Just flog the arena for gold. Uh, sell their temple. Uh, public baths. There we go. There's another 500 gold. One practice range. Lol, not anymore. There's not one advanced cavalry stables. I don't cock in think so. Right, there you go. Have fun. Uh, have fun, uh, running that society. 
Uh, right, so they're going to get that. That's fine. It's now been pretty much ransacked. Uh, Avaricum, I'm confident we can hold. Uh, in fact, is there anything here we even need? Um, hmm. If we get Mithras up to level 4, I mean, technically that does get us, like, you know, extra experience. Oh, we've got the oh, we've got the we've got the blacksmith. Nice. Let's let's get everyone retrained. Screw it. That 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 tends to be very cheap. That that's a very cheap thing to do, and it's very fun. So yes, we can get all that in play. We do we want one more unit of proper br br British legionaries? I think British legionaries would be a good idea. Yeah, get some proper British legionaries out. Okay, that's that's good there. That means Avaricum's now very capable of defending itself. I would say. Uh, we've lost Marseille. We know the state of Ravenna. Theoretically, Rome could reinforce Ravenna. Whether they're going to, or whether they, like, would, 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 they, would, whether they would ever do that, I don't know. How are you guys doing, by the way? You're confident, you're a bureaucrat, Christian faction leader. Vanquisher, very nice. Destroyer, 20% bonus to cash from looting. He's also deranged. This man gibbers like a deranged rock ape. The rock apes will take offense at this. Okay. It's, 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 I can see how there's the, some slight issues. Slight issues there. Okay, so he's gone. He's going a little bit. He's gone a little bit bananas. But he's good at murdering people. The point is, he's very good at murdering people. That's weird, because, you know, being good at murder and being completely bananas, that's not something you normally see together. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's let's have a little think about what we want to send over to Ravenna here. Put together a little strike force. Maybe we want to send over this this other guy, the Mot uh, Motius Redick, uh, to see what he can maybe get done. Because yeah, this force is largely cavalry, but we should we should not treat it lightly. Also, do you guys have wait? Do you have a proper? <gasps> They've got a Circus Maximus. Holy shit, Claire, they've got a Circus Maximus at Ravenna. Take oh, Ravenna, take Ravenna, take I shouldn't Ravenna. Have, I shouldn't have merged those Grail Knights. Gosh darn it, that's a shame. Uh, still, the, the Grail Knights could finally get cocking, uh, kind of get cocking fixed up. Okay. We're going to leave the, the secondary guy here. You are going to be right here as well. You guys just hang on, where are the roads? Yeah, there's the roads. There's, there's the, the road right next to you. Just step outside, please. Step outside. Thank you. Lovely. Uh, so we can get you to there. Right, let's figure out what needs to be in your army. In a perfect world, you do not have much in the way of... Yeah, spearmen, spearmen, spearmen. And more cocking spearmen. Give him all the spearmen. Alright, that's fine. So he's got loads of spearmen. Give him some heavy infantry. Including the mercenaries. Right, get him there. Give him the archers. All right, and send the Grail Knights over because they can actually get they can actually get bloody healed. Uh, meanwhile, you're going to have to lower the taxes so this society stabilizes. We're going to fix up that cavalry. We're going to build more infantry here, and then yeah, that should be all as it should be. So top left corner, we'll aim for that. Uh, you can have a. Sorry, 25% chance success of infiltrating that society. Blimey, all right, chill out. Uh, get over to... How can you possibly not see it from there? Right, top corner. Right. Under siege. Maintain siege. Merge units into army. Get to here. And, yeah, we can build... We can build two. We can build two siege towers... Which is fine because he can only guard one spot on the wall. So that's perfectly sufficient. Uh, maintain the siege. So okay. I don't think he can get to us uh, this turn. So Ravenna is going to belong to us. Which is great because Ravenna is huge. Huge, huge, huge. And also very rich. We'll be able to make a lot of money by destroying it. Which is good because we're still losing four and a half grand every turn. <laughs> All right, well, let's, uh, let's put up the taxes in, uh, in Massilia. Sure, why not? Why the cock not, I say? Uh, right, and Avaricum's about to come under attack. But unlike, say, Future Total Wars, you don't make money from winning fights. Uh, that doesn't exist. Uh, oh, you've stabilized at least. Great. Put up the taxes in Belgium. Beautiful. Belgium's 
Chuck, how on earth did you not take Belgium? Why did you not take Belgium? We burnt Belgium to the ground because we thought we were done. But all right, we, we got paganism back in, in, in Belgium. So that's nice. You know, it's nice that paganism's back, I guess. Uh, Academy, paved roads. What if, we've, if we own Belgium? I mean, technically, I suppose th these would be our paved roads. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's improve the road infrastructure. In Avarica, which is definitely not our capital, but whatever. Uh, okay, everything's going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. You definitely can't do anything. This society can't do anything. Ravenna won't be able to do much to us. I'm a little bit scared of this guy here. We'll see. It's never fun taking on Sarmage or Auxiliary. And it's never fun taking on Comet 10 says. Especially on their own, their own, uh, their own ground. But there is... Oh. I forgot, I think I, did I forget to move my spy? No, I didn't forget to move my spy. That's just the Sarmatians having a chat with someone. So they're just agreeing what they're going to do next. Okay. Get over to you. What are you doing? Guys? Guys. There you go. Right, they're on the move. Okay, I think they're about to try and take... They're going to resettle uh, Colonia Dacia. Uh, unless the... Actually, I don't think the Roman... The Eastern Romans literally couldn't take it. So, okay. The Sarmatians have just moved a tiny bit south and pretty much immediately resettled. So that's not particularly dramatic at all. There's giant piles of pirates over in the Adriatic. Not my problem, to be honest. Not not my problem at all. So, okay. You get to here. You know where those guys are. Get down a little bit. Right. That territory still belongs to the Eastern Empire. So whatever's going on with, yeah, the Huns and whatnot. Nothing too much is happening. One new alliance. Uh, Alam the Alamani are just being super chill today. I don't know what they're, what they're doing, but the army of Rome has not moved. There has been no attempt to reinforce Ravenna, which is great. You're here. You're just a captain. Do, do we know what sort of captain you are? Would you like to maybe fight all of my troops? Hello. Who are you? You're one damage unit of spearmen. Why are you here? Why, why, why are you causing me trouble? Go, go away. Go away. Leave me alone. Okay, we don't need this right now. Send, like, you know, my send to my, my captain and, and my general and my horse. Actually, maybe not the, the, the horse archers. I need I need some infantry to, to, to reinforce this. Right. Get over to here. We just need to finish this guy off nice and careful. Pepper him with arrows, etc, etc. Claire. It's a good one for... Sorry, somebody is recommending me things. They're recommending you fruit. Yes, they're recommending me a finger lime tree. Claire's Claire's fruit shopping right now, just I so know. you know. Claire's just busy fruit shopping at the minute. Okay. Somebody in chat recommended me a finger lime tree. Uh -huh. And I was like, that sounds like something we'd like to eat, but I've never even eaten it. I don't even know if it's possible to buy it. Like... On, in our regular food order. Mm -hmm. And if we haven't even tried the fruit, we're not going to quote a bloody tree. I see. That's Claire's excuse for going fruit shopping. Fascinating. <laughs> okay, so hilariously... I do not like you. Hilariously, there is, in fact, yes, a, a giant hill on, on this map for the simple reason that, uh, yes, there's, like, you know... Uh, I built a watchtower here, and therefore it's on the battle map, and therefore they're using it to defend themselves, which is just delightful, because Rome was just the best, basically. So, yep, just get over to you guys and shoot all of you. Just slowly start wearing you down. May as well use up all of my ammunition, etc., etc., before we actually bother engaging with anybody. Just, you know, ever so slightly wear you down a little bit. Even though the high ground means, yes, there's going to be uh, much less damage. That high ground is very annoying. But you know what? I'm going to see if I can just get a little bit closer to you guys. Just, you know, get, get, get to the far side of that tiny hill. Right, that, that should do a lot better. There we go. That's now much more powerful. Good, 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 good. Just uh, put some little bits of damage on them. And as soon as they're nice and worn down, we'll engage with the infantry, slam into them from all sides, and everything will be fine. And oh, 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 wait, 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 where are you going? Where are you going, lads? Where do you think, where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? You ain't going anywhere. All right, you just, you just stay still. Stay still and be shot with arrows, if you'd be so kind. Claire. Um, mm, 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 mm. 
Uh, shout out to Chitara, who uh, has been a member for 65 months and says, Happy Year of the Dragon to everybody. Oh, nice. Was it Chinese New Year recently? Uh, I believe so. I believe it's about this time of year. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, but Nix uh, Harpinger also gave us 10 euros and says, Whoop, Happy Year of the Dragon to you all as well. Nice. So there we go. It was apparently last week. Thank you, Stuart, for pointing it out. I swear Steam sometimes does something for that, but I didn't see anything mm. this year. Huh, maybe I'm misremembering or just didn't see it or whatnot. Right, you guys can all just die, you stupid silly losers. There you go, everybody's dead and all it cost us was some arrows. Now get out of my territory. Okay, you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that. That was on you. All right, naff off. Mediolanum. Ted, Ted. All done, buddy. Teddy Alarm. Teddy Alarm. Medi Alarm. That wasn't intentional. Uh, Teddy Alarm. Good old Teddy Alarm. There we go. Good little city right here. Oh, Ted. Hey, honey bun. Do you want to come and fart under the table again? No, I think he knows what a treat packet is at. Okay. We can't tell if he's figured out that if he wants to bark and then doesn't. Yeah. Like, I mean, obviously he's figured out that if he does what we tell him, he'll sometimes get rewards, but... We can't tell if he's figured out that he can just, like, maybe sound like he's barking a little bit and then not bark and then get a treat. Yeah. But, you know. Okay. So, right. We've got Aulus Flavius here. He's got, yeah, some cavalry, some infantry. All the units here are pretty solid, but I've just brought, you know, more units. And also a, a, an absolute nightmarish insane man who likes slaughtering people and is slightly ludicrously bananas. So, okay, that's all going to be fine. We need to move in very carefully. Basically, attack wherever the Comet Ten says. Then again, uh, this is tier 5. If we just get a good angle, arguably just the damage we could do by shooting the Comet Ten says with the, um, with the tower. The tower, the built-in tower blister could itself be fine. Yes. Good boy, you get your tiny yes. snack. Yes, yeah, more fuel for the fart fire. You get a tiny, tiny snack. Yeah, you did a good job there, buddy. All right, so here we go. Our first huge city. Giant, giant. Ravenna. Yeah, that's Ravenna. With its proper little Circus Maximus. This is, and also a large temple of Mithras. It's got the Imperial Palace. It's got a gigant, uh, gigantic amphitheater. It's got basically everything you could want. It's got a huge, huge amounts of really cool stuff. So, yeah. Basically. Ooh, he's got his head right underneath your feet. Oh, good boy. I'll tell you what, that looks like a good angle to me. In fact, there's a couple of good angles here. Uh, this is, yeah, that's actually there's some really useful, vulnerable angles here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put our two things here. I'm going to see where he decides to try and draw up. Uh, everyone who is doing that can be set up like this. And, yeah, so we'll just set up you there. And where are the infantry, if anywhere? Hello, infantry. By the way, you may have noticed, by the way, you may have noticed something that's very unusual for me, which is depth of field is on. I cocking hate depth of field. You can't, I can't find out to disable it. If it can be disabled, I don't know how. All right, trust me, if I could disable it, I would. But I can't figure out how to do it. Uh, but depth of field is just on, and there isn't a setting for it in the settings. Uh, maybe I could, like, if I went to, like, the NVIDIA control panel, I could force it off for this game. I don't know. But, yes, yeah, sadly, I can't. I hate depth of field in games. But on this occasion, it's cocking stuck on. So, uh, yeah. We've got, there's, there's the leader. There's, that's the auxiliary. Wait, where is the infantry? Oh, he's down bottom. Oh, that's interesting. What are you doing down there, buddy? Okay, fine. I mean, I guess. I, 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 I would have thought you'd try and defend the walls of Ravenna, given common tensors are very good at wall fighting, but... I guess like... AI's gonna AI, I guess. Yeah, sometimes As interesting decisions. Right, you guys just getting up here. Hop up top, to if you'd be defenses. so kind. Let's see if there's any response. You know what, we may as well get the second tower in play, too. You guys just, yeah, getting up there. That's absolutely fine. And then we'll just, yeah, take the... Uh, Take the gateway. 
take the towers and yeah these being tier 5 walls this will do even more damage to them as they walk past it so yeah their leader is right there uh, which is fine you are now up top cross over here guys just get over here the walls are going to belong to us there's the gates and now just trap him uh, by there we go he's going to oh are they going to try and take them back no they're going to stand right here next to them there we go. There's more towers that belong to me. They're going to try and hold them by the Luxie of it, which is fascinating because... Um, are you actually in range? Are you actually officially hidden underneath the, the angle of this? I think they might be like hidden underneath the angle, which is delightful. You guys are form up right there and see if like we could get you to like have your javelin shot down at these guys because officially you're being marked as in range and they're not because i think they're too low down with the height differential when that happens that that's going to be powerful it's going to be powerful that by the way is yeah more coming in in this direction it's okay weird thing is yeah tier five cities actually it always feels smaller than tier four just because the road layout's a bit more sensible so you <laughs> stay up here oh no not something sensible just yep yeah, just hold your position can you just hit these guys? And oh, ah. oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I think they're about to do it. Yeah, they. Okay, it's, it's some. They're getting some. They're getting some down. That's going to get these guys moving. So they're now being hit by missiles from above. It was. That's a better angle. That's a better angle straight down. It wasn't. There's less of a drop off there. So there's also. When you say archers. Oh, no, that was, that was my unit. There we go. Down to 186. Right, 186 taking, so down from 200 to 186 right there. Are you going to try and get up on the walls to resist? But we're just tossing stuff down at them at this point. We've got the mercenary veterinary over here, which is good. We're just tossing more shit down at them. They've taken, uh, yep, they've lost a good, like, you know, 10% of their units already. This is a fantastic use of our peeler, just laying down the fire on these guys right there. So I'll take that. That's uh, that's good. Their leader is over here. I've got archers, but I don't have... Actually, I did not bring any... Oh, He's hello, Ted. so close hello, Ted. to touching your feet with his nose. I'm going to put my foot right in his little soft, fluffy, warm neck. Um, so, yeah, he's kind of pulling some units back there. What we might be able to do is, yeah, get some archers. Up on the walls. I'm just going to yeah. try and get some. We've got various people telling me that uh, depth of field is in the advanced graphic settings, but uh, apparently it's bugged. Uh, and you can turn it, you can disable it by turning on TAA. Ah, okay. Interesting. Mm. I'll check that yeah, later. Yeah, setting TAA to high helps with depth of field issues, according to this Reddit thread I found. Yeah. Uh, so thank you to Antares and Snowy and Thomas uh, for helping out with that. Thank you also, Elias. Nice. Lots of help on the depth of field thing. Sorry if I uh, forgot you. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Sorry if I didn't see you. There was a lot of messages for that. Um, okay. Commenter 10 says have returned. But yeah, we're just going to try and bring some archers up on top. And basically just lay down some fire on them from above. If we can, yeah, just basically if they do anything that means they try and get up top. Uh, but yeah, at this point we can, should be able to use our archers to rain down a lot of fire down onto these commenter tensors. So as soon as they get into position, as soon as everyone's there, that should be, that looks about 200 odd. That should be about everyone. So in a second, they should, there we go. Archers are firing from above. Like archers can't do much to commenter tensors, but this game calculates, you know, damage based on uh, height. If you're firing at someone from above, you get bonus damage. And look at that. Like one volley of one volley's taken off like ten of their strength. Because one, we've got a massive height elevation advantage, which also gives us a range advantage. And two, they're running away from us. They don't have their shields up. Their shields are not facing in the same direction as us. So as a result of that, they are being absolutely slaughtered. So that's the most dangerous unit on the field right there, and it's just being torn to cocking shreds. I love it. Yeah, and shout out to Double Event, who gave us $5 and says, I smile whenever John says Comet to 10 says. Nothing wrong with Comet to 10 says. Comet to 10 says. Everyone loves Comet to 10 says. Indeed. Uh, Julianne has been a member for 26 months and says, Hey, John, Claire, and Teddy, thank you for existing. Also, chat, you are all lovely. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. 
just bring the archers. Oh, you see, this is why I should have had archers long ago. Archers are just so good for basically saying, hey, so I've got, you know, an, adva an advantageous high ground position. Lol. Uh, and, you know, you can just abuse the walls so much more so much more efficiently with archers. And by the way, we've got more archers on the other wall now. Oh, la 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 la. Yeah, and the fact that they can still fire like above like a whole row. Yeah. A whole street worth of houses. Yeah. Of the and of height. course because the yeah, because these are archers rather than crossbowmen, they've got a bit of a firing arc so they can kind of drop arrows yeah. in uh behind buildings, which is very very powerful indeed. So yeah, there's just there's just a whole bunch of reasons it's just very very useful. And they're just, yeah, getting a few shots in. And the combat sensors are just being slowly torn apart. We can basically just finish them off, like, right now, which is so good. Just, yeah, that's that's the only, like, infantry on the field. Uh, I should have brought one unit of um, missile cavalry with me, just because they're so useful for baiting purposes, but I forgot. Uh, so that's a shame. We're going to have to make do without them. But yeah, the combat sensors are, yep, the combat sensors have literally broken, meaning they're now running away. And we can now pretty much just mop them up. And also, even after all that, we've still got so much ammo in our archers, which is really, really good. So, all right. Bare minimum. We know we can retrain our cavalry. Let's get our, let's get our cavalry out and see if we can just bait a couple of, uh, yeah, just cavalry towards the walls and maybe also get all of our spearmen into position two. So, we get our spearmen here. We get some archers around here. We get archers number two round about here-ish. That should do nicely. Yeah, that should be... Yeah, you know what? The range, the range on these guys isn't spectacular, actually. But, uh, yeah, if we kind of get ourselves uh, maybe a handful of units about... Yeah, here-ish. Just, yeah. Have, the, have, the, have them in this position. Have them in this position. So all, all my spearmen are like basically ready to go here. My archers are just, you know, floating around here and have a great shot at this area and will be do a great job from above. My cavalry are just going to basically poke forward... And I'm just going to basically, even if these guys take some knocks, even if they, like, basically, you know, break and take loads of damage, we can just repair them. It's fine. Because we've got, we've actually got the, the infrastructure when we take this city. I'm just going to try and bait these guys forward. And it looks to me like they're sort of interested. Like, they're, they're seeing a fight that they think they can win. Like, you know, they're, 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 for the fact this was, what was it, 2000 and, 2004? Like, you know, it was, it was quite sophisticated, actually. Like, you know, it, it looked for opportunities to dive, like Cassius the Lily Livered just did earlier. You know, it looked for opportunities where it might be able to, you know, make something happen. And now, as a result of that, you could, like, you know, use that to lead it into traps. So we're just trying to lead these guys right now into arch fire. That's right. Keep on keeping on. And, yep, they're now opening fire. They look like they, they shouldn't be quite in range yet. But they are because, yeah, you gain a slight advantage of height. I'm just going to pull my cavalry back because my cavalry are relatively expensive to repair. And I would much rather have them, yep, just basically send in the cavalry, send in spearmen. Deploy the spearmen. And now because they've got the height advantage, of course, my archers can just keep firing. They, can, they, they should still have a pretty damn solid ability to keep firing it even though the horses are engaged. You're going to embarrass me by not doing it. There we go. They're still going to try and do it. And that's going to do a fair, that's going to do a fairly large amount of uh, damage right there. Those guys are shaken and the the, the, the the that actually did a fair, fairly good amount of damage too. Now I'm going to set my own cavalry back in. They're doing good damage in return because you know they're solid hardcore uh they're solid hardcore cavalry. But, you know, these guys are just about you know what they're still eager. Well played, bless them. And now we just shoot those arseholes in the back and a whole bunch of them are about to go down. So, all right, that's another unit dead. Now, if we can just do the same or something very similar with their leader, then that would be great. That would be that would be a huge win. But this guy should definitely uh, pull back a little bit. The one who just took the, uh, the lion's share of the damage should now not get involved as far as possible. He should, uh, he should pull back because otherwise he's got too much of a chance of breaking and triggering a chain route like, you know, Cassius the Magnificent Superman just did uh, earlier. So that will be, that will be absolutely fine. But yeah, now we can just basically pursue and see if we can do the same again. Clap! Uh, sorry. Let's see. Uh... We've got a message from Stilty Wilton. Nice, love uh, it. Who gave us five dollars and says, "Ah, I have been hired." Nice, uh, John and Claire. I've been hired. I can now support my. Ted. He just moved his paw and basically yeah. laid his paw on top of my foot. Yeah. There you go. Good boy. 
Uh, I have been hired and therefore I can now support my wife's habit of being alive, which she has indulged in since she was young. Very selfish behaviour to my mind. Uh, indeed, indeed. Uh, shout out to Dan who gave us five pounds and says, uh, a mate of mine is running a campaign in Rome right now and has a boy commander called Sextus Turbo. Sextus Turbo, love that. People just abandon settlements as soon as he enters a region. It seems reasonable. Yeah, yeah. Right, so we've got Dear this one dear. last chap here who needs to go down. The question is, can we? Oh, here we go. There's a little bit of a little bit of a pursuit going on here. Their leader is guys, guys, guys. At hum, at hum, at hum. Pathfinding, path, pathfinding. Please leave. Please, please evacuate the settlement. There we go. They figured out they're supposed to be leaving. Just need to keep on keeping on. Every single round of Archer Fire that we can get off is good. So, okay, these guys are taking some serious damage, but they get that they're supposed to be leaving at this point. Off you go. There we go. There we go. There we go. If we're lucky, they'll keep pursuing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they still want it. They still, they still want to do more damage. They're eager. They're warmed up. They're charging. Make sure we're still being good bait here. Still being good bait. Yeah, that's right. Just see if we can just engage with like one on the very outskirts. Just to see if we can maybe keep them pulling in the right direction. Oh, no. No, no. No, no. I think, I think we're doing this, actually. I appreciate this. Yeah, there we go. So we've done a little bit of damage there. Keep on keeping on. I'm just trying to pull him back. I know we're taking some damage on this cavalry unit. But that's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. There we go. Just in a moment. I know it looks like, you know, the archers are still some way off. But they've got more range than the, the, the game displays because of the height advantage. So you're going to see the archers start to fire, like, pretty soon. There we go. Already in range and already firing. There we go. Lovely. Go. 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 And now, yeah, just basically get around the back as far as you can. Can you even sneak around that way? And now that general is taking on three units of heavy infantry who are very good at taking out cavalry. And on top of that, yeah, we've got these guys firing from above. Just give them the manual commands to make sure they keep doing it. If we got... Come on, guys. And lovely. There we go. They only take the shot if they're very confident they're getting the shot correct. But he's down to... Yep, that's it. He's done. He's routing and he'll be dead momentarily. Very nice. That is their leader. That might have been the factionaire. That might have been the factionaire right there. Meaning now there's basically nothing left. And we can just ride in with the cavalry and finish off the last of them. Lovely. That's... This is why this whole time it's like, why don't I have archers? Gotta have archers. Yeah, this is why. This is why archers. If you use archers smart, like archers are cheap. They don't do much damage. But the, the nice thing is, unlike many other units... You can gain, you can seriously power them up by just placing them correctly. Like in sieges, as, you know, if you can just bait people, like, you know, they're useful for, one, baiting units into a position where other units can kill them. But also, if you can bait units into a well-positioned archer, bloody hell, cheap tier one archers can tear, like, you know, they just tore the shit out of heavy cavalry. That's, that's not nothing. Well done, lads. Uh, so, you know, that's, uh, that, that works. That works right there. And now... We just go and finish them off. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Chris, who's been a member for 14 months and says, I'm glad to be able to catch this stream. Uh, I've missed a few due to work and, you know, falling asleep, but I'm loving the Rome content. Romano Britanni I. Ite Domo? Roman Is Britain's go, go home. home joke. Yes, yeah. yeah, the go home joke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, I mean, I don't know how to say it, but I know where it comes from and what I mean. There we go. Oh, I'm Ted's dead. just repositioned to even more toasty up my foot there. Hello. And I think we have successfully killed everyone. I love that. I love the little dumb cheering they do. There we go. Good job, lads. Good job. So, all right. We did. Yeah, they did 150 casualties to us. Probably mainly that one unit of uh, Foiderati, but that's fine. We can fix that. So, uh, right. It was, it was looking very dicey at one point, but we have made it to Italy. All right, we've made it to Italy. We've made it in. We've got Ravenna. We're going to exterminate them. That's going to be... 
How do I... Oh, how, how, how is my economy worse for having taken over... Not 100% sure how my economy is worse all of a sudden. But my economy is apparently worse. Again, not, not sure how. But seriously, just... Oh, Ravenna. That's that's the good shit. That's the good shit right there. That's that's the good stuff. So, yeah. Urban barracks do not need. Practice range. Oh, they do have a practice range, lol. Uh, but they do have... Yes, they they do have the army barracks. They've got the Circus Maximus, which is very exciting. They've got a blacksmith, too. So that's that's good. They don't have the awesome Temple of Mithras, which I thought they did, but whatever. Um, they don't have a practice range, so I, I guess we'll, we'll build that up. Sure, why not? Uh, and yeah, for troops, obviously, we're going to... Ah, oh, retrain the Grail Knights. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, yes, damage. Oh, good, you, sir, the most damaged one. You're the, um, you're the mercenary. You can go now. We don't need you anymore. Uh, retrain everybody else, which is... That was the opposite of retraining. I then basically started unretraining everybody, so that's good. Right, get to that. And then, can you have cocking assassins now? Ladi cock and da. Uh, Warlord, Sarmatian Auxilia. Wait, what? Hang on. Hang, 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 hang on. No, 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 no. No. I'm deeply concerned that possibly Grail Knights can only be trained, like, in Britain or something. Like, they've got to have drunk from the Holy Grail Am or I some shit. Am I allowed to look it up, or is yes, that cheating? Yes, that's fine. I'm deeply worried that possibly you're just not allowed to to have that. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. Uh, Grail Knights possibly can't be trained. Fascinating. Uh, right. I, I, I genuinely am not sure about that. That's that's really, really interesting. Uh yeah, get the just get some more Forderati infantry. Those those are solid. Grownout's gonna be trained in the capital. Someone Change the capital. Cha yep, change the capital, yeah, screw it. Uh where's the change? The settlement must be capital and have Circus Maximus. Where is the capital button? Auto merge, auto sort unit cards. There, that's fine. I love that auto sort unit card. All right. So, um, sorry. Before they have to leave, shout out to Omega, formerly Souls, who gave us twenty five polish slotty, uh, and says, John, you should check out uh, Civilization Four Beyond the Sword. Uh, there's a mod. Uh, caveman to Cosmos for super premium extra vintage double triple nostalgia with bonus turns. Have you never played Civ 4? It would be quite hard for me to do no Civ 4 nostalgia. I'd have to play the base game first, I think. Okay. Well, where's... I mean, I think they mean their nostalgia, but you yes. know. Now, where the hell is the cocking? Uh, Ravenna's tax rate can obviously go up, but seriously, where's the button? Is it? Is it this one? Yes, make the faction capital. Right, Ravenna's now the faction capital. So now, hang on, hang on, hang on. Still not there. Maybe it will appear. Now. It might appear next turn. It could appear next turn. I don't know. Well, can you look at the circus? It's still not showing up. Maybe next turn. Maybe, maybe it'll maybe, maybe it'll refresh it next. Turn. Maybe it'll re refresh and we re-roll. Given this is now our capital of Ravenna. So okay, that's that's interesting. That's some interesting stuff right there. Uh, so a giant army is coming towards Varicum, which needs to have its tax rate lowered, unfortunately. Which is, how am I? How's my economy worse now? Ah, uh, Omega says uh, they were sure that you'd played Civ Four. Uh, they're bad. Uh, I, I barely played I Civ can... Five. You can go and look at my little. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend going and look at my series of Civ Five because I've never played it before and it's terrible. Uh, but yes, I, I, I barely, dear, barely played oh dear, that, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh... I, I, I can go to bed now. Clearly, I need it. Lol. Aww. Good night, Omega. Good night, Omega. Okay. We just need to... Yes, there's my spy moved. Yeah, my spy's moved. My diplomat is keeping an eye on these guys, wherever the hell you guys are going. We're about to lose Marseille, which is a shame, because we're already losing it. How on earth are we losing this much money? I don't know how we've taken Ravenna and thus gained a gigantic city... But we're losing more money than we were before in absolute terms. Uh, what about... 
Well, people are saying, weren't you losing like 4,000 per turn before? And now maybe it's I was. Maybe I'm misremembering. I don't mm. know. Maybe maybe we're losing slightly less than previously. I, I, I'm not ah, sure. Really good point from Bense in chat. I wouldn't be surprised if the game makes you, uh, if it takes a turn for the capital thing to happen, yeah. in order to stop players from just moving the capital and therefore training multiple units. Seems fair, uh, yeah. Every turn. It seems very fair. Yeah. Well, we've just got back up to minus 3,000. So who who knows what's going on anymore? Ooh. Yeah, here come, we're about, and we're about to lose Marseille, so that situation's about to get worse because we can't um, defend ourselves against that. I'm not sure what this means, but yeah. Kolaris says, I just had a look in the files and Grail Knights require hidden resource Britain. I oh don't shit! Know what that means. It'll be a tag that British civilized, that British cities located within the British provinces have, meaning you literally can't train them unless it's in a city in Britain. Lol. Uh, that's that's unfortunate. So okay, we literally can't retrain Grail Knights. Uh, our, our, our plan where we've literally marched, burning down all of Western Europe in order to get to a Circus Maximus. And it turns out, no, we also need the Holy Grail, which is located in Britain and only Britain. Screw all the other countries. You don't have a Holy Grail. Um, so we've lost Marseille. So the tax rates collapsed again. Uh, Avaricum is making less and less money because the population is growing at 5% per turn. Meaning, yeah, the, we need to keep lowering the tax rate. So it's an absolute number. We're probably making less. Uh, we're just about holding on to Belgium. We've now lost Arles and Marseille. Those are both, those are both <laughs> gone. Diplomatic information. Oh, the Alemanni have attacked the Western Roman Empire. Good. That's good. Oh, and the Western and Eastern Roman Empire are no longer allied. Good, that breaks down at some point or another. And the Western Roman Empire are allied with the Sassanids. Oh, cocking heel turn. Oh, he's coming in. Western Roman Empire coming in with the steel chair. Oh, that's, 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 that's rude. That's rude, allying with the Sassanids. Oh, come on, guys. That's, oh, we found the Huns. The Huns are here. The Huns are here. They've just showed up. Hello, Huns. Oh, they have a few armies. Oh, they've got some. Right, so I, I mean, feel... they've only got, what, four that are four stack. You, you, yes, but these are still quite dangerous armies. In yes, fact. I, I know. That's, yeah. John, yeah. that's the chalk. Okay, so we found the Huns. Uh, they're possibly about to make the Sarmatians re-hoard. Because they weren't done hoarding it. Also, I kind of noticed they appear to be like... I mean, I right, legitimately just... thought you were... If we just just sort of... about to say they were about to make the Sarmatians their bitch. If you just kind of straight line the direction they're going in, like literally draw a line through their armies and then just kind of keep <laughs> going. It just kind of looked like they're heading towards northern Italy, which is where I am. They're kind of, they're kind of heading in a northern Italy sort of ish direction. Uh, uh, time, to, uh, time to run away back to London. <laughs> Just retrace our steps all the way back to Britain. A quick ally with the Huns. Oh God, that is a conga line of pain. Oh, welcome to Barbarian Invasion, where Barbarian Invasion's cocking meant something, damn it. So, okay, that, there's no way the Sarmatians can win. The Sarmatians are going to have their asses kicked. But they'll do some damage. They'll do some damage at the same time. Unless, of course, they're not at war. Uh, let's just quickly just check the, the uh, hey, state hey, of the Huns. Yeah. Do you want to hear something really heartwarming and lovely that will make you feel so old? Yes. Uh, shout out to Chief O'Reilly, uh, O'Reilly, sorry, who um, who gave us five dollars and says I've been a viewer since I was thirteen, and now I get to watch your videos with my newborn daughter at twenty-two. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Congratulations! Congratulations for your baby. So, okay, the Huns are at war with the Sarmatians, so they absolutely will destroy them. And I know these aren't, like, the best units, but, like, you know, there's enough of them, and they're horse archers. Like, you know, they, any any horse archer that's coming in with 40 shots, a uh, range of 120, and a missile attack of 8, you know, they, they'll, they'll, just, they'll eventually wear you down. They'll wear you down. Like, even though they're not the best units in the game, there's seven cock and stacks of them. They will eventually slowly grind you into paste. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. The bare minimum, we now have some solid units. 
Okay, we've got some solid units and we can start double training them, which is great. The downside that we've got is, yeah, one, the Romans are interestingly not attacking. Oh, they've actually sent up. Oh, Orestes Ovidius. Kind nice. Of very, very Greeky name, I love it. Um, yeah, they're sort of sending troops towards Avaricum, and I feel like Avaricum is going to come under attack at some point or another. So I feel like, you know, the units that are not contributing should just be got rid of at this point, including... I mean, you know what? The coastal levies might have a function. They're cheap. It doesn't matter one way or the other. I think we need to put everything together for one push against Rome. I'm just concerned that Rome is going to be uh, tricky to break into. It's going to take everything we've got. And when I say everything we've got, I mean more than everything we've got. We're going to have to literally just spend a lot of our money and go into even more debt. Basically putting together an army that can do this. Uh, which is, you know, not not great. Not not great in many ways. Uh, there's, there's some solid Grail Knights. You are... You're costing me money and you're really not contributing much. Then again, I'm going to need a small garrison just hold Mediolanium. And I don't know what's going on with the army that just took Marseille. It may well be heading towards Mediolanium. And if it's heading towards Mediolanium, I'm not sure if I want to bother defending it. Because we've already burnt it down. Like, I think we might be better off just, uh, yeah, you guys, yeah, just retrain. Then again, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. have you guys got a, you guys got a blacksmith. You guys have got, do you guys have a, you know, a blacksmith? You don't even have a blacksmith. Uh, in which case, uh, yeah. This isn't an evacuation. <clears throat> evacuation is not the right term. <laughs> evacuation is definitely. Running away, is that the right term? That's, no, that would be a very bad term. That's not what we're doing right now. We're sending these troops to here. And we're just going to take advantage of this moment to retrain them to make them better. Okay, and we're going we're gonna to train more British legionaries. All right, and over here, we're going to train some more archers. Because archers, yeah, without uh, without the benefit of... Um, yeah, without the benefit of uh, an archery range or an armourer, I'm not going to be any better for the benefit of a blacksmith. Blacksmith helps uh, melee troops. You need an armourer for archers to be better. So we're just going to put this together. We might have to supplement with some more troops. And then we're going for Rome. All right. Rome just needs to be worn down. And I think, yeah, we should have... Yes, master. Hmm. This spy can just go down south and have a bit of a look as to what else is going on here. I feel like, yeah, that would be absolutely fine. The We're not running away. We're advancing backwards. That's fair, yeah. We're not retreating. We're advancing in a different direction. Mm-hmm. Everything, it's, it's, if, if, Med, look, would you, if you had a choice between being the master of Rome or the master of Mediolanum, which would you take? I mean, we're already the there master we... of Mediolanum, so... Yeah, but if you had to choose. There we go. There we flippy go. Thank you for confirming that for us, Claire. Uh, so, okay, we've also got... Ooh! The Vandals have settled in Thracia. Uh, Thracia is right over here. Okay. So, the Vandals have settled over here. Okay. And... The problem is, yeah, the uh, the Hun may be going in a different... Okay, we'll keep an eye on the Huns now. Here come the Goths. Hi, Goths. Coming to have a nice chat with everybody. Everyone's coming to have a nice chat with the Huns. Hi! Lovely to meet you. Please don't destroy our entire society. Um. So, okay. Here come the Sarmatians. <laughs> the Sarmatians came in. The Sarmatians left again. Uh, right. What are the Huns going to do? The Huns have immediately put Colonia Dacia under siege. It's already been sacked. Presumably by... I don't know. Somebody. But they're just slowly making their way through. Just going to surround the city. Whether they're going to move in this mm. turn or whether they need to build some siege. And they, they, they'll need to build some siege equipment. The problem is, Mediolanum yeah. is, you know, roughly where Milan is. Yeah. And Milan is where Ossobuco is from. Uh, okay. But Rome is where Saltimbocco is from. Oh, for fuck's sake. Is this, this is how you're making the choice, is it? I'm sorry, do you have a better way of making the choice than why you can eat that? Uh-huh. Because I think that's what... I'm sorry, is that is that not, like, the criteria for deciding a vacation, like, destination? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, we cannot make it to Rome in one turn. We, ha we would have to... 
be on the road for a short period of time. We're now losing... Oh, shit. We're losing 4,846 gold every turn. We only have 10,000. Give or take. We're bankrupt in two turns. Which basically means... Well, one, I need there to be no reinforcements coming to help out Rome. And by the looks of it, there are not. There's maybe like a tiny handful of troops coming from Tarentum, but it's it's not anything of note. And Salona is far too far away to do anything. We cannot do a lengthy siege. We simply ca cannot. It's, it's not possible. So what we're going to have to do is deploy our cavalry in this direction. Just check for any particularly exciting... Ooh. Mercenary Ballista. Okay. Uh, but then again, uh, could that even fit through the cooking gates? Come on, is that, are you ever going to... No. It's, it's, it sounds sexy, but it's never going to work out for you. Okay, get over to here. You guys can also you can you can pay a bit more tax. You guys are apparently happy with me. God knows why, but you are. Um, right. Everyone else, we're on the move. All right, get to here. Build one. Oh, we okay. We already we already walked over the line. That's fine. We're now officially in Roman territory. We have to lower the tax rate, which means right now, now we've got less less time for this to, to happen. Also, did I just take literally everything? Did I just take literally everything out of the city? Okay, maybe maybe one thing ought to stay in the city. Like who though? Not the mercenary Grail knights, surely. Oh, you know what? Sure, the mercenary Grail knights. They're 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 not really going to be contribute. There we go. You're happy again now. Right, you just keep moving. This is 17 units. Okay, this is... Oh, I'm officially the Butcher now. I'm Vercassi Velaunus the Butcher. Whoa. That's nice. It's a badass name. I mean, I don't know about nice, but certainly badass. Yeah, so we've got, we've got 17 units coming in, in this direction. Next turn, we put Rome under siege. The turn after that, we, we literally have to go in. Because if we don't, we, we, we're bankrupt. And also, they're getting closer and closer to Avaricum again. Okay, this is... Yeah, we've, we've basically got to take Rome in, in the next two turns. And even if we do, then... Barely even matters. Uh, you know what? Send my diplomat over to here. And do we now know... Yes, the giant army that took Marseille is still in Marseille. They're not moving towards Mediolanium. Uh, so that's good. Okay. Keep on keeping on. You're just keeping an eye on, yes, the border up here. You can just go keep an eye on Salona. There's the Goths just doing their own thing. So, here come the Sarmatians again. And the Sarmatian assassin. With his giant scythe. Good for him. The Vandals have settled in Thrace. And are thus probably going to maybe take over Constantinople. They might even take Constantinople. Uh, the Huns have... Not moved in against Dacia. Oh! The Romans have finally launched a second attack on Avaricum. Uh, whether we can hold or not is really... Oh! As a force is moving towards Mediolanum. Okay. The economy has slightly deteriorated and now we cannot survive one more turn. Uh, so that's, that's fine. All we need to do is find some troops we don't need. Like some unnecessary troops. There'll be some somewhere. All we need to do is just... Okay, this is, this is all fine. This is all fine. This is all fine. Get to Rome. Maintain the siege for now. Deploy additional troops to reinforce up to uh, 19. You are just moving in the right direction too. We've got to build the siege equipment now. Uh, we've got plenty of siege equipment at least. Which is good because... Because they can actually defend the damn place. Uh, so that's good. Maintain the siege. We now need to find 300 gold we could just lose out of the empire. Um, 
Well, if Arakum's already under siege, what else? It's uh, what's uh, what else is it going to do? Uh, so okay. Um, oh, then again, actually, uh, we need to. If Arakum needs to be kept roughly under control. Okay. Small Roman force just arrived here. Is that really enough to take this settlement? I don't know. Okay, just in case it is, we don't need an amphitheater. Oh, then again, that's happiness, which is keeping the taxes being paid. We don't need baths, though. Okay. There we go. We now survive to next turn without going bankrupt. But just in case the economic situation deteriorates further, it will be sensible to break down something else. Like... Hmm. Um... Yeah, once again, we don't need baths. There we go. We'll now survive until next turn. Which is great. But we'll smell. We'll smell. That's that's true. Um, the Goths have attacked the Western Roman Empire. Brilliant. The Vandals and Sassanids are allies just because they, they both hate the Eastern Roman Empire. The Lombardi have attacked the Franks. The Franks are no longer allied with the Western Roman Empire. And also... All right. Uh, the, 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 our faction is the Butcher has picked up various, you know, very sensible administrative assistance to help mm. with running of society. Good for him. Uh, everything's fine. It's all, it's all fine. I'm, I'm, I'm aware of settlements being under siege. Uh, let them come. And take, there comes, oh, wait, I think that was the, go that was a goth, that was a goth, um, on the move army, wasn't it? I think we just saw, there we go, they've, uh, the, the, they've burnt down Colonia Dacia. They want to see it was mostly already burnt down. That really didn't do much good for them. So, okay, the Huns are kind of just bumbling around not particularly valuable territory. They've made probably a tiny bit of money there. Hey, look. Oh, Ted, you're still down there. Hello. I just yes. stepped on your nose. I'm sorry. Also, they've just sent a third army to reinforce the Varicum. No, we can't afford more troops. We have 600 gold. Go away. Okay. You need to get it here. And hang on. What may be the first cocking time. Just resort the army. Oh, we've actually got a 20 stack army. I'm not sure we've ever had one of those before. I think this is new. This is this is all very exciting. And the one advantage here is they actually, they don't have a um they don't appear to have yeah, a a general. They don't have a general. All they've got is Rome itself. So we've got four towers. They can guard against four towers. This is this could actually be a proper scrap on the walls. So all right. They've got superior weapons and armor. And technically the superior troops as well, to be clear. Uh, Commander 10 says are superior to British legionaries. Just uh, not by much, but you know, when it's, you know, when they're literally fighting each other potentially, you know, every little every little counts. Hello, Ted. Hello, Lovely Ted. So their infantry is crap. It's all Foiderati uh, light cavalry. It's fast moving. They've got one bit of heavy cavalry. The Catholic priests are basically a non-entity. Uh, they'll boost morale. <laughs> the first and last full stack army. Broadly, yes. Oh, dear. And then they've got, yeah, a handful of archers and crossmen. The crossmen in particular are not particularly useful. It's basically just a matter of cutting through five, uh, sorry, six units of Commodus Tensas. If we get through six units of Commodus Tensas, then that's fine, which is a problem. Because we've only got four units of British legionaries and one unit of mercenary veterinarii. We're going to have, I think, if we could take the walls and get our archers into an amazing position, that would be great. We've also got two units of proper Warlords Cavalry, which is fantastic. But this is this it really depends. The AI could make some bad decisions and this could be, we could walk straight in. The AI could make some sensible decisions. We could be in trouble. And also a question is how how wide we want the front to be. Like, do we want to focus our strength on breaking into the walls in a particular location? Or do we want to really, you know, start splitting things around a bit? We'll have to see, yeah, what the, what it looks like and where we are. Um, shout out to you, that very random guy who uh, says I'm waiting for John to be defeated because of the priests. I doubt that it's going to happen. Mm. I hope it's not going to happen anyway. On the bright side, losing this battle will do wonders for the economy, says Elias. It will actually. Even if we lose that, guy could save the economy. Oh, there's the Colosseum, by the way. Love the Colosseum there. Love it. Uh, and yes, indeed. With its original uh, proper coverings. Very cool. Very cool indeed. 
Uh, also, shout out to Subs and Soda, who's very amused by the fact that you said uh, veterinary instead of veterani. You've been saying this wrong for years now. I do. I enjoy saying it. Sorry. It's just because I. It's just uh, the veteran. I just say veteran, and then I get it wrong. Sorry. Uh, I thought you were saying veterinarian. To be mm -hmm. honest. Okay. Honestly, I feel like we can, yeah, make some good approaches along here without too much difficulty. The question is, who do we want to actually be putting forward? Because, yeah, you are my British Legionaries. British Le yeah, it's just my British Legionaries. I think we can just basically try and push on the wall at the front. Because they've got enough troops to, to spread out. Yes, of course. It might also have been Discworld-related pronunciation. Entirely possible. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, you know what? I don't really like having... You know what? Maybe I'll have one. One safety one around the corner. Over here. Just to see if maybe, just maybe, that uh, that opens up some opportunities that otherwise would be a bit tricky to get to. You know, you get to there. Oh, nice and tight, please. Nice and tight. Yeah, we'll have three over here. Spread out. And all of them, uh, you, 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 all of you on fire at will. Because you've got siege towers that have got some good little machine guns built into them. Bye, Get Ted. Sofa, Thank Ted. you for being on our feet for now a long while. He's gone back while. to the sofa. Going back to the sofa now. And then, yeah, everyone else just basically gather up. Please gather up, gather up, gather up. And then, yeah, just be ready to move forward. This is... There's not much space around the edge of this battle map. Everything's fine. No, no, there we go. That's a little bit further back. A little bit further back. There we go. That's fine. Right. The question is, yeah, how far are they going to try and guard the walls? Because so we're going to move one in over here just as like a little kind of side attack, which if I could like, you know, maybe like pull off us. In fact, you know what? What I'm going to do, just to kind of try and basically as act as distraction is, I'm going to pull some units over here, basically acting like this is a bigger attack than it actually is. Um, so I'm hoping, therefore, that will pull some units over here. Because those cavalry aren't contributing anything at this point. So if that pulls some units out the way, great. So start. Pause. I'm not seeing that much on the walls, to be honest. I'm kind of okay with this. I'm kind of okay with that. That's a missile. That's okay. Alright, you. Into the center. That's archers. And that... That's one comment to tense says. Meanwhile, over on this side, good. They've absolutely taken the bait on this side. That is, yeah, comment to tense says, uh, crossbows, and an, and the Sarmatian Auxilia are guarding this gate. And I don't give a shit about that gate. So we've just drawn a fair whack of their army out of position with the feint with the cavalry on being on that side. And that actually worked really well as far as I'm concerned. So we're just going to get over to here. These archers are going to start taking damage immediately from my lovely, lovely siege towers that have got, like, built-in machine guns. They're going to try and... Oh, look at them fly! I love looking at them! Look at them fly! Look at them fly! They're going to try and set it on fire. They might be able to set one on fire. Um, it's hard to say. And then, yeah, you guys are going to take some heavy losses. I just love watching them being sent flying by the bolts. This is great. It's fucking hilarious. Uh, the crenellations provide them with a little bit of defense, but... It's, you know, it's it's damage. It's all damage, and we'll see if they're capable of setting this one on fire or not. Meanwhile, over here, yeah, these are the completely cocking, useless uh, crossbowmen. We've basically taken a very small amount of damage, but even then, look at that. They're firing from on top of the wall. They've done, like, five units of damage. They are... They're not good units. The crossbowmen are not good units at all. The archers have taken a lot more damage, actually. These combat tent says are going to take a little bit of damage. And unfortunately, they're also going to get to toss their javelins if they choose to. The may or may not actually kind of get into a good position to do that. We're just kind of moving in. We're going to take out maybe 10% of them. But if they toss their javelins down at us, they're going to do more than that in return. So, uh, you know what? Bare minimum. What we've got is... Excuse me, are you firing at... What are you firing at? You're not firing at me, are you? No. And as for over here, just hold these guys in position. I, I'm happy to just basically chill out and we can just look at each other. Because you are holding three units out of position. 
So, yep, there we go. The Cobbler 10 says are indeed reloading and they're going to toss all their javelins down at us. This unit's going to take a lot this of damage. That's of straight down to, look at that, that's 16 right dead. And a few more too. Uh, so that unit was always going to take a lot of damage, unfortunately. The mercenary veterinarii are going to obviously slaughter the archers when that or when that comes up. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take my own archers. I'm going to have them ready to move forward into position and take a position on the wall as soon as we lock down this side. Because we can lock down this side because this side's now guarded by nothing but um, archers and uh, crossbowmen who are going to be slaughtered by my troops when they get up on the walls. These guys have taken... You know what? These guys have only taken like 20, 20 casualties. I, honestly, I thought it was going to be worse than that. You guys have taken about the same. So, okay, that's going to be an even fight. But an even fight is going to suit the common tensors because, well, plain and simple, they're stronger. Uh, but we should be able to keep them busy for the time being while we just move our troops up. And, yeah, then we've got more common tensors, more common tensors. Good. If we've got some more common tensors just hiding down here, that's actually good news as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you guys just all run forward into a solid position here. And yeah, just basically start running forward. Uh, do I want you to... Ooh, maybe you're going to be under attack from this. Maybe that was a little bit aggressive, actually. I think you're probably safe in that, in that position. So yeah, all we've got to do is just wait for the units to pop up. These ones should be the first to pop out. The archers are... Oh yeah, the archers are going to fire at you, aren't they? Yeah, that's true. Sorry, I forgot about the archers who are... You know, still in position. Uh, but that's fine. You're going to take a few knocks, but that's that's absolutely fine. You don't win a war without breaking a few omelets. Mm -hmm. um, just, just if you guys wouldn't mind, like... There we go! That's now in play. It's the mercenaries getting a shot in. There we go. Well done. Yep. Immediately shaken, cocking useless mercenaries. Right, you guys. No, don't fire up there. Don't fire up there. Hold, hold your position. You guys, the, the they're sending in the crossbows to reinforce. Uh, unfortunately, these are the mercenaries, so we're not quite so good. But against the archers, it would be wild if they didn't win. Yeah, that's going to be fine. You guys are firing into their backs, which is mean. Uh, you, go into melee mode and get the cock on top of these crossbowmen before they manage to do something to the mercenary uh, veterinarii. Um, which I'm just going to keep calling it that because screw you. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. You guys are obviously, you know, doing your own thing here. And you're probably going to lose. You're already wavering. Why don't waver? Oh, bloody hell. I need you to do a little bit better than that. Bare minimum. Yeah, we've now got my own troops on this side. And we've taken... We should be able to take this tower. In a second, which will be very, very useful indeed. These archers are going to be in trouble. You're shaken, but you're wavering. So, okay, we can start taking you out. You're going to be... How on earth are you steady? You should not be steady. How are you steady? You, you were shaken for a second. Don't be shaken. You're taking on cocky ranged troops. Okay, we've taken one tower, which is good. Uh, and that means I'm going to say archers start running. In fact, you know, not all of you. Some of you stay here. You, get round here. You two, stay in your existing positions. You, get round here, get up on the walls, start firing. That's how you're going to get up there. That's fine. You do that. Thank you. Uh, right, these guys are broken. You are steady and slowly just chunking through these guys. You are wavering, but, you know, do credit your... How are you still on 162? What, what are you guys even doing right now? What are you even doing? I know, I know you're inferior troops, but still, this is this is sad. This is sad right here. Just attack them with your swords. Thank you, thank you very, very much indeed, you useless British bastards. British, cocking useless. Right, get to here. Let's start knocking some stuff down. These guys are wavering. Let's take this here gateway, and then yeah, get the archers up on the walls. I need some protection. Once the archers are in position, they can start doing terrible, horrible things to the Comets 10 says down below. We're about to take the gateway, which is going to belong to us. And should be uncontested. There we go. Gateway belongs to us. Good. The front door's now open. These guys are going to attempt to respond to that. But they're only going to attempt to respond to that by basically yeah, trying to block the door with their bodies. Uh, depending on the angle of fire, no. Unfortunately, 
this one's not firing inwards on this occasion. But that's absolutely fine. You guys are... Oh, hang on. Is that... Have they changed that? Oh, a great... Uh, do, do walls no longer... Do walls no longer fire inwards in epic, in epic wall cities? Maybe. I don't know. Right. Would you guys like to uh, fire your missiles down below, by the way? Yeah, I thought you might uh, quite enjoy that, actually. Right. It's possible epic cities simply do not fire inwards. Like, that's, that's a design feature of epic cities. I'm genuinely not sure, you know. Could be. Wow. Uh, that's, that's excellent anyway. So, okay, you guys get up here. They shouldn't come up on the wall, so you guys are in trouble. You guys get round to, uh, here. And, yeah, we need to take out these guys. You guys are eager and firing missiles and chasing off these bastards. What we need to do is potentially, yeah, take out... Okay, you're down to 128, and you're on 170. So, the moment they start coming through the door, at that point, they should be... Actually, you know, they're fresh, which is uh, impressive, actually. Yeah, we just need to get into a position where we should be able to deal with them. We've got more British legionaries coming along here. The archers are also forming up their positions, uh, which is nice. You guys, once you're in position, can just fire at will. And you will have a shot at those Comet Tensers. You're going to have a shot at the Comet Tensers too, which is great. You guys, yeah. Get on these guys. Thank you. Just a lovely, lovely shot right there. They're shaken already, which is great. You may now go into melee mode. And these guys are actually wavering. Good. If we could just break them, that would be great. Because that would be all of the uh, opposition who are currently on the walls are taken care of. We've got more British legionaries coming in too. So, okay. You guys just be here ready to reinforce. I'm going to bring my generals nearby just for the morale bonus. Given we already do own the uh, walkway. So, that's fine. The archers are just coming into position too. You guys are... are you ready to start firing? Guys, guys, guys guys why are you why are you not fire at will you stupid bastards uh all, all archers can fire at will just just take it as red you're allowed to fire at will and here we go the archers are now on the walls and the common tensors are about to start taking some serious cocking damage they're not gonna like that they're gonna try and run away and oh dear by running away you've just put your back facing me so that is gonna do a lot more damage good 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 especially as we've got more archers uh, piling in. These guys now unfortunately back up to steady which is a shame. You guys are welcome to do what you will. I've got the, the leader floating around. You're sort of tossing javelins at a very weird angle at, at these guys which I guess is going to do something I suppose. Uh, running a bit low on um infantry to be perfectly honest. You guys have you guys have taken a little bit of damage there. These guys are back over to wavering and just basically yes get over to here. You um, have you still got your horn feature? Yes, please do your horn. There you go. The mercenary veterinary are back up to, uh, eager. Taking on Shaken. We're going to send reinforcements to you up the arse. And then we've got, hang on, archers. Yeah, archers and more archers. The archers are just going to be in position momentarily. You guys are, you guys should be ready to fire at will too. Okay, at that point, anyone, anywhere around here, we can do some good work too. There's some more comments, 10 says. Um, you guys, get over to here. Quick as you like, reform onto that position and then start firing down at them. You guys are in a good position. My general is backing these guys up. We just need to cocking break this last group on the walls there. So, they, they're occasionally close. You guys are eager. Just everyone's, everyone's just, we've just got a nice little, Claire, what, what country's flag is this? Vertic ver uh, vertical stripes of uh, blue, green, then red. I feel like we've, we've created a country's flag here. And I'm not quite sure which flag. Shh. But I feel like we have. And, okay. Just in case there's anything. Oh, hang on. Maybe don't come inside just yet, actually. I didn't realize there was actually there was still you there. Which is uh, which is good. Uh, or, or not good, depending on your point of view. Uh, right. You guys just, yeah. If you can hit anything. Get over to here. You guys get over to here. You guys get over to here. You guys have got... Yep, you've got a great shot at these guys. And now basically every single volley from my archers uh, is doing excellent work at just clearing out, like, you know, multiple common to 10 says uh, per volley. It's like, look at that. Look at that. That was... That's like 10. That was like 10 in a volley. That's precisely what we wanted to see. What we need to do is, yeah, just start baiting the bastards forward. And, yeah, technically... Oh, that's interesting. Their captain is Foiderati Cavalry. 
Oh. Oh, now that's that's quite intriguing. All of a sudden, I'm just sort of vaguely thinking, could I maybe, like, I don't know, assassinate them? Like, if I just sent in the heavy cavalry, like, would it be possible for us to just straight up assassin? You are in trouble, by the way. You're wavering, and I don't like the fact you're wavering. The comet tensors are just superior, unfortunately. They're doing a good job. We can just hit you guys and chase you off. Yeah, plenty up the arse there. If we could just... Okay... I'm doing it. We're sending in the... Oh, hang on. The cavalry's over there, isn't it? Yeah, and we need... With that cavalry's holding a fair few units in place. Um, so, in which case... Grail Knights? What else do I have here? I've got... Right, I've got two of these units. Right. They can go in. They're, they're no trouble whatsoever. Take out these idiots. These guys are just refusing to cocking break. They just won't. They just won't cocking break. And it worries me, because if they're winning, eventually they'll retake the cocking gates. So we've got to... You guys are on 148 and the archers are doing the, be the best job they can. You guys have been chased off, which is a problem. Yes, Claire? Well, you were saying uh, a flag in blue, green, then red, right? Yeah. Vertical. Something of that nature, sure. Uh, yes, well, something of that nature. You have to be precise with flags. There are two flags that... Uh, Wikimedia Commons uh, shows me in that particular pattern. Yeah. Uh, and they are the flags, the flag of uh, Nupe. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. Nupe or Nupe. Nice. Which is an ethnic group in uh, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. It says North Central Nigeria. Okay. Uh, and also El Pinar, a village in Granada in Spain. Nice. Nice. Uh, there are plenty of others that have like slightly different variations of the blue, the green, and the red in different spots. If I could just get past this one unit of common sensors, my heavy cavalry could assassinate their leader, and that would be a huge pick-off. I just don't know whether it's a... Uh, Including, funnily enough, the flag of Wikimedia itself. I'm very scared <laughs> that for some reason... I don't know how the hell these guys are winning, but they, 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 they don't seem to be dying, so I'm just getting my cavalry in now. Before we potentially lose the cocky gates. Uh, because, yes, I'm a little bit concerned that we might be, like, you know... The, the, the war on the wall may be significantly less won than I thought. Um, bring the Foiderati forward. Bring, the, bring them forward. One. Two. Three. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Right, you guys are... Oh, they've actually they've deployed their own cavalry. To come and intercept mine. Bad call, guys. Bad cocking call. Uh, very bad call, in fact. Because your cavalry is stupid light cavalry and it's already shaken and we can just absolutely destroy you. So, okay. Get over to here. You guys are going to be annihilated. But their leader is a captain and he's light cavalry. If we can just hit him, if I can get past... We can just smash into this combat ten says uh, Just break them with a giant cavalry charge. Broken. Good. 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 Maybe use the benefit of uh, this broken unit nearby. Get over to here. Just hit them. They're, they're like half strength right now. See what we can do. We've actually got, yeah, archer fire coming in there. Go over to flaming arrows, please. Flaming arrows. Lovely, 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 lovely. Guys, this was a half-hearted charge. This was... Oh, they are wavering, though. They are wavering. Like, unlike the cocking units on the cocking uh, wall that will just... On the gate that refuse to ever, ever break or ever, ever die. Right, well, you've just cocky broken. Right, screw the walls. Screw the walls. Cavalry. Cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. All the way. Get here. Go and assassinate their leader. They're sending more troops in an attempt to reinforce. Those are missile troops. Uh, which is not so bad. I know I'm sending bo my, both of my leaders here right now. This is... Oh, they won. Uh, what happened to the to, to you guys, by the way? What, where are you? Okay. Deploy additional troops, by the way. Because, right, they've retaken the gateway. They've retaken the gateway. Uh, because my unit's just cocking lost. Uh, so, okay, that's absolutely fine. One of you. Get here and just deal with these here uh, troops. We're now just deploying the rest of our units to go and assassinate their leader. Once their captain goes down, that should have a pretty positive impact on morale from my point of view. So, okay, my cavalry are now just basically inside the city. But they're kind of trapped inside the city, actually. And also, that comment 10 says, after that incredible performance, decided to come down off the walls and stand on the street. And is now just being shot 
by the same archers who it could have just gotten reclaimed. Well done, you magnificent bastards. You guys better be winning against the cocking... Uh, these guys, by the way. How's our fight against the leader? He's shaken. You guys are doing well. Uh, my generals are now committed, which is uh, a bad idea, actually. But, you know, we are where we are. Uh, 68. This is... 63, 61, 60. He's shaken, but he's... Oh, there we go. That was, that was like 10 dropped in a row. Enemy general's routing. Please kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Got him! Good. Okay, that's going to be very, very useful. The fact your general is dead and that exact moment you guys are now into shaking. There is fire coming from inside. Some of these are firing. Some of them aren't. God only knows what the rules are. Uh, right, what else is there that we can hit? Round over here. There's... There's some troops over here. Wait, what happened to the archers over on this side? We had some archers over here. You guys, get into position and just, yeah, deal with whatever the cock this is. Go, 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 go. We've got more reinforcements coming up on the walls, so that should lock down the walls at four. Good. Especially with the benefit of... These guys just will not die. I don't know what the hell's going on with these guys, but they, I swear, they just absolutely refuse to cocky die. Uh, so we've got some cavalry clearing up these guys. They're still desperately trying to hold on to that wall over there. What is even on the plaza right now? The plaza is... That's the Salmation Auxilia. Okay, they've got heavy cavalry on the plaza. So we've still got our Foiderati. That's absolutely fine. Uh, we can deal with them. So we've, we've got an answer to that. In fact, our Foiderati are basically fresh. They haven't done anything so far this fight. Uh, you guys are okay. We have... Okay, reclaim... Please, please go and reclaim the cocking gateways. All right, let's, let's go and get the gateways back. Thank you. Uh, two more Foiderati infantry are outside. Not for too much longer. Going to be bringing them in. And meanwhile, you guys are doing a great job on... Yep, that's another unit of common tensors just being shot a little bit. These guys are... Yep, they've just been running around because they're trying to get out of Archer fire. But it means they can't stop. They can't catch their breath. So they're both exhausted. They're eager. Sure, so you claim. But I can't help but notice that... Um, yeah. You're eager but exhausted, and also you've taken some severe knocks from some archers. I think I might be able to just with... If I get lucky with a good cavalry charge, we could just smash into these guys and wrap them all up. Oh, hello. Who are you? Hi. Hi, hi. Excuse me. Oh, you're wavering. The moment you get attacked by cavalry, though, you go for a wavering and shake it. It was a trap. Uh, right, just take him down back to wavering. Can we finally finish off the men who just refuse to die? Like... Due credit to you guys. You just stood on the walls and took out one unit of vet of mercenary veterans. You took out my cocking own unit of British legionaries. You killed them to the last man. You're still cocking and they've finally given up. Bloody hell. Well done, lads. I mean, due respect to you. That was, that was very impressive. I'm just going to basically charge at these guys with my leaders. Oh, hello. No, no. There's some light cavalry behind me. Let's finish off them first. So they've been taken out. The walls now belong to us. And have they given up on this wall position yet? Not just yet, but with nothing on the walls, I'd say. We can now actually send you guys forward and you can just drop uh, javelins on this unit of competences. Because there's still two tied up right there. Now, I'm going to charge at these guys. They are... They're eager, but they're exhausted. And I'm hoping that's going to be good enough for an instantaneous break. So... We're just going in. Is my is my leader right at the front there, by the way? You, you probably shouldn't be at the front. Do your, yes, do your little horn blow. So just to make you fall to the back. And here we go. Bang. Wavering, wavering. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shaken, gosh darn it. Just, uh, I don't really want to eat javelins. He's taking, they're taking a lot of damage. Taking a lot of damage. And shaken and reloading, but not. Your leader has fallen before his Oops. enemies. See the true quality of his soldiers. Okay, Do we so have another another character. We've got, a, we've got another leader here. All hail King Motius! All oh, glory to King Motius! He is the tr the first of his name. All oh, glory to King Motius! Okay, everything's fine. Okay, okay, everything's fine. We just need to be a little 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 bit careful. Um, about Motius. About Motius, yeah. Well, the, the first of his name and the last of his family. Literally, this is the the one thing that... Okay, this is fine. Okay, just... just. On the plus side, the, his other 99 heavy cavalry can now be just basically thrown away without having to worry too much about them. So that's nice. And these guys appear to be walking straight into uh, archer range at this point. So that's good. Going to be like... It's, it's, all, it's all fine. 
Do we have any other family members aside from Motius? One, but he's kind of under siege of Arakan right now. Oh, okay, cool. So he's probably he's he's, 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 he's going to slightly be dying, you know, soon too, potentially. Right, you guys saves you a bit of cash at least. Well, yeah, but we're going to have to adopt somebody else at some point. Right, you are very the butcher tired. Butcher got butchered. That it's it's true. He he wasn't. Let's let's focus on the fact he wasn't a nice man, and that like in many ways, therefore, this is not a bad thing. And as NP says in chat, he died bravely and stupidly. <laughs> Worse that, ways to go. That seems fair to me. There's another unit. Okay, two units of common tensors uh, have now been uh, wiped out. All they've got left at this point is that. There's the priest. The priest might be the last on the field because they're hiding on the plaza. There's the Salmation Auxilia. Right, fine. And there's two units of Comet Tensers over guard, guarding against the, the fake incursion over on the west of the city. Okay? So, in a moment, we're going to be having our units pop up there who can just toss some javelins down at these guys just to mess with them. Um, our own British Legionaries are in bad shape and badly damaged. But the point is, <laughs> the nastiest thing they've still got is arguably the Salmation Auxilia. And I have got Spearmen. I have got so many cocky spearmen, in fact. You guys can just start moving in this direction. All right, so that's absolutely fine. You guys you guys should really be up up on top of the thing by now. Are you, are you, you're nearly ready. Any, anytime you're ready, guys. Anytime you're ready. You guys get over there too. There is the Circus Maximus. We've, we've made good progress through Rome here. Most of the heavy infantry is dead. That's, that's the important bit. We just need to be focusing on, you know, that bit right there. And you know what? Archers, you guys, get around the corner. Get to here. And then you can start shooting down at them. Uh, so you start moving in that direction. That's all absolutely fine. We've got plenty coming in. I think at this point the archers can move. You know what? You guys, just for safety, go over here and take this wall as well. You guys... Come down on the ground and join the rest of the army here. We'll need you to bait the cavalry off the uh, off the plaza, which will be very important. So here we go. These guys finally cocky climbed up their gigantic siege tower. Now you're going to try and toss javelins up at them, but unfortunately you're not going to do much because it's 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 a very it's a very high thing. So you're not gonna you're gonna struggle to toss uh, javelins. In fact, you're, you're failing completely. But as soon as they're done here, they can then toss their javelins straight down, which will be much better. And we do have archers piling in that direction too. Right, Claire, while everyone just moves into position for the final grand push. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Warner Speck, who gave us 10 Brazilian reais, uh, and says, what is the dog doing? Is it time for his TED Talk? Oh, he's just hanging out on the sofa, licking his paws, I think. Yeah, he's just cleaning his paws. He's I just cleaning his little yeah. paws. It's very Hopefully. muddy at the moment, so he, he's often got a tiny bit of muck on his paws. Yeah, hopefully we don't hear much of a TED Talk, because that would mean that he does borks and uh, yeah. we... He's been doing much better about kind of containing his borks he in has, the evening yes. of late. Um, we also have a message from Raina, uh, who gave us 10 Australian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and says, hey, Claire, John, and most importantly, Ted, can I please get a shout out to my incredible partner, Will? We are celebrating four years together today and we'll be watching the VOD together later. Congratulations, Will. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Will and congratulations to you both. There we go. And that was, yes, you're the archer who's down on the ground. So you go there after everyone else does all of that. You're the archer who's going to be supporting against these Commodore 10 says You, did you ever actually throw your... Yes, you must have done. They did like 30 damage there, which is great. You guys can stay. You're just moving in this direction. So you might be able to... Well, hello, I see you guys moving over here. These guys might be a little bit on the dangerous side actually you're about to belong to us you can move to here and secure this tower but you guys yeah honestly you form up right there and then you'll be able to do some lovely damage at anyone stupid enough to attempt to yeah flee into uh the town from here past the uh cathedral one assumes this is supposed to be you know st peter's basilica or something uh hard to say no hang on wait when was that built probably not no <laughs> Sorry, that was that's probably not true. Uh okay, you guys. Oh, hello. What are you? Oh, the priest the priests have joined the fight. The priests have uh, the priest jumped off the plaza in order to take on my big burly German spearman. 
it's not going well for them. Because they're trying to beat me with a crucifix. Um, little, little kind Aren't of... your big burly German spearmen also Catholic, or is that later? No, 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 no. They're they're they're, they're very much pagan for the time being. Oh, this fair is, enough, this fair is they, no, this this is too early for. Yeah, uh, I don't actually this know is the too timeline. Early, this is too early for a Christian Europe. I don't actually know the timeline of Christianity in Europe. The, the priests have really. decided, fuck it. Oh, it turns out our Lord won't protect us. Run, fucking run. It turns out we were wrong. Uh, so they're off. Uh, we'll go get them later if they decide they want to uh, do anything else. Uh, but okay. Meanwhile, just check where everything else is on this side is now. Correct. You guys are just doing your own thing. A, a thousand years too early for St. Peter of Sis Chris. Okay, just, just, just a little off then. Just a little off. My knowledge of architecture is not great. Uh, okay. We do have half. Oh, hang on. The Sarmatian Auxilia might be planning to come and get some. Uh oh. I think I've. I think they, they, these guys might be Catholic though. It's kind of been noticed the uh, the heavy cavalry is now going to the exact same location where uh, yes they just were. Uh, heavy cavalry. We might need some reinforcements sooner rather than later. You guys just start moving in this direction. The priests are kind of thinking about having a second go, but every time they get close, they give up and, and panic and run away. So, here we go. We've got some Commodore 10 says uh, right here. You guys, ah. get here. Scrunch says, if I'm not mistaken, it was Emperor Constantine who started constructions on the original St. Peter's. Yeah. You get here. You need to go into your yeah, flaming arrow mode if you'd be so kind. You take on these guys. That's going to be a bad engagement, actually. That's that's a bad engagement. This is going to be that's going to be a not good fight. Um, what do we have here? We've got some cavalry that might be able to assist, but unfortunately, yes, this this looks like a big open plaza, but the game's like, no, you can't you can't go on this. Obviously, it's it's cocking holy ground. Obviously, you can't walk on this thing that's very obviously walk onable. Guys, where are you going? Guys. Guys, guys, oh, cock. Okay, the common tensors of, uh, common tensors are doing a good job here. Guys, come on. Guys, everyone just back off and calm down for a second. Let's, let's not clipping. Guys, let's not have a mass rout at the end here, okay? You were doing really well. Everyone just back off for a second. Calm down. Don't panic. We've just lost a lot of cocking idiot spearmen and also idiot archers who just sort of decided, oh, you know what? I don't feel like fighting. I've decided to run away and panic and be a coward and bring shame to my family forever. Right, guys, get down off the walls, please. Get down off the walls. Right, you guys did a good job. There's another unit over here that we might be able to do some good stuff with. You go over there, actually. You go over there. You just work around over on this side. You guys are hopefully going to... Yes, everyone just... Don't panic. I appreciate. Yes, you've got to remember our um our leader's dead, which is. Oh, hang on. What happened to the uh, the cavalry? Oh, hi guys. Right, you're here. Uh, well, you know what? Let's just charge in and see. Oh, maybe not Motius though. Maybe Motius should stay back and out of the way. Maybe Motius should should not get involved in in many fights at this point. Given, like you know, it would it would be embarrassing if the campaign ended because we lost uh everything. But you can. You can, buddy, because you technically have, like, you, you, there's no reason for you not to just toss away all your heavy infantry. Just, you know, doing what you can to take out the Sarmatian Auxilia. And then there's also the, yes, the Warlord. There's, oh, is there another Sarmatian Auxilia in there? There is as well. Right, well, we're, we're wearing down you. That Sarmatian Auxilia is broken. Okay, we're having some morale problems on account of, yes, the, the slight issues related to... Okay, where's the rest of my cavalry? There's too many fights happening simultaneously right now. Did you just... You just broke two. And you are what the cock are you? There's... There's one comment Ted says there. Who you're about to take out. You're about to start running away. There's... You're going over to here to get these guys on board. There's a lot of fights happening simultaneously. And we're losing most of them. Um, but... There we go. The Warlord's cavalry is broken. But he took out, like, a really, really solid chunk of that. You are solid British legionaries. You fall back behind them. You're fleeing. Please just kill the one Comet Ted says. Who's that? I'm asking you to kill one man. You're surrounding him with pointy sticks. I'm just asking you to kill this one man. It's literally... 
Okay, a lot of units are dying. Who who are you dying to? Oh, you're you decided to run. Okay, we're now we're now on the cocking timer. Somehow. Um are you going to respond to that? I'm any just capacity? one man standing in front of one unit, just asking it to kill one man. Oh, you're being annihilated by that tower, by the way. Sorry, I didn't realise that was firing on you. Sorry, my bad. Uh, what else do we have here? You're actually in good shape right now. Not for long, though, because the Comet to Ten says are, are about to come in, and they, they're going to do bad, bad things to you. Uh, you. Get over to here. You guys. All together, just to go and deal with this situation. The Sarmatian Auxilia needs to be taken down. You go and take out the... Oh, it's the Catholic priest. They're back. Oh, no, not the Catholic priest. You just hang back because you, you might be our only surviving family member at the end of today. So that's fine. Just get it over here. Do some lovely damage. The Catholic priests are immediately fleeing if we're lucky. The Salmation Auxilia are. They're shaken. If we can break them, that would be good. You've broken straight away. The Foiderati infantry is being absolutely slaughtered uh, on a regular basis. You've taken that, which is good. So we've got more towers under our control. At this point, that's fine. We do have a decent unit of British legionaries here, which is good. We're like, we're winning, but there's there's still there's still some units on the field, and you never want to estimate, underestimate a single unit of Comet's Tensors. Just, just don't. Okay, hang on, is that that? Okay, the Salmation Auxilia is dead. The Salmation Auxilia is dead. There is, however, yes. One unit of very strong common to 10 says. Is it now just two units left? I think basically the entire defenders of Rome are now two units of common to 10 says. Uh, which I am okay with. Because, okay, we've still got one really solid unit of British legionaries who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them somewhat competently. Who else is left? We've got some archers. Time to come off the walls, guys. We've got you. Time to get into position, guys. You were useless a second ago. We've got you. You're up on the walls, but I'm not sure you're really contributing much at this particular moment. So time for you to get down off the walls and come over here as well. We're going to redraw up here by the Basilica, and then we'll kind of move in at that point. So everything is fine. It's all fine. It's all under control. As many of you know, this was, of course, you know how big Rome was historically. It was, it was famously, you know, about this big. Um, so that's... All yeah, because of how they built it in a day. Exactly. Had they spent more, you know, if they'd, if they'd spent more than a day building it, they probably could have, you know, stretched it a bit further, but they just didn't. So, you know, that's it's, it's la vie. Uh, as, as the French would, as, Levine, as, as, yeah. as, as the French would say, say la vie Levine. Um, okay. They're splitting up. I don't know where the cock you're going precisely. Hang on. Where the heck are you going right now? Um... Are you coming to hunt down my archers? If so, guys, get back up on the walls. Quick, quick, quick. Quick as you like. Um, okay. Where are the British Legionaries? There's the British Legionaries. You guys are sort of maybe moving in this direction. We've got a handful of troops ready to go here, but don't worry about them. British Legionaries can just be in this sort of a position. This is absolutely fine. Send the archers behind them. We do have some, but not much cavalry remaining. We've got the cavalry archers. Who could potentially do like they can they can do something. You guys can just like lay down some fire on the stupid comma to ten says. You guys are just holding okay, now they're holding still. It's all fine, aside from like all oh, the spearmen are so dead. They they were cocking worthless. They 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 gave up. And don't only just because our leader's dead. Dear oh flippin' dear. Like, oh no, the leader's dead. I guess that means we're not getting paid. You're still getting paid, you'll be paid by Motius. All oh, all oh, glory to God King Motius. Alright, everything everything's fine. We, we, we're bringing in the cavalry. It's all absolutely as it should be. You guys hold position there. If they want to turn and come this way, then we shall toss things at them. You, get over there and start laying down some fire on those guys. Just fold a little bit, please. Fold a little bit. Everyone's very tired at the moment. Nobody, nobody wants to be here anymore. Everyone's very exhausted. We need more units to wrap this up, potentially. This Sarmatian Auxilia could be rather helpful potentially you guys just get over to here yeah that's a good position archers behind them that will do you appear to be leaving the plaza i'll take that that's that's okay then we've got yeah you've got archers here got some cavalry got some more cavalry that's the that's the last remainder of the general's bodyguard 
you guys can basically just start laying down some fire. We can fix you later, if need to be. Bring up the Foiderati uh, infantry on that side. And we'll over on this side, right. You guys are just, you know, preparing to maybe do something. You guys are going to try and bait these guys forward, which is fine. You just guys stop and fire and shoot some flames in their arse. Meanwhile, the other side of the Imperial Palace. Yeah, you guys are just being fired upon too. We're just going to do what we can to, like, you know, draw them in a different direction. You guys just run in this direction. Don't be on skirmish mode because that might completely mess with your pathing. But we just need to be ready to hit you guys from every side. You're reloading, but they're already long gone. Meanwhile, yeah, you guys can just get into a good position. Just push gently forward, gently forward, gently forward. You guys to here. You guys to here. That's fine. Focus on this fight for the time being. What do you guys want to do? You want to try something? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Try something. They broke before they even made it to these guys. Good. This is this is all going. Motius, stay out of it, buddy. Stay out of it, buddy. You don't want to be involved in any of this. Uh, right. Warlord. These guys are eager. Hit them from both sides. You use flaming arrows. And if we're lucky. I mean, they're very tired. They're very tired. Steady. Hit them from both sides. But there are routing troops nearby. Steady. Reloading. Shaking. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't, don't panic. Just put the flaming arrows on top of them. Shaking. Shaken. 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 133. Being squeezed. Squeeze. Squeeze. Squeeze the little piggies. Squeeze them. Rome's going to belong to us now, you stupid bastard. Wavering. And come on, just break. Break, you little bastard. Don't pay attention to the breaking foiderati. They're useless. Yes! There we go. Number one goes down. Right, meanwhile, on the other side. Oh, you guys are already fighting. Sorry, didn't realize you were fighting. Right, you guys stop running away and start laying down the fire on them. Cavalry, get behind them. These guys are, you You guys stand and don't waver. Why are you wavering? You're British legionaries, right? Let's show some grit. Keep on keeping on. Proper British spirit, etc, etc. Cocky useless, the lot of you. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. They've broken. Good. Good, good, good. This is useless. Absolutely useless. Useless. The cocking lot of you. The archers. The archers have also broken for no well explained reason. They were just sort of nearby and decided they were pissed off by the general state of things. Bring in the Allen horse archers. Bare minimum, they can lay down some fire. Okay. Useless bastards. The, the reinforcements cavalry from the west faint will at least do something. You guys, get onto the cocking plaza. Alright, or at least get sort of nearby to it. My units are exhausted and tired and extraordinarily demoralized right now. They're, they're not happy bunnies. They're not happy bunnies in the slightest. Claire? Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Unmorbid who gave us $5 and says, I am watching a Total War stream from two really cool people while playing Stellaris. Nice. I think I may have a strategy problem. Pretty cool. That sounds like a good evening to me. Yeah, I mean, you know, the first the first step is always recognizing that you have a problem. Mm. All right, just yeah, just let them just keep laying down the fire. All right, don't no need to fight them directly. Just stay around in the nearby area. All right, you guys are just around too. If we can lure them off, then we've got cavalry ready to just you know hit them in the ass. It's all gonna be fine. You can just do a little bit of damage there. Just careful, 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 step by step. We've got enough troops to wrap this up, this, this, hopefully. Oh, you guys are still there, and you guys are still actually in pretty good shape, aren't you? Yeah, you're eager and fresh, bloody hell. Well, the, the, you're, you're probably still a little bit annoyed on account of the whole, the, the, you know, the, what's his face, the butcher is dead. But like, you know, he, he, he had a good life. He lived a good life. Plus, All right. as several people have pointed out in chat, I feel like that's how the butcher would have wanted to go. Yeah, just randomly screaming, running forward, and getting involved in random fights. That and probably then shouldn't have shanked, got involved. Yeah. And then getting shanked in the melee. You guys should not have just gone onto the thing. There we go. They're finally moving onto the thing. You guys just start falling back a little bit. We've got the British Legionaries here coming in. Where are you even going right now? God only knows where you guys are all going. Uh, more British legionaries. You guys just keep firing backwards. Right, archers. 
Just get forward and hit those guys in the back. Cavalry, get on the plaza. Basically, everyone get on the plaza. We'll win through the ancient martial art technique of timeout. I'm like, well, they've been sitting on our plaza for three minutes uh, unopposed. So I guess they win. Uh, you know, they, 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 they win that one. That's that's fair. That's legit. That's that's how history works. All right. If you stand on someone's plaza for three minutes and, and no one says, oi, stop that. Then, then you get to own that city. That's that. That's how shit works. So now we just get them over to here. They're shaken. They're exhausted. We're laying fire on them. Are you guys actually in any way competent? Oh, you're obviously shaken before anything even happens. For no well-explained reason. But guys, we, we're so close to winning. Just just stop it. Just stop being incompetent. Just just everyone forward. I told you to shoot these guys. I told you to shoot these guys. There we go. Not too close. Not too close. Not too close. Just lay down the fire. Lay down the fire. If we could just get them to break, then we win. We win Rome. We win the Rome, which is very important. Right, just a little bit further forward. Fire on them. They're now being fired upon from multiple angles. I'm sending in my British legionaries. My amazing British legionaries who are already shaken before the fight even begins, which is cocky hilarious. In comes, yep, flaming arrows. They're not flaming arrows. They're wavering. Come on. Come on, British legionaries. Go, go, British legionaries. That's right. Go. Go, Britain. Rule Britannia. Britannia rules the waves. Would you like to join me in seeing God save the king, Claire? No, I'm good. No, Claire's good. She, the French have different views on kings. And there we go. Look, I had to listen to God save the queen one time. Very solemnly. Good lord. It's they did one fa They did almost as much damage back to us. That was the cocky comet of 10 says. Right there. But at the end, it doesn't matter. Because... The British legionaries were having a tea break, John. Rude for cutting them short. <laughs> so, what's his face? The butcher may be a little bit dead. But that's fine because. There we go. Oh, hey, we have money next. We time. have money, and that's before we even put up the tax rate in Rome. Bow chick bow wow. So, alright. We now have. We have money. And, and we've got troops that we could retrain and also put in like, you know, better armor and shit. We could, we could give them like, we could, my useless, useless German troops could be given superior bits and pieces. Everything could be given superior bits and pieces. It's just all generally very exciting that we could just make all of our units now so much better than they were. And also you, you basically, you're, you're basically dead. So you can, you can go Mr. Mercenary. I don't think we actually need you anymore, but that's, that's fine because we could build things like, hang on, hang on, hang on. Onagers flipping artillery in our army at this point. Yeah, that's the stuff. Flipping artillery. Oh yeah. That's that. It would also slow down our army a lot, so we're not actually going to. But, like, you know, we could if we wanted to. That's the important thing. Right there. Brand new British legionaries, brand new everything. We're actually making a cocky profit right now. Admittedly, there are certain problems with Varicum. Um, Varicum is slightly under siege, and we've now only got, like, two, two family members uh, in, in a way. One of them's currently uh, under siege from three Roman armies. Uh, so we're not really necessarily going to be able to, to hold on to that. Uh, Avera, Mediolanum's probably about to collapse too. Uh, that's, you know, that's unfortunate, but, but, but it is what it is. Uh, Ravenna's completely unguarded and another Roman army is coming in from the north right now. So we're going to need to obviously, you know, buy, buy more troops in order to, uh, you know, attempt to, to hold that. The army in Rome is completely shattered, by the way. So, you know, that's, uh, that's kind of, uh, un unfortunate. Uh, unfortunate too. Uh, but, 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 but aside from all of those things, if you ignore all of those things, it's going really well. I mean, you know, on the, on the plus side, no one can call, like, no one, no longer should we be called the Romano British, which is the Romans now. We have Italy, we have Rome. If you got Rome, you're the Romans. You know, Western Roman Empire has no right to call itself that. Yes. So, hey, shout out to Derp Squad who says, um, hey, Claire, does John know that, uh, in the remaster, the Roman factions get a free 20 stack if you take Rome or Constantinople? 
Or is that going to be an exciting surprise for him? Is that true? Well, apparently. Well, it's not appeared yet. Well, maybe, I don't know, just go to the next turn. Oh, here, here come the Huns. They're now wandering south. They're just going to wander south into uh, uh, Eastern Roman territory. Hey, speaking of, shout out to Clayton, who's been a member for nine months and says, ah, oh, memories of the Great Bumble are flowing back to me. Yeah. Also, hi, guys. The Huns aren't quite as bad at bumbling as the Mongols are in Medieval 2. It's not quite as bad, I don't think. The Britanno Romans, says yeah. Elias. All right, just more rebels floating around. So they've not... No, nope, that's that's not us. Don't worry, we're not dead. It's the Eastern <laughs> Roman rebels. It's the Eastern Roman rebels. It's absolutely fine. Admittedly, I'm not convinced we're going to be able to hold a Varicum. Like, yeah, it feels like probably that's, not. That's 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 three armies against a Varicum right there. So that's that could potentially be uh be a problem. Well, I don't know where this army that they've made up is, but I don't see it. I don't think it exists. I think that's I think that's a lie that's just been made up there. Just uh, auto sort the unit cards, please. Thank you very, very much indeed. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Now we've flipping got an army with, like, you know, top-notch weapons and armor and shit. Yeah, it's got, like, good... It got, it got all the silver stuff because there's, like, a proper... Proper... What is it called? Is it an armor? What's the top tier? Foundry! That's what the top tier thing is. And, unfortunately, we... um. We still obviously can't actually recruit a frail knights because yep. you need the invisible, re you need the resource of pure Britannium, the most noble and valuable of all minerals. I have it flowing through my veins. Claire does it because she's an interloper. Uh, you know. I'm sorry, what are you on If about? we ever had a child, like, it would have like 50%, you know, invisible, invisible asset, Britannium. Uh huh. The invisible material you need to be a truly noble grail knight, which I have and Claire doesn't. Claire could never be a Grail Knight. I'd be a great Grail Knight. You're such a practical person. You'd make a fantastic knight. I think that's not what knights are about. I think knights are about other things. Also, you are half Canadian. That's true. Yeah, exactly. Both Britannium and maple syrup flow through my veins. I'm delicious. So it basically, yeah, just, just, it just, it's just the best thing. Just, just, just all, nothing but good things. Nothing but good things. We've got a brand new, exciting, sexy army. Everything is as it should be. More cavalry. We're, okay, we're immediately losing money again. Okay, the economy the economy collapsed straight afterwards. The economy did, um, did, did collapse straight away, admittedly. Did collapse straight away, but okay. Well, shout out to Derp Squad, who admitted that they dirtily lied to me. Why about would they this have thing? lied? Dear, oh dear. Mm, feel silly. There we go. Well, on the plus side, we've got a new faction leader. Got all, all glory to Emperor Motius, who, to his credit, is at this point now literally the leader of Rome and isn't a bananas butcher man. So, you know, that's good. Good for him. Anyway, shout out to Brian, who gave us uh, $5. Uh, and to Spontaneous Compulsion, who's been a member for 15 months, and says John uh, does give off Brave Sir Robin vibes. Wow, rude. I mean, that's not the first time it's been pointed out in chat. Um, let's see, Paul uh, gave us $5 and says, uh, you hear the, def the defenders going, Sextus Turbo is coming and the gate have been sabotaged. How could this be happening? Women in the city... Oh, I don't know. That's so weird. <laughs> so dumb. Uh, NB Brit gave us five Australian dollars. Uh, and says, you see, Romans have a preset kill. <laughs> Knowing their weakness, I sent waves of my own men at them <laughs> until they reached their limit and shut down. You know what? <clears throat> Contrary to all expectations, we had, when, you know, we literally walked with a half stack into a giant full stack Roman army and desperately retreated towards the mountains. Like, we actually have made it to Rome, all right? I control Rome. Rome belongs to me. Motius is, is the new Motius Ledic. There is now a Welsh Roman emperor. The first time in all of history a Welshman has been the emperor of Rome, to the best of my knowledge. Mm -hmm. Uh... You know, we own pretty much all of Italy, and we own a good chunk of France, and we own Belgium. Like, you know, this isn't a bad chunk of the Western Roman Empire. They're about to take all of that back. Like, I think very shortly this is about to be the, um, yeah, the, uh, only 
family member mm. is going to be squatting at Rome uh, in many ways. But, you know, there's also, you know what I feel? Our patience is limited. Okay, apparently asking for a ceasefire would be very demanding. Lol! I'd, I'd be happy to, like, you know, offer them... Map information? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. What about compensation? Oh, apparently if I could come up with... Oh, that says 113,000. They expect 113,000 gold for as compensation. For sacking Rome? Yeah, that makes sense. If I was to give them a varicum, they would actually consider that, you know, they would consider that... Generous, very generous. And as a result of that, we wouldn't be... A, I mean, they're about to take a varicum anyway. Can you ask them for money to make it balanced? That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm... Oh, no. Um... No more offers allowed. But, like, if they're going to take a Varicum regardless... What does no more offers allowed mean? It means I can't ask. I can't put any more. I can't put anything else on the table. I mean... Th th it's not like we're not going to be able to hold it. We can't hold it. We can't hold it. Let us put this behind. Yay! We're now friends with the Western Roman Empire! Western yeah, Roman Empire friends. I'm sure they'll, I'm sure they'll never backstab us Western ever. Roman Empire friends. We've just handed them a varicum. There you go. You can have a varicum. Uh, and, so, and now we GTFO. Yeah. Not 100% sure where, to be honest. But now that we're best friends, now we can trade. All right. In fact, we can be allies. Oh, that would be demanding. Okay. But we could trade. A most generous yeah, proposal. we're now trading with our new best friends, the Western Roman Empire. Our new best friends. All right, I'm willing to trade map information for also map information. That'll be very demanding. Okay, they don't. They want that. They have a much bigger map than yours, John. That's true. Their map is almost certainly a lot bigger. But we're trading with them at this point, which is you know pretty pretty bloody good. You go because we 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 you know we're, oh there we go. It turns well, out. Well, you have in fact rescued the Avar the Avaricum garrisons, as Chris, which is a exactly good one. this. This guy's uh, not. And, this and guy's no longer going to your die. Your family member. Though, admittedly, um, we need military access because otherwise he's technically trespassing right now. Um, but apparently, I can't request that. Like, I, I hope they're not going to immediately, like, you know, declare war and hate me because I'm trespassing in their land, which I'm not. That's that's Can not... you run him straight to Belgium or that would that be... it's, it's gonna take several turns to do. Ah, fair enough. It's gonna take it's gonna take several turns, uh it's gonna take several turns to do, and I suspect that yes, we might be better off uh blah blah blah. Okay, you guys need to also leave my territory, FYI. Because I also I, I quite enjoy that they basically in return for me giving them a varicum, it's like, yeah, you know what, I know you invaded and took over Rome, but that's that's fine. We'll forgive and forget. You know, we're, we're a nice... Romans are well known for being nice, generous, well-intentioned people like that. Like, no trouble, mate. No trouble. That's fine. Don't worry about it. It's cool. It's, it's, it's fine. No, no, no issue. No issue. We could definitely, maybe, yes, get rid of some of our more expensive uh, units. Because if we could just lose, like, just the tiniest, tiniest bit more that we don't really, like, need. Like, say, you, we don't need you. You could go away. Just, just maybe one, one little, one little guy. Hey! hey! We're in the green! We're not losing money! We're not losing money! What? We're not losing money! And we're clearly the actual Rome and... Oh, we've got a candidate for adoption! I think we should probably take him. We are losing money! We <laughs> are losing money! He just had to... Is he any good, by the way? Uh, he's, he's fine. He's... Wait, where is he? Is he up in Belgium? Wait, no, seriously, where is he? No. We've only got that many cities. He's not here. He's not here. Is he in the? Oh, there he is. We just need to. We just need to auto sort the unit cards. You. I was going to say, is he in the army that might just be trespassing in Roman territory? It'll be a little. But thankful. <laughs> Thank no, you. no, no. He's just going into. He's, he's going to go and handle Ravenna. He's going to go and be in Ravenna. It's fine. We've adopted a new son. Okay, so you need to. You you need to like have again slightly slightly less troops than what you've got. Just 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 a handful. Just, just like, just like one, one less troop. Just like one, one less troop here. We're not losing money. Yeah, economy. If the economy's in trouble, all we need to do is disband more and more of the armed forces. Uh -huh. And now, oh, it is the great bumble. They have indeed bumbled straight back in the direction. Lovely. They've bumbled straight back in the direction. Good old Huns. 
There Dear, we did. go. Charles in chat wants to know, um, is that what a Pyrrhic victory looks like? No. No, no, no. That is what a tactical retreat looks like. All right. Because you know what we could do at this point with this army that's still, like, you know, mostly okay? We could just mosey straight on up to flipping Belgium. Uh, and I would like to know what the end goal of the stream is. I think we're uh, wrapping up pretty much no, now. No, I know yeah. we're wrapping up now, but... Uh, I mean, it was, uh, I, feel like having, I feel like having taken Rome is pretty good. Sorry. It's just, you know, I was going to say, if you let me finish my one sentence. No. Never. <laughs> that uh, other people have asked, uh, yeah, if we're doing uh, like this as a series, and if so, we should plan on retaking Britain. I mean, I was literally about to say, this guy right here is now in a position to go over to Belgium. Belgium could, like, you know, I don't know, say, build a port and now, like, you know, get some boats down and, like, could go, go, go back and, like, you know, take London and shit. Like, you know, we've got the beginnings of an army that could theoretically go and try and occupy and take back Britain properly. Now that we've got Belgium as a territory that has been formally ceded to us by the Roman Empire, like, you know... That's not a bad deal, all things considered, I would say. I think, you know, we've got three very good, valuable cities right here. Let me see, we do have some, yeah, we've got some spies. We don't really need so much anymore. So they should probably just go, he should probably just go somewhere a little bit more, you know, interesting. Idle resource. I like the idle resources report. Uh, but I'm mainly just waiting to see what, I'm happy for him to just hang out near the, uh, Hang out near the Huns. That's fine. Like, you know, I, 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 I'm perfectly happy with this. I, mean, I don't know why the economy seems to keep getting worse and worse every time we look at it. I'm not 100% sure why the economy is in such absolutely catastrophically terrible shape. But it appears to be in, in, in not not a great position in uh, in many ways. But I'm sure it's all absolutely fine. And also, have we, have we actually got the army back into... Oh, look at that army. That's a sexy army right there. That, that's an army that can defend Rome, all right? We've got a proper army here. The moment we've got a proper army, we've not really got anyone to use it against. Which is very which is very sad, in a way. But, like, you know what? It's all fine. Claire? Uh, yes, indeed. We are uh, all caught up on uh, nice. Super Chats and that. I do have a couple of uh, messages from chat. Oh, yeah. Uh, Grant, uh, who's been a member for oh, two Oh, fuck, months. it's the Celts! Uh, Grant says, hey, Ted, Claire and John, I've been watching since I binge Fallout 4 YOLO in its final weeks while recovering from COVID. It's made the time uh, a lot less lonely. Thank you for being a bright spot in some dark days. Oh, good. Okay, I think I said too loud about how I was going to go and um, yeah. retake um, Belgium. Because I think possibly the, um, I think the Celts heard. They, they, they came and attacked me first. Well, that's sad. Mm. That's that. That's that's. How sad. big is our army? Uh, not the biggest, but not tiny either. It, it it can beat three peasants. Well, yes, I know it can beat three peasants, but you do have the other guy on his way. I it's don't just, know it's whether. Take he, ages. I don't know if he can win. It's going to take him three turns to get there. I think they're going to attack before that point. Bagpipes intensify. Lol. Yeah, that's that's pretty much okay. So if we can't, if we actually can't. If we can't hold Belgium. Also, we're losing money again. I'm aware it's because we've retrained a whole bunch of troops and thus we need to pay them. Like, we, we retrained some troops who were killed. Uh, we yeah. replaced them. And those new guys who weren't dead did want money, as it turns out. What a bunch Plebs. of... I know! What a bunch of decks. Like, I, I don't know. But they, like... It was, it was better when these guys were dead in a way. <laughs> Like this was, it was, it was, it was, it was better. It was just. I don't know. The army was less sexy when they were all dead. Mm-hmm. We just kind of, if we just get rid of two of these guys, there we go. We're back to where we should be. Not losing money. We literally still can't afford one cocking full stack army, which is cocking hilarious. Um. The problem is, yes, I was about to like suggest selling Belgium back to the Roman Empire. Uh, it, it, as, it, as opposed to just losing it, but, but who cocking knows? Right, so basically, we've managed to. We, we're basically now the Julii. We've we've we've, we've we're, we're the Julii at the start of Rome Total War. We now we now have taken northern Italy. We've got northern Italy. That's that's great. That's good. That's a good thing. But potentially uh, nothing else. 
because because the Celts decided to 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 attack uh, Belgium. What a bunch of decks! What an absolute bunch of decks! Everything's <laughs> fine. But I think Claire and I are going to wrap things up there. And <laughs> <laughs> chaos with John. Oh, I wish I wish we'd had chaos with Ed Miller Band. Uh, don't Cha- we all? Don't we all wish? Oh, that, imagine man. how good it would have been if we'd had chaos with Ed Miller Band. Cocking Celts. We were supposed to be friends, Celts. We were supposed to be friends. Oh, Moti has got married. Oh, good for him. Good for him. I hope she's lovely. So there we go. We've basically we we. <laughs> bas- <laughs> <laughs> we pretty much just own northern Italy. That's that's basically it now. That's that's basically a lot as it turns oh, out. Oh dear, oh dear. Anyway, um, a very good point from Stuart who wants to know if uh, you are aware that uh, the Factorio space expansion is due around your birthday this year. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm. No, I hadn't. I hadn't known mm. that the space expansion. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll flip and see. Okay. So there we go. Uh, that's 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 the Romano British campaign. I promised you absolute cocking, insanely difficult nonsense. And I think we delivered. Yeah. That was that was a du- it's a dumb old campaign. We now own Northern Italy with the permission and consent of the Western Roman Empire. It's like ah, you know what? Give us a varicum, and we'll call it even. <laughs> we'll just call it even, even though we were about to take a varicum. Honestly, that was a good deal. That that was a good deal right there. I, I I would take that. And now we can trade with them. We've got good trade going on. Life is life is good. Life is good. Where on earth we would go from this point, I don't know. Because yes, obviously all the islands around here are owned by the Western uh, Western Roman Empire. Like I would guess we'd we'd basically have to having Belgium would be great, but like getting to Belgium might be a bit on the difficult side. We might have to like you know figure out a way of getting uh, maybe shipping troops to. Egypt? Like e- Egypt is we could go to we could go to Egypt or something. We could go to attack the Berbers. My people were saying the Sahara earlier. I don't honestly know what the next move logically would be at this point. Like, you know, using Belgium as a launching off point to attack Britain is great, but unfortunately the Celts hurt me and they did it first. So basically well done to them. Well done to them. Uh yes in deed. But yes, let's uh let's wrap things up there, I'd say. Dear uh, flipping dear. Yes, indeed. And shout out to Sophie, uh, who, uh, let's see, shout out to Sophie, who uh, wanted us to give a shout out to uh, to her stepdad, who introduced her to uh, us guys. So uh, shout out to Wyatt for introducing Sophie to the channel. Love you, Wyatt. And Sophie, of course. And Sophie, too. Mm. Excellent. And I see a whole bunch of cat pictures spam in the chat as well. Beautiful. Indeed. So, all right. We are going to go cuddle a dog, eat some food. I see a little poor twitch from Ted in the background over there. Very, very cute indeed. Puppy dreams. And, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Here's something fun. Uh, On Saturday, you're going to get a video that has been very requested by many people for a very, very long period of time. Mm-hmm. Coming on Saturday at Long Cock and Last, it's Timberborn. Some of you are gonna be what the fuck is Timberborn? It's it's a it's a Beaver City builder, and it's been requested for so so long, and it's finally coming on Saturday. Timberborn is happening, and it uh, still doesn't have enough dams. And I suspect Timberborn might uh, potentially have uh, Timberborn might potentially uh, yes have a live stream next week because I had a mm. I had a fun time with Timberborn. So yes, video possibly. I did hear a lot of yelling when you were recording it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yes, there's going to be beavers. Beavers on Saturday. More what, Starfield. What, what? More Fallout 4. Fallout 4. Uh, beavers, etc. All sorts of bits and pieces. So yes, lots of good stuff. Oh yeah, some people are hype. Some people are hype for Timberborn. So yeah, we got Timberborn coming. We got all sorts of stuff. And maybe, just maybe, we'll see you next week for a little bit of Timberborn live as well. That would be absolutely flipping lovely. But yes, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very, very much to Super Chat Donators. Thank you very much to Ted. 
who didn't wharf. He came close to wharfing, but I mean, didn't wharf. Did Instead, he did a terrible fart, but I was willing to overlook that because he was also a very, very toasty little kind he of foot warmer. He was very cuddly He was a today, very toasty so foot warmer, which fair. was marvellous. Thank you all so much for joining us. Hopefully, we we'll see you next week. Hopefully, you enjoy the videos this week. Hopefully, just in general, you have a lovely, lovely evening. But in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Claire. That's I've been Ted over there. It's been many a true night. This has been Rome to the War. Like, if, we, if we do this again, if this comes back, we're literally going to change the logo. Yeah. Back. Yeah, changes. Watch yeah, out for that yeah, next time. Yeah. This has been Road Total War Remastered. Thank you very much. And have fun. Goodbye. Okay, this is normally the point where I cut the microphone, but the, I, after, I I did I forgot to alt out the game. So now goodbye again. Have fun. Oh, John. Sorry.